drill with you.
wild electric running through my mind daylight slipping away yeah feel ready to release that sound embrace this beautiful day and i never knew i could feel like this i'm alive with vibes so positive so i
welcome to Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla Esports Year 7 continues. We've already crowned two champions, or actually six champions last Whoa. night. A whole cool lot more than I had <laughs> But uh, we're going to be crowding two more today because today we're going in with the European doubles. Yeah, this is, uh, I know they've been chomping at the bit because there's a lot of history in this region and a lot of folks looking to shatter that history. It's, it's a fun region because in, in particular, it's got a long, like you said, a long history, a long story of all these different things. I mean, let, let's just jump right in to some of the big stuff that's been happening in the European region. First and foremost, yep. let's, uh, let's, well, okay, let's talk about some of the teams that are on the come up and then we'll talk about the big teams. But let's talk about this team of SWATA and TF. All right. Man, all right. This is one of my personal favorites just because every time that these players are on screen something explosive happens i i mean even in the single space we've seen swat up pop off like crazy he brings that energy into doubles tm compliments him so incredibly well you get immediate handoffs into stock deletions yeah uh this this team in particular i was thinking about it and i was like uh, this team hasn't been on a lot of radars, but it also is a team that feels like it should have been on a lot of radars, right? It was yeah. a team that it was kind of like the you mix the two chemicals together and you're just waiting Explosive. for that thing to happen. And finally, they did it. Second place at the Brahala World Championship. And I looked back and the one right before it, the Autumn Championship, they got seventh. So it's definitely been kind of uh, this meteoric rise for this team. Yeah, I'm I'm expecting big things here. Uh, just because they, they've tasted the podium, right? Yeah. They've been up there now, and you don't want to let that go. No. I, I'm, they had to have been on the grind over, during the postseason, right? Absolutely. They've definitely been putting in the work. I think one thing that really helped them with that second-place finish at the World Championship is now it seems possible, right? Now it ah. seems like they, mm -hmm. they've been so close to the gold that now it seems possible. So I think uh, one thing that trends between you, me, and Sparky's predictions is this team of SWATA and TM. A little bit of spoilers there. Oh, Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, you're just... I'm just, just saying, laying I'm, it out uh, there. Letting nobody the people knows know. where. Okay. All right, but okay. Uh, I'm just saying this is a team that I think a lot of people on the like analysis side of things are keeping their eyes on because they expect some big things from this team. Yeah, yeah, that's really what I'm looking forward to. Uh, I know I'm going to be screaming my head off every time that they get on screen today. But who else do we have? There's a uh, quite a few. Yeah, throughout this region. There's definitely a lot of teams in this region. Like, there's some that kind of stand out more than most. And again, as we talk about with these winter championships, is that there's a lot of shakeups that happen, a lot of teams that kind of break up and you see these new parts. So that's what this, this next team is kind of being. It's a team that we've seen before, but at the World Championships, they weren't playing together. We're talking about Machete and Ozzy. All right, this one I love. I love the story behind it just because back through those history books. And it's like, yeah, sure, last year we did the fourth and fifth place respectively on separate teams. But if you look back just one year prior to that, they were teaming together. They claimed a bronze medal in the World Championship two years ago. So the magic is back. The team is back together, and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, I mean, you, you love the Ross and Rachel dynamic, right? On again, off again, on again, off again. Today, they're going to be on again. So it's curious to see how well they play. And, and it's another one of those things where it's like a lot of people, like if you just throw their name out there, people are like, okay, yes, of course they're strong teams. But mm -hmm. there's so many heavy hitters in the region, it's hard to place them against some of the other ones. Yeah, I, I don't know. But the thing is, I'm looking at them being back together. Mm -hmm. And there's some other teams that were those powerhouses in the region that have since split up. Are I'm looking at... <laughs> like, I, I don't know where you're going. I, I, know, <laughs> I know this might be jumping the gun a little bit, but I was looking through, hey, who, what teams can I predict? And yeah. I was like, Wh where's Heisen and Simple? That's a big one. Uh, you did technically jump the gun, but let's just go with it anyways. Um, Heisen and Simple, they've split up, like you said. Simple teaming up with someone who has been effectively on hiatus. They have not been playing mm. for a while, but now they're back. Simple alongside Godly. And it's kind of an interesting one because uh, as a result of Godly not playing for the past year or so, is this, this team is criminally underrated. A lot of people have high hopes for this team, but technically speaking, nobody knows because they don't have that tournament experience. They don't have PR. So it's going to be interesting to see how well that mm. plays out. Yeah, the untested. Yeah. 
always, you know what, I, I don't want to call them a dark horse of a team just because, I, listen, one of those teammates <laughs> has been taking silver medal after silver medal, but, you know, it's, it's a little bit of the unknown. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one that uh, the question mark here is going to be godly, right? Everybody yes. knows Simple's a strong player. I mean, Simple and Heisen, they got third place at the World Championship. So people have big expectations. One thing that will help a lot of people who are nervous about this team is the fact that when I was checking last night, when I was uh, trying to decide my predictions, mm -hmm. they were the top European team in the ladder. They were the ones who were oh. putting in the rank time above Acno and Blaze, which is, of course, okay. a very strong name in the region. So at the very least, they're putting in their time. It isn't quite the same. You can't one-to-one -one ranked to tournament experience, sure. but still, it's good. It's good to see that they're putting in that time, they're putting in the effort, and, and putting in the practice. Yeah, I mean, that's really what a lot of it comes down to is... How much time have you gotten with your teammate? How many scenarios have you put yourselves through so that way you are prepared come tournament day? Yeah, and of course, today is where they get to prove it. At the very least, they've earned their spot in the top 32. Uh, as many of you at home know, we're uh, the tournament is going on as we're, we're talking right. right now, and, and matches are happening. Um, okay, we talked a little bit about Simple and Godly. What else do you want to say about them before we uh, rotate back a little bit? Man, I'm, I'm just curious. Yeah, that, that's all I've got to say. I am just curious for this new formation. It, it's going to be an interesting one. It's it's one that I think is very worth keeping an eye on. And if it falters, I don't think anyone's going to be that surprised. Mm. But at the very least, it'll be fun to see. Um, but let's rotate back a little bit to a team that I think is a little bit of a fan favorite. It's one that's okay. really fun to watch. Um but hasn't really been performing the way that people were expecting. Let's talk about Ninja and Pavelski. Man... <sighs> Every time, I, I feel like every time Pavelski's on screen, something amazing is going to happen. But I don't know to who. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, there's a clip here. Is it for Pavelski or is it uh, on Pavelski? I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that Ninja's there to give him the support that he needs so that way he can actually just pop off, get those crazy highlights, and rocket themselves into top eight. It, it, it's funny because... Ninja's also like sleeper uh, highlight reel himself. If you go oh, yeah. back and watch the 1v1 leave him alone. between Ninja and Pavelski, that was some of the most explosive 1v1 action we've seen in the European region. So it, it, it's an interesting, yep. like very volatile mix. But uh, as always happens with that kind of volatility is that it can kind of explode a little early and not really get those results. Like I was saying, they didn't make it into the top parts of the European doubles and the World Championship. And that makes it rough because it's a team that yeah. it's had uh, some successes. It's, ha it's a team that a lot of people really like. But at the mm -hmm. same time, it doesn't always have those guarantees. Yeah, we're looking for those flashes of brilliance to yeah. all just align on the right day. So I'm, I'm hoping for big things for them because they are an absolute joy to watch. Yeah, super fun. Uh, it, it's a team that we can't not mention at the oh, very yeah. least. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then now let's let's talk about the big team, the team that uh, ah, yes. everyone's just waiting. They're like, all right, get to it. Let's talk about the team with a multi-year win streak, the two-time 2v2 European world champions, Akno and Blaze. Oh, my gosh. There's not enough praise that can be sung about them. Their win streak is, it's I want to say, one of the second longest win streaks in a competitive Brawlhalla. It's absolutely insane. I mean, it is just dozens of trophies, dozens of medals that they've just been racking up on their wall. And you've got to wonder, how much can that wall take before it collapses? Seemingly, at least one more. <laughs> maybe, maybe at least one more. I think uh, with each step, each gold medal that they add to that wall, it's going to make it more momentous when it falls. It's it's oh, very yeah. similar to the Tiger storyline in SEA. It's like the, the, mm -hmm. there's so much pressure that gets put onto this wall, and the second that it falls down, it's going to be insane. Everybody's waiting. Everybody's scheming. You know the field is just eager to be the one to actually do it. I don't know if there's, like, a bounty out there that the <laughs> European community has put on Acno and Blaze, but I wouldn't be too surprised. It'd be it'd be hilarious to find out that the European region as a whole is just banded together like, we're not doing scrims with you anymore. <laughs> we're just going to wait and find out. Oh, my gosh. I will say, okay, uh, uh, just kind of an overarching concept about a lot of these teams is mm -hmm. that um, a lot of them have kind of their set 
playbooks. They have the like Bodvar Brin. A lot of them are running a Bodvar Brin, but specifically with Acno and Blaze is they have a lot of variations. They have like ah. a Brin Koji. There's a rumor of a Thor, of an Olgrim, oh, all hey. sorts of stuff that they might bring into this comp. So they've got a lot of different um, potential that if things aren't really working for them with one specific comp, they can shift to another one. All right. Well, I mean, that is always just a fun thing to look at, fun thing to theorize about, because it's like, this combination didn't work. What about this one? Might they have picked up a couple tricks watching the South American broadcast last night? I don't know. There was a lot of Olgrim in there, is yeah. all I'm saying. I think I think Europe is a, a region as a whole that also really likes Olgrim. I yes. think like even when like most regions weren't really jumping on the Olgrim or the lands, Europe in particular was like, no, this is this is definitely still functional and definitely still viable. Um, it'll oh, yeah. be interesting to see how that works out. Uh, let's get into predictions. Uh, I took it off yesterday. Do you wanna do you wanna start today? All right, all right. You know what? Let's let's go for this. I'm gonna say my predictions. Third place is the Magic back together. Machete Fozzi. That's going to be my third place prediction. I, I think they've got it. Even when they were separate, they were so incredibly consistent, fourth place and fifth place, respectively. To carry up two teams, that's insane. So now that they're back together, I'm looking for that third place. I want them on the podium. Second place, though, that's where my heart and my hype goes. I'm looking at Swata and TM. They've got to be at least second place. Uh, you know, my, my heart would say <laughs> I want them in want first them place, but we're not. Don't don't put it up there, <laughs> production. Don't, you know, I'm not crazy. I have to put Acno and Blaze in that number one slot. It's It's been too much domination for too long. I would be remiss if I put them anywhere else. Yeah, I think until... Someone proves Acno and Blaze aren't going to win every single tournament. It's a fight for second and third. So I got to agree with you on that one. Um, as I get into my predictions in third, I'm going to put the untested. I'm going to put the the, the new team that was an old team, Simple and Godly. I'm putting them in oh, that hey. third place spot. In second, I got to agree with you, Swana and TM. I think it's a <laughs> bit of a, a, an odd pick just because they had one top three. So it's like, I don't know if it's consistent enough. But I have a lot of faith in this team right now. And then, of course, you got to put the golds. You got to put Akno and Blaze, the gold standard for 2v2s right now. Yeah, I, you know, I, you mentioned Sparky's picks. I know he tweeted tweet, them out early. Tweets got to be flying around there. Definitely hit up his Twitter. See what his predictions are. Toss your own predictions, and you can actually tweet them out with that hashtag BHEsports and let us know. See how yours stack up against uh, everybody else's. Yeah, and of course, uh, if you want to follow along, you can watch here at twitch.tv slash Brahala. But not every match will be able to be streamed here. So, of course, you got to keep that second tab uh -huh. open with twitch.tv slash Pro Brahala to see some of these other matches because some of them are going to be deciders, as in we're – Starting off very early, I have a little bit of spoiler for you. Oh, we've got Ninja Pavelski going to be going up against Simple and Godly, so that's going to be a big match Ooh. when we get into the uh, the fighting today. Okay, okay, man, what a banger! That's going to okay. be crazy. Well, on that note, we're going to take a short little break, and when we come back, we'll be bringing you the top 32 of the European Doubles Winner Championship. You don't want to miss it. Stick around.
All right, we've got the Winter Championship doubles weekend hopping on over to the European region. Duke and I were just talking about this, but now I'm joined on the caster's desk with my buddy Taza. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. It is nice to be here casting for EU now. In two oh, yeah. Years after we had such an amazing time casting South America the day prior. And as you and Duke were talking about, the teams that we're going to be seeing in just a little bit mm -hmm. are pretty exciting because it's no longer Simple and Heisen that we saw in yeah. BCX of last year. It's Simple and Godly that are going to be going up against the Ninja 729 and Pavelski. And this is a matchup where it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. well, I... I <laughs> Just seeing this happen so early on into the bracket is just going to be very exciting indeed. Yeah, because this is going into the top eight qualifiers, not even top eight yet. So I, I don't know what to make of this. It could go either way. I know Ninja and Pavelski, definitely a fan favorite that a lot of people are hoping great things for. But Godly and Simple, separately, they were so strong. Yes. What are they going to have together, this new formation, new construction? It, it, that is a great question, and that's something that we're going to find out. I can imagine that, the, you, you know, the, it's not like these teams are just being put together randomly. Uh, of right? course. Of <laughs> so, course. So, so when it comes to making the decision, they're, they're looking at each other's strengths individually and saying when we, when we work together, this could work out really well throughout the season. But we'll have to wait and see, right? Like, we're yeah. winner champs so far, so good, right? We, we start the stream on twitch.tv slash Brahala this far into the bracket. I mean, this far as I mean, there, there are over 100 teams, right? Yep. And, and we're, yep. we're, we're down to top 32. We're just get, we're, we're, so they have been Oof. winning this entire time so far, doing a pretty good job. We can see the matchups that are uh, coming up on stream right here. Why don't you take Ooh. a look at it? We've got Ninja Pavelski versus Simple and Godly. But then look at this one, Viper and Solar Sin. Viper previously teaming with... Uh, I think it was Machete last year, or mm. was that Fozy? Viper is definitely one. It's, it's, you it's know one, one of the team, one of the players that has actually switched teams pretty often. That's so true. That's, that's why it's he's been in the scene yeah. so long, and he's always kind of hopped around different doubles crews, and performed exceptionally well with them. It used mm. to be the saying of just like, "Hey, if you want to do well in doubles in Europe." Just team with Viper. Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll do a couple tournaments with you, sure. And and I and just to be sure, I check BCX Viper was with Fozzy. So you're right. Okay. You got you got the because there was Machete. It was time, he was one of the reasons yeah, why yeah, Machete yeah, yeah. and Fozzy split up. And I'm yeah. I was looking who to blame. You but know? yeah, so now Viper going uh, into the matchup that we got coming up pretty soon. But no, the next one that we have that is going to be immediately right is is Pavelski and the Ninja Seven Two Nine going against yep. Simple and Godly. And I'm so excited to see what's going to be locked in here. We were talking about Staple Legends. I uh, yesterday in the South America broadcast ah. is Pavelski going to be bringing out the Val something that we've determined is something. Well, I mean, Pavelski plays Val both in singles and and in That's doubles, true. but that, there's a possibility that he brings that out here. Ninja seven two nine. I I can't even say it's always going to be a, a cannon legend. I do this every time, and then he locks in Jala, <laughs> and then I have to pretend like the fire extinguisher is a cannon. So it's going to be either Jala or a cannon legend. That's what okay. I'm expecting. Okay. That, that's what I'm thinking from the ninjas. I'm looking for the cannon legend yeah. just because I feel like that's where so many of the ninjas' clips like live. Mm. He's just one of the craziest cannon players, a weapon that you don't see too often in doubles, and it's a little bit of a special pick in singles as well. He's yep. one of those that's kind of stuck with it and really been able to carry it into the upper echelons of tournaments time and again. And, and, uh, and that's a big point that you're making there, too, is that it wasn't just a thing that he was experimenting with for a while. He's definitely yep. picked it up and stuck with it for a while. And, and in Europe in particular, I feel like as a region, uh, has a lot of those players that win a new weapon comes out, somebody breaks out into the pro scene as being the main of that weapon. When I think about mm, the history of mm -hmm. things, going all the way back to when Bo was released, right? Like, Bo had Zaloxer, and then, and then when Gauntlets <laughs> came out, it was Addy Mestic, and then that's when Cannon right. comes out, it was the Ninja 729. They've always had somebody that's just kind of like, all right, new weapon, I'm going to turn this into whatever's going to give you the most success in tournament play. And I and I love seeing what, what players end up coming out and making the weapon look the best. And Ninja 729 is definitely one of them when it comes to the camp. Look at that spread of the results there. One gold, two silvers, tons Ooh. of top eights coming out from them. And looking for another one going into this tournament. Oh, yeah. but they've got themselves some tough opponents for a round one hmm. best of five. Yeah, what are you expecting <laughs> to too. see from Simple and Godly Well, here? Bodvar... Without a doubt, of course. Keep simple. it simple. Now, as for Godly, I had to look. I, I, I admit, I looked at the screen. Right, we can see it right now. He's he's locked into the terror. So. They don't see it. This is still the stats. I was giving you what? a chance to be clear. No. Dang it. Okay, well, they'll see it eventually. I'll set you up. Looks like Godly's going to be on terrors, and that makes a lot of sense. We were talking. Oh, wait, we we listed them off yesterday. Terrors, Bodvar, Val, 
Olgrim. Bryn. Thor. Bryn. Oh, wait. There's so many more. I thought I, there was yeah. Like, I there was like four staples. It's like, when it gets to that point, there's just actually just a, stapling, Spend there, the whole clip. There, there's, you know? a, there's actually a diverse <laughs> meta of, of axe, hammer, and orb legends that tend to be picked by a lot of players, I feel like, in a 2v2 mm. space. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be Taros and Bodvar. Uh, for simple and godly, and Pavelski and Ninjas have been oh, doing hey. Taros and John Cena, so that's a bit of a surprise for me coming out from Pavelski. Little bit, yeah. That John Cena, I don't, I don't know, man. How is that going to play out? I mean, we have sword. I, I kind of just always understand. Is when, it going to be the fire extinguisher? Do you have to pretend it's a cannon oh, again? I don't think that's quite the same. Consider, <laughs> consider that it's not the same. <laughs> but let, let's. Uh, Let's see how it plays out. Uh, okay, you know what? Actually, I think it is. He's kind of always used that skin. I know it comes with John Cena, but he's used that even when he was on Jala, all right? Like, you know what? He's a fan favorite. That skin is his favorite. Oh, you can't see him. You're caught in the dust cloud. That smoke screen. All right. Pavelski getting hit to the side. Already pretty deep in the red. If, if when it comes to these matchups. Uh oh, look at that handoff Whoa. so quick. Oh. And the cleanup on the edge guard. All right, simple and godly, actually looking pretty godly. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. Using the gravity cancel side stick. I mean, that's a move that Simple's able to connect with people even in a, a single space, but connecting off of the neutral light from the ax worked out really well. And uh, they were able to get the weapon throw on Pavelski to get the edge guard. Ooh. Oh, wow, that clash with Pavelski could not feel good. But there's another side stick coming out from the ninja. He gets, goes in for the ground pound of the spear as well. And Godly does dodge through, makes it back, and Simple and Godly oh, wow. are still on their uh, – well, I was going to say still on the first stocks. I didn't realize how how damaged Godly's been getting, actually. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, taking a beating. Pavelski just swinging that hammer through, getting a ton of damage every time. Godly sent wide, the ninja going for the edge guard. No, pops him up, gets a little bit of time. Uh-oh, Pavelski in trouble off the side. Simple, cleaning up the stock. He doesn't have enough to make it back. And the ninja getting taken off on the left at the same time. It's five stocks to two. Yeah, there's this weird possibility where Godly goes down before Simple is down onto his last stock. And there's a chance for Pavelski and Ninja 79 to get a win that way. Uh, let's see what Godly is able to do here. Simple is is trying to take uh, the front lines here, and he was taking a decent amount of damage. Now Godly goes down three stocks to two. Pavelski decently damaged, and Godly's waiting for that weapon spawn to come in. And Simple's actually, they've been doing a good job focusing on Simple. I, I, I've noticed that Godly's been taking the back foot here, being like, okay, I'm the most oh. damaged. I'll let Simple do some work. But Simple has not been able to get anything started. Stomp side air sends him off, and now it's an even game. Oh, no. Oh, that, all right, that hammer ground pound could have actually been it. That was a Pavelski clip waiting to happen. Oh, the punishes there were crazy. Man, like Pavelski observe. unarmed. He's he's starting to dwindle a little bit. Damage is high. They've got to keep Simple away with that hammer. Simple goes from the side. Like, that was a beautiful Ooh. spot dodge into the down lights. Oh, but the oh, side no. sink crushes Pavelski, sends him flying. Let's see what the Ninja Substance is able to do. Okay, I, this is I, not unwinnable. I was worried for a second that that side air meant he wasn't going to be able to touch the stage. He would just fall down, but no, goes for the side stick. He tried to pivot it to catch him, uh, but doesn't carry him away, and that's oh. it. second air on the way down. Godly secures that knockout and gets game one for Simple and Godly in this best of five. Uh, really well played. Godly did look a, a little shaky on that on those first two stocks, mm. and then really brought it in there. Simple. Did play like a 1v2 for what felt like a whole minute of that game. And good job on him for surviving as long as he did. Because it was uh, it was looking a little tough there when Godly was super damaged. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, simply, he's got that experience, right? He's been in how many grand finals now? Countless. One All right. Game two. Godly and Simple are up a match. Pavelski and the Ninja 79 got pushed off the right side of the stage. Uh, and now, oh, Godly opening up. Hammers fighting against the ninja off the right side of the stage. And he got hit by that side air, but it's just been damaged back and forth so far. Yeah, it's going to be that slow, steady build. You know, this is a less volatile map than the one that we were previously on. We're not going to see crazy edge guards breaking out because Shipwreck Falls had those tiny, tiny little walls. Mammoth Fortress, it's uh, the nice middle of the road option. You know, everybody feels at home here. Ooh, 
Pavelski trying to bait Godly out with the dodge. Doesn't get him with the down stick, and he gets punished for it. No weapon spawns just yet. Okay, spawned in. Ninja 729 takes it. Oh, it's a, a, a ton of stacked hitboxes there. No oh my way. Gosh. Godly turns getting hit into an opportunity for an alley-oop. The falling side air right past the platform takes the Ninja 729 to the right side of the stage. Pavelski follows afterwards. A bit of team damage coming out from Godly on the simple, but uh, it's it's worth it considering that it's six socks to four. Oh, Ooh, well. Bred him wide. Started that ground pound before Godly was even over there, just knowing your gut reaction is going to be to go off into the push off column. And sure enough. So now we're keeping the stocks even. Not too much of a damage lead. I, you know what, I, I like this turnaround because Ninja and Pavelski, even though Godly went down to his final stock pretty early, Ninja and Pavelski were tracking that. Oh my, you know, I, I really should just stop talking because I end up cursing one of them yeah. while I'm trying to praise them yeah. and the Ninja is down on his it's final stock, that, it's you, dangerous. It's either that you state the number of stocks and then all of a sudden the number changes before you finish talking and that has happened to both of us so far in this set and oh, the oh, down the interrupted. interrupted. That was pretty huge. Uh, yeah, Taros down stick, pretty powerful, but you have to let the entire move finish to get the knockback. Now, uh, on the other hand, side stick. I think it's actually the same case for side stick. I don't think the first swing, because when Taros side sticks, yeah, you need that second yeah, you need swing the second to get one. all so that power. I, I guess theoretically you could interrupt it the same way that the down stick was, but that did not happen in that scenario. Now three to three. Uh -oh, See what I'm chopped. talking about? I started saying numbers and the stocks go away, and now what I was saying <laughs> was incorrect. It's three to two. Uh, and Godly could go down shortly after me saying that. That downline hits, but the recovery in a nair. I mean, Pavelski just got oh, hit five times by Godly's axe before touching the ground. Amazing job. Simple, on the other hand, needs some help, and Godly goes in to provide it. Uh, does get hit for it, but Simple does make it back to the stage, and he needs to make sure that Simple stays alive because there's a chance that this 1v2 could lead to a victory for the blue team. <gasps> oh, what an interrupt! Saving Simple's life, but only for a moment. Godly now down to his final stock, but we have this imbalanced seesaw. The yeah. heavy side, Pavelski, ready to get launched if Godly just stops at the right moment. All right, it's time for Godly to prove himself here in this 1v2, opening up with double recoveries. One dive kick comes through, chain dodges, Pavelski oh my gets the recovery to the that air. That was so quick. It, it was quick, and it was almost, they, it looked like Pavelski was trying to combo it into another recovery, which would have activated the eye, but it would have looked really slick. Recovery comes through, though, and that downer comes out. Godly still the healthiest on the screen. Pavelski. Oh, he got bamboozled. Re really uh, bringing out all the tricks there, trying to survive. He goes underneath the stage. Stop does not connect in the stair. Uh oh, stomp side air, Godly starting to put out damage, getting his footing. Oh no, the weapon toss into the team combo. There it is. Just grip wow. it and rip it off the top. What? <laughs> Wait, we, we need to see that again. That was, I, that, that, okay. Yeah, that, that was one of the coolest team combos I've seen in a hot minute. All right, so that was great right there. Godly getting the alley oop on the side air. Um, and I believe, let's see here. Oh yeah, big hammer side sig. Oh man, Godly, fantastic with the X this entire game. That ground pound comes through, however, and now I think we are about to oh, see yeah. that team comp. Oh, oh my gosh, they're going right into the next match. We're oh. definitely gonna go over that one on Monday. That yeah, was crazy. Yeah, for sure. Apocalypse for game number three. As Ninja 17 and Pavelski were able to even things up by taking down Simple uh, before Godly had a chance to help out. So let's see if they can Extend the stocks a little bit longer going into this game three. Pavelski gets hit by the neutral light. Um, ooh, and stops there with some friendly fire. Let's see who can make the most out of that one. Yeah, I mean, you know what? If damage build has been going pretty even so far, the friendly fire, not really too big of a problem. Because as long as they're taking the damage as well, you're more ready to knock out the opponents than your own. Because, you know, in friendly fire, you have a cut of the force. You deal less Force less knockback to your own teammate. Ooh, weapon throw prevent. I. That's um, heartbreaking. I saw the weapon throw hit the Ninja Seven Two Nine, and it was like the lightest lob that I've ever seen. I was like, "There's no way that that's enough to to, to finish the stock." But he just couldn't make it back. He was sweating all the way down. Ninja Seven Two Nine goes down to a really well done edge guard from the red team, and now it is six stocks and four. Let's see how long that lasts. The neutral light hits Pavelski. Doesn't take down Simple. 
Okay. The double. He does. He, he gets there. He finishes the job. Neutral light wasn't <laughs> enough there. He goes to the double knockout, takes him out. And now Godly and Simple have a small lead. Godly's been doing so good uh, following up off of Axe down lights and nairs with yeah. a jump recovery, I've noticed. Man, they are just sticking tight and together like a swarm here. Tons of damage piling up, most of it on the end of Pavelski, but he's looking to dish out some of his own right now. Oh, nice job Woo! using the hammer to stop the sword ground pound there. Simple thought you could catch him off guard, but no, it is difficult against somebody who's adept with the hammer to uh, edge guard them in any capacity from like, like on that vertical, uh, that vertical oh, line. Yeah. If you're above or below, it, you're going to get reversal, I feel like. Nine times out of ten. Pavelski showing that there. Let's see if we can take down Godly. Yeah, Godly is the one with the edge guard opportunity with the ah, hammer. There you see. Little less force to your teammate. So even though it was friendly fire, it was worth it because you score the knockout and your teammate's still there. Just dust them off a little. Oof. Yeah, until they get haymakers in the face. There no. goes Pavelski. Uh, Godly and Simple. Okay, down to one stock apiece. And this is the best the blue teams looked so far. Yes, they won the last game. But it was one of those scenarios where they had to take down somebody. They had to take down Simple super early. Yeah. While Godly still had two stocks. And now it is just a three stock to two lead. Uh, Ninja729 still has probably... Okay, I was going to say oh, another no. hammer stomp. They're Sarah trying to make a liar out of you, Tyler. Well, Every I, I, time if you it was, something If up. it was center stage, I think the Sarah wouldn't have knocked out. But he got him right on the edge of Apocalypse. Oh, again! Simple! Oh, Went for the ground pound. The Taro's dream? Okay, nice save there. And he was even able to, able to hit Pavelski into Simple's sword recovery as he was trying to make it back to the stage to get some bonus damage on him because Simple was on the verge of... Uh, Losing that stock to a hammer recovery Taros neutral sig. Uh oh, Pavelski up off the top. Godly just sniping him out. This time it's simple going around to the other side. Oh, the he's... ninja just needs a solid hit on either one of them to earn himself a 1v1. Flying around with the spear there, using the ground pound and the recovery to reposition while hopefully hitting somebody, but he's not getting it to work. Pogos are coming through. Godly and Simple re <gasps> recognize how how dire the situation is. Godly does dodge back to the stage. I don't think the Ninja 17 is going to risk doing anything other than, like, oh, oh no, he's caught. Ah, they didn't finish their plate, though. Now they have to go for the extended <laughs> edge guard. There it is, Godly with the checkmate. He had him off at the pass. Yeah, that was uh, the, the drift that he had on that, that dodge there, while necessary, it was just so difficult to recover in that scenario. Uh, Godly and Simple did such a good job covering every, like yeah, we're gonna see right here on the side air. Here. Godly's here with the weapon There's throw. a low, Simple covers high, yeah. you have to go low again, and Godly's just waiting. And Godly, uh, the, the patience there to wait and not have, uh, because sometimes players will want to reset the slide on the wall there, but Godly mm. took the position at the top of the, the wall in Apocalypse and didn't move at all, slid down as far as he could so that he could react to the last recovery option that the Ninja 729 put out there. Great job coming out from the red team, and they're going to be able to get, bring it to match point now, 2-1. to one. Mammoth Fortress is going to be the playing field for game number four. Ooh, all right. Running right into it, and the ninja is running around trying to find a weapon. He's been unarmed for a while, just taking tags in the back once and again. Finally, finally, with the sword that looks like a fire extinguisher. Or is it a fire extinguisher that's been sharpened like a sword? I don't know. He, it's interesting when I, because when he's using the neutral light or the side light, and you hear those like, the, it's clearly a sharp weapon that's hitting them. Ah, <laughs> yes. the fire extinguisher <laughs> that's like, I guess, I guess it is actually just that sharp. Side air is hit, Ninja 729, with the spear, know, tosses it down. Oh, break dance? One arm down heavy. Let's see what Golly's able to do, gets back to the stage. Neutral Sig put out, no dodge, which means Ninja 729 tried to go in for a punish, but Godly just jumps right above it, stops Scoop. On the other side, Simple gets punished uh -huh. by Pavelski, and Godly could go down pretty quickly here. Now, the past two games, we've seen that the team that had the stock lead ended up uh, being the team that got stuck into a, a 1v2. Right, and, and, and those are the ones that were losing that. So let's see how this plays out here in game number four. As this is a, a similar situation that we saw last time. Ninja 729, Pavelski, or Godly and Simple will both be up uh, a whole two stocks. And oh, no. equalized very quickly. Godly with the recovery. Goes for the stomp. Oh, no, that's that's risky. Oh, okay. Ninja 729 really drifting. Yeah, they're they're playing off stage against Godly's hammer a lot, and it, uh, it makes me nervous, mm -hmm. Taza. 
Well, both Godly's hammer and Pavelski's hammer, I've seen simple sword ground pound two times now into a hammer recovery, and the second time it was into the Terra's neutral signature that almost cost him that entire game. But no, simple instead takes the Ninja 729 at the to uh, top of the stage, and Pavelski without a dodge is going to get down here by Godly there. Dodge is gone again. Simple with some friendly fire it means that Godly had to reposition for the recovery, and now it's a super close game. Ooh, gets around the weapon toss. Ninja back up on stage. Manages to smack Godly a little bit, but that just sent him center stage so they could get a quick little handoff team combo. But it is God. Okay, the weapon was not active. I almost I was Yeah, I was watching that one. I'm like, does he have enough options? Yeah, is that recovered straight into the, the, the ladder? And I was like, how does he? Okay, but he, he's surviving. Pavelski is really trying to extend the stock. Nice shot of the side air. I guess he thinks that if he could take a stock before he loses this one, that's how he makes it worth it. But no, the D-Light Sayer comes through. Pavelski goes down. Ninja 729 goes to the ground pound. That one works. Weapon throw. Okay, there it is. Is simple gone. Oh my god. Wait a minute. He touched. He touched and he got the hit. I can't believe Ninja 729. Managed to MVP. make that work. MVP this the game. The weapon throw knocks down Simple, and he goes all the way down to be able to pick it back up, make it back to the stage of the dodge, and get a recovery on Godly to take the lead. But this is exactly what we saw in game three before Godly and Simple brought to a 1v2 against the Ninja 729 and won the game. Let's see what Pavelski is able to do off stage here. He's, he's being risky about it, even though he's on one stock. Oh, man, the Ninja's just trying to bust up. They were getting a good amount of handoffs onto uh, Pavelski. So he took a decent chunk of damage. They're pushing him just about equal with themselves. Three players are ready to get knocked out here. Oh, that was so close. Danner hits. Ooh, weapon throw comes straight through. And now Pavelski. This is, this is exactly what I was talking about, right? Pavelski could go down so easily to either godly or simple here. And if he stays on the wall uh -oh. for too long. He's got to get up. He's got to get up. Oh. That wall slip. You see those exclamations come out. Once you have three, you are not re returning your jumps on a Ooh. wall touch. Oh, so you've got what is Pavelski oh. doing? Does he have man? the options? He does, he does. Just enough. Oh, man, that was crazy. Grandpa comes through. What? The Double slide break dance. charge. I cannot believe it. They're breakdance fighting. He hit it on both of his opponent's neutral light hits. Godly just drifts off to the right. Knows that he can't make it back. And the Ninja 729 and Pavelski with both amazingly high damage numbers. That was 600 for the Ninja 729, 573 Huge. for Pavelski. They were just doing a ton of damage. Godly and Simple surviving for so long, but did not win. Game number four. Yeah, there's that weapon throw down. Okay. That's crazy. He Simple. went for the dive kick and just bit it. And then the Ninja comes back, yeah. gets the double knockout. Absurd. Oh, man. Slid right in there. Pavelski was on the wall extending that stock for what felt like 30 seconds just to be able to survive to make oh that breakdance happen. Absolutely worth it. Pavelski making the most out of those stocks there that game. Yeah, look at the damage. On both Everybody's sides. over Everything. 600 taken. <laughs> I mean, everything's over 1,000 there when it comes to the team damage. So that is uh, just wild. Very high damaging game. <laughs> Okay, shipwreck balls. Let's go. What? That, that was interesting. <laughs> when you have that, that the, the opening of a Brawlhalla game is ah, yes. so much fun to think about because you're, you're really playing rock, paper, scissors there. What I did not expect was two players to dash jump to the center and then both gravity cancel in the <laughs> same direction so that neither of them hit each other. But Just, that's exactly you know, what ships happened. passing in the night, yeah. essentially. Oh, no, godly. Tries to go for the ground pound, and Pavelski gets up the recovery. I can't believe he touched, but he did. And he makes it back, and now Pavelski is the one trying to recover. Uh oh, Simple. he's done. He's like, okay, the dive kick didn't work last game. This game it worked. He just had to recalibrate it, you know. Just move the knee a little bit, you know. 80 degrees wasn't quite the right angle. Make it, you know, 78. <laughs> And that time he gets the stock, uh, and he survives. Last time he wouldn't have survived no matter what. Side Sig hits. Pavelski and the Ninja 729 are playing a little stacked on top of each other. Um, that could cause some problems. It's the second time that he's tried to go for that gravity cancel side sick, and that time Simple hit him with a plethora of attacks uh, to really make it worth his while. And now Blue Team is struggling Ooh. here in game five. Oh, Godly with a dash jump pivot ground pound on the axe. Oh, double no, the double, weapon throw. the That's weapon both. bonk. Oh, he got saved and saved himself. Pavelski Whoa. is a madman. Pavelski managed to make that work. Yes, he goes down. 
Yes, the double knockout happens afterwards, but Pavelski both used the scoop to save the ninja and then was able to hit his opponent to be able to get the chase dodge back to the stage. It was wonderful until, you know, we took a look at the game and realized that at one point it was six stocks to two. Pavelski and Ninja 729 are just getting demolished in game five. Yeah, it seems like uh, Godly and Simple, they're just way more confident, way more destructive on this map in particular because that's what we saw at the beginning of the set. And once again now, Red Team, for the first time kind of since the beginning, and set, they've got a sizable lead. Belsky getting hit by a lot. Okay, nice job there on Godly. Trying to take Godly off the right side of the stage. Godly goes back to center. Down air exchange for down air. Side stick takes simple down. They're making this look good. Down airs from Godly. Pavelski goes all the way out there for the recovery, trying to get an early stock. Weapon throw, follow up, into the dive kick, double dive kick, ground pound. No, he doesn't even need it. He caught all of Godly's options, and now it is an even game stocks wise. This is the best they could ask for with how that opening went. And so at, at one point, it was six to two. Now it's two to two on stocks. Yes, they're heavily damaged, though, and oh, that's it. That was that was wonderful. unfortunate, man. Like, like, you can't grab both opponents with the hammer recovery. So simple was like, all right, then I guess I'll just do my own combo with the neutral signature. And there it is. We're gonna see that just edge guard there. Just look at this save. Scoops your teammate up, gets the chase dodge. They're here. Manages yeah. to tap the wall. Chase dodge once again. Back up. It's just unfortunately and, 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 they got cleared off the field <laughs> in short order. But I, that was interesting because I wasn't sure if he had touched the wall before that Nair hit Godly. But ah. he actually touched the wall and fast fell immediately so that Godly's dive kick would not hit him. Yep. The Nair activated and he was able to make it back. But that is it. Godly and simple win against the Ninja 729 and Pavelski. 3-2 to two and move on. Man. To fight Sarme and Heisen. And that was a crazy yeah, set. That, that was. Going all the way full distance to game five. There's the team. Ah, thank fantastic. you. Thank you yeah. very much for that. But, uh, yeah, it was crazy also in the sense that there were a lot of wind conditions that were based around taking down one of the opponents a lot earlier than anybody else. Mm. We had several of those 1v2 scenarios where they, uh, it, we didn't see any 1v2 comeback. Like, once it got yep. into a 1v2, both teams knew exactly what they needed to do to make that happen. What are you looking at? Now, you can see these numbers, just looking at them, the accuracy way higher, the damage way lower, just a yeah. much more efficient game overall. Yeah, definitely. I mean... <laughs> But there, there was one of those games where I feel like both teams had done 1,200 damage to each other. So, yep. yeah, that was crazy. Godly really doing a ton of damage going into that uh, game with both weapons. Simple doing a great job playing support, and that team is looking fantastic. I can't believe the how many championship. break dances Godly that, hit. He well, had double KOs back-to-back. -back. He had a, a ton of them just over the course of the set scoring yeah. knockouts. Down Heavy actually was just like a favorite. There was like a theme of that game yeah. in general because Pavelski was able to get the double down, the double uh, break dance to secure game number four, yep. bring it to a game five. It was just so much fun uh. to watch it. Can't wait to see more from both teams as because this is a winner's side, Pavelski and the Ninja 729 are not out. That's right. They are still in the bracket, but Simple and Godly are going to be moving forward into those winner's quarters Ooh. matchups, and we're going to be watching them a little bit on later today. The final matchup that we got coming up that's going to be going to the winner's quarters is going to be a, the, the winner of this is going to be hey. fighting Machete and Fozzi, and that's going to be Viper and Solarson versus Bartu and uh, Casp. So Ooh. that's going to be interesting. I am not very studied on Bartu and Casp in the slightest when it comes to seeing them playing competitive. I am unsure. You know, I'm yeah. actually going to go ahead and dig through the bracket. Go Who did it. they take down to get to this yeah. point? Because, listen, Viper, Solarset, like, we know them. Mm -hmm. We've seen them prop, pop up in tournaments before, yeah. especially Viper, just year over year, no matter who he teams with, breaking into, you know, the top 16s, top 8s. Yeah. Just an insane player. Yeah, yeah. Viper has found himself in top 8 of 1v1s and 2v2s in almost every single season in official uh, tournament that I can think of. And he, he's been such a long stay name of the E. Okay, what have you found? All right, so Bartu and Casp, they're coming hot off of a 2-1 victory over Zapapi and Stickia. Okay, that's pretty huge. I was wondering, I was like, yeah. I was wondering what the names that, because when, when it comes to, uh, at least when it comes to North America and Europe, oftentimes I'm like, when we get a top three or two, I'm like, okay, here are all the teams that yep. I could expect yep. to get in a top three. Bartu and Casp are not one of them. <laughs> so, so when I was looking Surprise. at that, I was like, who did they knock out to be able to make this happen? And we saw something happen in South America just yesterday with them and Juno Roar knocking down a bunch oh, yeah. of fan favorites into the lower bracket super early on. So now Bartu and Casp, maybe it's going to be the same story for them because taking down Zapapi and Stickia, that's 
That's a pretty huge upset. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm nice so used feather to, in your cap I'm there. so used to talking about how Zapappi is just the Azoth main yeah. of EU, making it work in 2v2s all the time, and now we don't even get to see him on Winter's side. But instead, we're going to be able to watch Bartoon cast. And that, you know what? I'm excited to see the team that could break, uh, bring them down. I've got to know. Before top 3 2 I'm, I'm seeing a Jay Yun on screen. Oh. Jay Yun Brin, Bartoon okay. Cass. Okay. Great Sword had been making a comeback towards the end of True. 2021. And that was something that we started to see more and more towards BCX. And even though it wasn't the, the mainstay, the, the, the storytelling device of, of that tournament. Right. Going into 2022, I'm, I'm curious to see if we're going to have more players that are, are using that weapon specifically. Because uh, for, for, we I was talking about like cannon, bow, gauntlets. They all had somebody that mained the weapon before it became a little bit more popular into right. the season. And maybe Bartu has really pushed this weapon further into EU because Europe really didn't have somebody that I felt like was a, a great sword main. There was a lot of JU players at one point in time, mm -hmm. but this will be interesting to see because Bryn, that's pretty standard. And then we've got Viper who could play basically any legend that's right. at this point and Solar Sun on the old room. So this matchup is going to be interesting. Yeah. But speaking of any legend, Viper on the Barasa for a game number one. With the old nice, are going to be going to tanky, the lots of power, some really good signatures for closing out stocks. So game number one, Mammoth Fortress, and immediately starting off with Viper and Solarson just pouring out tons of damage. Bartu caught in the fray. Oh yeah, Viper getting hit by the great sword recovery coming out from Bartu and Cast on the other side goes in for that side thing. Ooh, some friendly fire. Bartu taking the most damage so far. Sidelight oh into Viper's blasters and Viper perfectly happy, putting on even more damage to his opponent as he goes for that neutral stick and gets sidelight sared for it. Cast, good punish. But Bartu's out of there already. And uh, oh, nice job with the delayed team combo. Not true, but definitely wild enough that uh, Solarson was able to catch Casp off guard. Oh, yeah. Now, Bartu over onto the Great Sword. You see him going for. Oh, my gosh, that was crazy. Viper getting the Axe neutral signature to toss. So they got a very extended alley oop for a little bit of damage. Managed to take out Solarson. But here's the thing Bartu, I'm noticing he's swapping over to the regular sword. Most chances that he can get. The grounded great sword it's really difficult to make it work in doubles mm -hmm. just because you don't have any true combos off of your openers right. it's always a dodge window before your second or third attack in the chain so you end up having to use a lot more of your aerial kit in order to make your presence known yeah the the uh the ideal which is definitely easier said than done is to get your teammate to hit a dodgeless opponent into you while you're grounded, right? Yes, <laughs> and, then, yes. and, then, and then you don't have to worry about what you just talked about. But so far, Bartu has only been getting hit and not been getting any team combos started here as he is now down to one stock oh, as no. is Casp and Viper and Zolerson are, uh, well, it, it's, it's looking pretty dominant so far. We've seen a lot of game ones like this where game one comes through it's super rough for the underdog team, and then things change. There's a little yeah. bit of adaptation. Maybe that'll happen in the middle of this game, but so far, Viper and Solar Sin are really just making quick work uh, of their opponents. Casp finally Ooh, takes okay. down Viper's first stock. Oh, man, just missed that handoff. That would have been huge for their team, especially if they could have gotten that rolling power play where you have a 2v1, then you knock out the one, and you keep the 2v1s going. Oh, Solar Sin. Sent flying. Wow, Cass with the gravity cancel. All right. Light. Going all the way out there to catch a potential dive kick from Solarson, and he succeeded. And now Viper and Casper battling with axes off the right side of the stage. Bar Man, two. They've yeah. been doing a phenomenal job bringing this one back. They've gotten Solarson down to final stock. They hadn't been taking too much damage. Unfortunately, Cass just getting blasted out of there by the axe. Viper, such a threat. Yeah, and now. Much to my surprise, Bartu is the last one on the, on the field. He was the one that was losing the stocks the fastest, but Cass goes down first. Team combo? No. I wonder if Solar said thought he had a Lance. The distance <laughs> like, there, why, why is the, my range so The distance short? there was perfect for a Lance Neutralite. So I was like, and I was almost expecting that to hit, but he did, uh, no, he was unarmed. Bartu Ooh. gets the Neutral Sig on the Viper. Okay. Brings it down to one stock apiece for his opponents. He's actually navigating this one feature quite well until that moment. Viper and Solarson had covered every single dodge oh option. My the recovery gosh. into the axe side air. Nice nice follow-up from Solarson. Getting into the right position to be able to hit him with that move after the recovery is uh, yeah, pretty I, good. And it was crucial too, right? Because Viper, he hit that blaster's recovery pretty low beneath the stage. Mm -hmm. So since it knocks up, 
there was a lot of up to go through. Yeah. I don't think it would have knocked out. Yeah, we're going to see that right here. Recovery comes through. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, he would have drifted back down and had uh, another opportunity there towards the end for sure. We're going to be going into uh, game two. Yeah, looking at the damage dealt. Pretty good in favor of the red team. We've got uh, Bartu. Uh, wait. Okay, this is curious. Uh, oh. Casp wait. is now the JU. What? I had to. I had to think about it for I, a bit because I thought I was hmm. like, I was like, who's so so Casp on JU, Bartu on Val. So JU seems to be a a staple part <laughs> of their team composition, but it doesn't matter who's picking it. That's what I'm theorizing right now. I, it's not often that we see something like this. I get the sense that. I, I feel like, yes, they, they have that Jae Yoon that they share. And it's just like, no, 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 we lost that match. Give me yeah. that. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. It could be we were we were talking about how with the double Roland yesterday in South America 2v2, how there are teams that do subscribe to the policy of we can't have two of the same legend because that makes DI that much more atrocious. Maybe that is the case for Bartu and Cass when it comes to how they prefer to play. And now Ooh. we've got the uh, the swap here. Val for Bartu, uh, Jae Yoon for Cass, and... A little bit of a better start. It looks like both stocks are going to go in favor of the red team here, like they did in the last game. Oh, wow. Really went for wow. it with that great sword recovery, but Viper was able to, able to navigate around and get the turnaround knockout with just a neutral air on the axe. They were that high up. Okay, that's what I thought. I didn't see it, but I heard the connection sound, and I was like, that sounded like an axe there. But then there was a knockout afterwards, so I didn't want to believe it. But <laughs> that, 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 it is possible for Axe or Triller to knock out. If you are that high to the blast zone, Viper goes down. Bartu took a ton of damage, though, before the stocks got equalized, and Solar Sin is doing a pretty fantastic job getting even more damage onto his opponents on his Ooh. second stock. Man, it looks like they've been focusing Bartu quite a bit, tons of damage, pushing him into the red. They don't want to deal with that 2v1 situation that they had at the last end. They're like, you know what, we'll try it against Cass. Oh, man in short order and a momentary power play. Couple hits going on to bar two. But now Cass oh. is back in the Oh my gosh! Oh. That was so early. That, that was, was so really early. early. Yeah, I, when I saw bar two go for the recovery, the sweat beads were activated, I was like, you're against blasters. <laughs> like, that, that's not gonna go well for you. That's too- You know, Ralph Wiggum, haha, ha, I'm in danger. Yeah, that is, uh, that, that's twice now that Viper has gotten reversals on opponents towards the top of the stage. One with an ax Nair, and the other with blasters recovery. The Nairs are coming through, and we're in a similar scenario as last time. And it, 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 sure, it wasn't Bartu in the 1v2, but it was Jay It was Jay Yun. It was Jay Yun, and it was uh, 705 damage for Viper going into this. So we're gonna see, the Axe Nair knockout here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's, uh, that, yeah, that move has, like, barely any knockout. Yeah, yeah, that, that, you had to be pretty pretty close to the blast zone there. Because like, you, could, you could just keep jumping uh, in Brawlhalla, and you'll, you won't activate the blast right. zone towards the top of the stage. But the second that you are in hit stun, you're, you're, you're gone. You, you just explode. So, so that's exactly what happened there. Viper just caught him that high up. But we're on Mammoth Fortress now once again. And this time, Jayun has been taken completely out of the equation. I Casp see. is back onto the Brin. You know, I was almost wondering if Jayun was going to swap onto, like, Solar Sin or Viper. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. Like, it's just getting hot potatoed across the entirety of the squad. No, not this time around. Bartu uh, sticking to the Val. Brin back for Casp. And Viper and Solar Sin uh, are one game away from winning this 3 0. But out of I quarter. will say, and I don't want to speak too soon, I'm definitely speaking too soon, but the damage lead going the way for the blue team, yeah. this is a nice change up. This is kind of the opening that they've been looking for. Yeah, definitely. Just be careful not to take Viper too close to the top blast zone. Otherwise, you'll lose your stock no matter how much. Don't take him too have. close to the top. Don't take him too close to the bottom. <laughs> you know, you yeah, just got to live in center, that nougat yeah, center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay in center stage. And maybe your stock will last until, you know, normal amounts of damage. Solarson makes it back with Lance. Viper covering him just in case the blasters. Both players playing on the right side of that platform. And now Bartu and Casp are still surviving. Man, Viper, how are you surviving? I, it's Barasa, man. I suppose. That is, that is. He's got all that defense. And, and if he manages to take a stock before losing one here, that'd be huge. Okay. Oh. The weapon throw bounced him into the side zig. That was pretty neat. Very slick. <laughs> oh, couldn't quite get the handoff. 
Bartu just gets the turnaround. I think Solarson intentionally chunked his stock there. He was slowing down. I don't know if he didn't have any options left and identified it, or if it was one of those situations where he didn't want to leave Viper alone for too long. Oh, man. Bartu down airs. Okay, nicely done. Viper side light air. Neutral light, Bartu oh. goes down, evens up the stocks, down air on a Casp, Casp is in danger. That is, that is, okay, he gets to the recovery. I really thought Solar Sim was gonna try to assist, but that's like that moment with in, in yeah. team games, you're like, if I go down there, I might be causing my teammate more trouble than if I just give him the edge guard by himself. So he decides just to stay on the top stage, let Viper have it. Oh, no dodge for Casp. Okay, weapon throw goes the other way though, and he makes it back. Ooh, Viper just anti-airing against that spear ground pound. He was going to have none of it. Blasters definitely reach far enough to give a problem. Oh, no, the quick handoff. Bartu taking tons of damage. And he's gone. Bartu, the one going down to one stock, cast following shortly oh. afterwards. Viper and Solar, so they, they did end up starting this game at a deficit. They have brought it back. Bartu waiting for that weapon coming through. Solarson and Viper both guarding the spawn. Neutralite hits, down air hits once. Can he get the second one? Cast. No, he's going for the save. Okay. Trying to take the pressure off of Solarson. Good play from Viper. Oh, no. Okay. That, that, was, that was not a nair that time. It was an axe side air. <laughs> Oh, Solarson working his way back to stage. No, Cast with the ground pound intercepts him just in time. Yeah, We've got caught. three stocks to two. Viper hanging by a thread. Solarson tried to interrupt it with a uh, uh, fadeaway in the air from the ledge, but it just got right through it, and he goes down as well. Viper now down to one stock. It could be a game four. Let's see how it plays out. Casp and Bartu have been doing a pretty good job with this team composition this time around. There interrupts the combo. Cast. See some big attacks swinging out. They want to get that damage, some knockback, a little bit of breathing room. Unfortunately, only breathing room for the red team. Just oh. sending them wide with every single attack. All right, Viper goes off the bottom of the stage. Cast trying to recover the other side. Dodge is back, but Bart took a ton of damage on the other side. They're both going for edge guards either way here. Casp has been trying to recover for so long. Exclamation points just activate, and Viper oh. is in both directions. Blasters Nair doing so much, but Bartu has a chance. Oh, okay, he's fine. I saw that stuffed recovery effect, and I was like, how many options do you still yeah. have? Ooh, no, she misses. Oh, this is so close. The Viper goes down. Bartu and Casp have a chance. You know they're looking for it, but Ow. man, anything is going to take out Bartu or Casp. The blaster's there. Well, gone and oh. gone, and that's a 3-0 victory for Viper and Solar Sun. Yeah, that spear weapon throw there, not feeling so good. Ends up taking out his teammate, and then he goes down shortly afterwards. Viper and Solar Sun take it 3-0 over the team that knocked down Zipapi and Stikia. Ooh. But man, hopefully we get to see a little bit more later on today from uh, Bartu and Cass, mm -hmm. just because this is winner's bracket. Yep. They've still got another chance. You yep. need to lose two sets to get knocked out of the tournament. Yeah, that you do. Uh, and, and maybe they'll uh, they'll continue. Maybe they'll do the double J eventually if we see them again. Because uh -huh. the we now know that they both have one, even though at the end they decided that that wasn't really the answer. Looking at the team stats at the end, tons of damage wow. taken. I mean, wow. all right, we saw a lot of Team deep damage. barbecue sauce like, color. That you know? is true. You go from the yellow yeah. into the red, even further beyond is barbecue sauce. Yeah, that is, a, ooh, that is a ton of damage coming out from Viper as well. Ouch. Well played. Viper and Solaris are going to be moving on to fight against Machete and Fose. And that's interesting because we've got, like, we were talking about the, the team splits going into 2021 and how Fozzy was teaming with Viper, uh -huh. and now they're going to be fighting against each other again. Although I feel like at some point, depending on how long you've been in the EU scene, you have teamed with Viper at some point or that's another. That's pretty I, true. I, I, feel, I feel like whether it was a community tournament or an official one, so we'll be seeing more of them in just a little bit. But that is all winner's quarters. Uh, decide, we'll, we'll probably right. take a look at the bracket a little bit later, but the next team that we've got coming up, which I'm excited to see, everybody's excited to watch, is Acno and Blaze. Man. Acno and Blaze are going to be going up against Blue and Zyder for this best Ooh. of five to qualify in the winner's side top eight. I I can pretty confidently call it for, for, for uh, Acno and Blaze, but it's going to be fun being able to see Blue and Zyder go up against them, see what they have. When it comes to players in EU, I feel like Blue has a pretty good shot individually against oh, Acno sure. or Blaze at any point in time, but the team dynamic.
too is just it's so All right, terrifying. So are are you thinking that the game plan should then be split off into two separate one v ones? Is that the world? I don't think live in? there's a world where you could actually effectively do that against Agno. Ah, so that's the thing. It's pretty hard <laughs> to do that. It, 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 you could. I oftentimes feel like in 2v2s, in order for that strategy to work, it has to be a mutual agreement between both of your, mm. both both teams and like as a preference thing. Because it's just so effective. That's like fair. In, in a game that we just watched, there was a moment where I was thinking, is Viper going to continue the edge guard on cast? And you were like, nope. He, he just, just the second he hit a down air, he went all the way back so that he could make sure that Solarson had a few extra hits to survive that stock with, right? Help in the 1v2. It's almost always better to work with your teammate to take down one than it is to take down both okay. your opponents separately. So you're expecting those yeah. kind of quick rotation decisions from yes. Akno and Blaze. Yes. And and, and if they were attempt if they tried to get them to separate, right? It would be a moment where they had them both at red, they knock back one, ah. and they would focus on the other one. And that that might be the best approach, but honestly it's difficult to say. So I, I'm excited to see what they're gonna be able to do. I, I'm I'm expecting uh, some Koji picks coming out from yeah, makes one sense. side. I mean, Blue has a pretty great Koji when it comes to things like that, but he could also be playing both far. As for Zyder, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious what to expect, uh, for sure. Mm. But but I am going to be putting this in favor back to the place, with, without a doubt. I I think that's where the safe money is. Yeah. I, I think you would be hard-pressed to find somebody who would disagree with that claim. <laughs> Sparky disagree with it? I don't think so. You don't think I, so? I don't, he's got some wild opinions, don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. But I think he would still say, Akno and Blaze, they've been too dominant in the region for so long okay. that they, they've, they've got to be favored in just about every matchup because they've played just about every matchup. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. We're going into uh, top 12, winner's side. Uh, and Akno and Blaze are on the double brin. And there's the Koji from Blue and Zyder on the boat bar. So it's going to be Koji from Blue going into game number one, which is what I was expecting to see. And now we're just getting right into it. Yeah, damage scrapping. They're sticking around with the swarm. Not that two separate 1v1s. And anytime that you had the moment, you saw Blue kind of pairing off with Blaze for a hot second, and Akno, lickety split, ran all the way across the stage. He's got that, you know, that's the thing about Bryn in the doubles. Mm -hmm. She's got range on her spear and axe, but she also has the speed, yeah. very high speed stat to make those rotations. Yeah, the movement speed for Bryn is the most highly valued stat, in my opinion, when it comes to the character. Oh, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Zydus <laughs> run out the last side. <laughs> okay, okay, it looks like we might His get a reset on His cat standing that. on the keyboard. Yeah, is that exactly like, what's ah, happening. Hold on, not now, Mitten. Keyboard or the controller just sending him off to the left side of the stage. So it looks like they're they're gonna go for the uh, the sportsmanship play here. I think. Yeah. It was already past the time. They didn't. They absolutely do not have to. Right. But it right, seems right. like they're they're making that call. Yeah. Well, we'll see what the decision's gonna be in a little bit. Uh, it, it's either gonna be the sportsman play or Acto and Blaze is gonna wanna going into the best of five because because yep. one yep. of those things yep. where the, the official rule set is like. You have 10, was it 10 or 15 seconds that you said? Yeah. Something like that. But if it gets too long in the game, there's an issue. Well, but yep. we'll, we'll have to see how that plays out. So it was already like 40 seconds in. You'd been getting comboed and getting combos back and forth. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, conveniently, Mittens is on my keyboard. Now we have oh to reset the game because I started the game out losing. I doubt that's what happened. As there, you but, sprinkle uh, some Meow Mix over your yeah. keyboard for the <laughs> next one. Right, right. <laughs> but I, but we'll we'll see what's going to be playing out there as we're waiting for Zyder to lock in that next legend. Uh, Blaze and Akna were looking pretty solid on the Brin. We were talking a little yeah. bit about why Brin gets picked in 2v2s in general. Um, I feel like whenever a legend has an axe or a hammer, it's a candidate. But in particular, when it comes to Brin and yep. the stat spread, we were talking about the movement speed. Having the crazy That's reach huge. on the signatures on top of the fast movement speed to be able to respond to your teammates' hits or help your teammate across the stage. Yep, yep. And, you know, EU, they, they've been a region that has always kind of favored Axe, even in 1v1, right? It's just a very popular weapon in that region. So, of course, high-speed Axe just makes sense for doubles. And now we're going back into the game. Zyder still on the boat. Three, two, As we're going one, forward here on Mammoth Fortress. All right, starting off the set, zero to zero. Here we go, game number one. Oh man, Blue almost getting taken up off the top, unarmed. Blaze was just putting the hurt on. Oh yeah. Blue taking a substantial amount of damage. 
oh, and Act now trying to go for the edge guard on the left side of the stage. That gravity cancel sideline. Oh man, that pogo. Blue is just taking the world tour. He's been up, down, left, right, never of his own volition. And you can see it with that damage for the first knockout. Oh, Zyder quick to respond. Trade for a trade, that's fair play. And the red team sneaks out the lead. Act no right side. Zyder goes in for recovery. Downlight recovery from Zyder puts Acto closer towards the top of the stage. And, oh, well, Blue is starting to take some more damage. Zyder has been doing the best surviving so far on the red team, but that could change pretty quickly if Acto continues to land on Axe side airs. Yeah, you start getting into that dangerous territory where, okay, actually getting knocked out, that neutral signature from Acno, sealing the deal. But man, there's a significant lead. I, I didn't expect this for game number one from Blaze and Acno. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. They're Act in danger. Yeah, Blue has been... Uh-oh. Taking even more damage, but Acno down. It could be a Blue and Zyder. Game. What an interrupt! Absolutely saved his teammate there, just dive kicking in any which way just to prevent the knockout. Man, Blaze is so damaged. He gets hit by all these setups, all the initial hits. Look at that, again, saved. Akno has been saving Blaze every single time. How is Blaze still standing? Okay, Neutralistic comes through, and Blaze is still fighting. It's like he's on a fresh stock. And oh, Blaze got a that knockout. Was great. He got a knockout before going down at what had to have been like at least over 200 damage onto his character. That was crazy how much damage he's taken. But Akno now has to play the survival game as Zyder's fighting against Blaze on the left side of the stage. Akno falls to the neutral light. Zyder trying to go for these neutral signatures and getting punished by Blaze as he tries to get a, uh, a gravity cancel side light after the first two hits that he got. Uh-oh, Akno. Gets through the weapon toss. Zyder unarmed for a moment. Gets chopped around. That's a ton of damage. Looking for that quick handoff. Man, Akno's done a great job surviving. He's taken a little bit of damage, but man, he has dished out that and more. Neutralite hits, Blaze. We oh, gets hit towards the top of the stage. Doesn't go down though. Akno has still survived. Okay, who's gonna go down first? Looks oh, like it's gonna no. be Akno for game one. Blaze picks up the spear. Now, Blaze isn't exactly the player that I would think of on this team to clutch out 1v2s, but let's see. He does have the best stage to recover for it, right? If this was Shipwreck True. or Apocalypse, it's a little bit harder to make it oh, back. Oh, no. no. Blue. Blue. So uh, quick to catch him just as Blaze was peeking over the edge. Yeah, that is a Slice. whole... That's a whole... Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to think A little think bit of a mini-game there, yeah, you know? Yeah, so like the, the, the game, the, the skill that it takes to... Watch and react to how many jumps your opponent has left on the wall and when they would tend to try to get back to get their jumps to refresh yes. is a whole thing in Brawlhalla. And the players that succeed the most at edge guarding are the ones that are able to look at their opponents and in between uh, predicting and reacting their tendencies, mm -hmm. reacting to the tendencies, could get those stocks really early on. And Blue didn't need his teammate to be able to get that D-Light there. He found it right as Blaze tried to get back to the stage and took him off the top. And now Blaze is back to a, the Olgrim having the Lance and Axe rather than the Spear and Axe that they got from uh, being on Brim. Yeah, and I'll tell you, oh, wait a minute. In danger, Blue skirting around to the opposite side for safety, but that left Zyder alone to get beat up. Now they've got the damage lead Blue team. This is a complete turnaround from last game. Downer hits, weapon throw hits. Blue, can he make it back? He can. Blaze and Akno exchanging positions oh. here to go for the edge guard. Nice shot with that save until, well, both players are hit off the top of the stage. And Blue and Zyder, on the bright side, at least they're spawning in sync. So they're able to help each other get <laughs> a weapon. Always a silver lining, well, uh, huh? And, and, and it's so, not a silver medal. So it, it's sometimes a thing that can happen that it can be detrimental to a team is having their knockout timers be desync, right? They are, yeah. they're, they're losing their stocks 20 seconds apart, and that means at any point in time, one player is trying to get a weapon by themselves. If you both go down at the same time, at the very least, you can help yourselves stabilize. Uh, and we saw that there as they were able to take down Blaze and they were both able to get a weapon. Akno still on three stocks right Ooh, interesting pickup against the wall. Akno trying to work his way back. Blaze fighting out of that 2v1 situation. 
Still a healthy lead for the blue team. Blaze has barely been getting tagged. They put out a ton of damage onto blue and Zyder. Poised for the knockouts. There's one of them looking for the second. And blue is really hurting. Acno finally goes down, but he's making up for what happened in game number one. Um, oh. Wow, Zyder, he had the location on lock, but Blaze saved his dodge to get through that second hammer ground pound. You know, learn once, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, I, I need to fix something. <laughs> Acno, oh, get side of the Zyder, hoping that he was gonna dodge in, went for the ground pound, got downered forward instead. It looks like the set's gonna be evened up at this point. Uh, Acno and Blaze, they did go down in game number one, but they're gonna be bringing it to a 1-1 scoreline because I feel like this 1v2 is a lot harder than the one that Blaze was in, in the previous game. It's a tall order, you know, not yeah. gonna lie. Four stocks to one against the uh, multi-time world champions on a two-year winning streak. Cider, trying to make it back to the stage. He's not quite at the amount of damage to where putting that much effort into reacting to him getting back to the stage is worth it. He, like, they still yeah. have to get quite a few more hits. And Zyder's definitely uh, happy that the Mammoth Fortress platform's on that side of the stage right now. It means he doesn't have to uh, lower the timer on his wall. Uh oh, stuff, but that danger. Was, yeah, that was a little crazy. Maybe it was a bait. They descend for the double stack. Zyder going again for a ground pound. All right, oh. he's living dangerously. Yeah, he's living so dangerously that wall slip's activating faster and faster, but he does get the recovery on the Blaze. He's really putting the effort in here, and he has not taken too much damage, honestly. He's making Akno and Blaze really work for this 1v2. Yeah, I mean, he has been threading needle after needle just every time, getting that hit and run, build up the damage. He scored the one knockout. Akno's kind of that main target now. Oh, perfect handoff. That's going to accelerate this for sure. Every hits. Zyder has somehow only been brought to the orange after all this time. There, finally, disarmed. Oh, man. Gravity cancel neutral light. Sets him flying. He's still making all the way back. Agno accidentally hits his teammate with a weapon throw. Zyder, oh, finally. Read the dive kick and closed it off. Finally taken down there towards the end. Damage taken 639. Gives a little bit of shrug. He's like, well, I tried. And you know what? The best that you could do in a 1v2 against Blaze Nacno when it's one stock to four, right? That's that's pretty tough. And he was able to get a stock out of it and survive for an extra two minutes. So really well played there by Zyder. Uh, it just has to have Blue survive a little bit longer uh, going Man. into game number three there. But it's not looking undoable because like we said, that that was Blaze Nacno evening up the set. Yep. Now one to one. So, so Zyder and Blue definitely have a chance in this uh, best of five. Yeah, and I know uh, Duke was talking about it backstage earlier that Akno and Blaze are actually coming off of a 3-2 victory in their previous match. So they've been having a rough go of it through this tournament in the early stages where you'd usually expect them to just kind of breeze through 3-0 after 3-0. Double check with that. Oh, it's Rakushi and Herbador. Yeah. Okay, all right. Wow. I actually really want to see Herbador and Rakushi play now. That, that is that is a, a pretty good scoreline. And they just 3-0'd Tinix and Wave got in a lower bracket. But back to this matchup here. Okay, so on Mammoth Fortress, plays an act against Blue Insider. Sets even up Insiders now onto the Jolly. Ooh, stuffed recovery. Akno going in for the final knockout. Not able to get it. Man. I gotta tell you, I have massive respect for Zyder's movement. He was able to thread through so many attacks and survive in the 2v1 for so long at the tail end of last game that it's really unfortunate that he's the first one to get knocked out here. Yeah, that is true. And I mean, we we can uh, we can attribute that to the low defense of Jala anytime. It's like a it's like a super common uh, criticism. For me or anybody to make, really. When, you, when you're picking a low defense Legend in twos, it's like, well, there's a reason why that stat is valued so highly in ah. a 2v2 when there are three people that could potentially cause you damage rather than one. Uh, we see Zyder the, the first to go down there, but Blaze follows afterwards, and there's no excuse of defense there. Ogrim's pretty tanky, so uh, even game so far, 5-5. Five to five. And As I say, that Akno sent flying. Blue and Zyder have taken the lead, albeit barely. Zyder could go down to one stock right now, and that lead could look pretty oh, bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very imbalanced. Four stocks to three. Zyder, final stock. If he gets knocked out, Blue is going to have an extended 2v1 to deal with. 
Neutralite hits. And blue. Blue, I, I like his, his method. He was rotating over to try and take pressure off of Zyder, not wanting to leave him alone for too long. Because I feel like Blaze and Akno have kind of been hunting Zyder down a lot this match. Oh, ground pound hits it. Oh, no, the weapon throw to Blaze. Okay. Oh. There goes Blue. Zyder is looking pretty damaged as well. And you're it right. It could have been worse. It could have been so much worse. Well, that's that's true. That but you, it's still real bad. It's, it's yeah, that Zyder. Oh, what? Right, Zyder, now it's worse. Zyder now was it's in, worse. Zyder was in hit stun for what felt like five hours. He just went flying across the stage of the blast zone. He is out, and now Blue fighting against this 1v2. I don't think Blue's going to last nearly as long All right, as Zyder. Yeah, this okay. is the Blaze and Akno we're expecting to see. Yes. Yes, that uh, did not look great for the red team. Zyder probably off of the Jala after that one. There's the D-like ground I would pound after so. the, that first ground pound. Uh, Akno doing pretty darn well. And we're seeing this edge guard here. Akno is just, just like, you're never touching the stage again. Sayer, Sayer, weapon throw. Oh. oh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, look at the high efficiency. The damage difference between the teams, that damage dealt. Just about 300 damage difference. Akno and Blaze yeah. didn't let Blue and Zyder get anything started. Yeah. Two to one in favor of Blaze and Akno now. Let's see what Zyder. Okay, I'm seeing, I think, a Koji pick for Zyder. That or it is. Uh... Yeah, okay. So okay. Blue and Zyder are now on Koji and Tariffs going up against Brynn and Olgrim. So complete change here. Blue off of the Koji, giving that uh, legend up to Zyder. And he's bringing out the Tariffs to try and salvage this game as they are now at match point going to Crystal Temple. Crystal Temple, interesting pick here. It's got those two soft platforms, relatively small walls, but you know, there's a lot of places that you can land here, but you've got to watch out for those big anti-air signatures. Anything that can cover a ton of air space makes those platforms a little less safe to land on. Oh, the neutral sick catches him, and Blue and Zyder are opening up this game not looking so hot. Blue, uh, with the axe, neutralites away. Blaze tries to help him out there. Recovery is going back and forth. Good punish on the down sink, oh, but perfect. Blaze with an even better punish. Oh, ow. X side aired into a land side air. That ow. hurts. Yeah. That really hurts. That's a lot of damage. He goes set flying. Sidelight, D light, side air. Oh, Zyder comes in with the revenge hit, but it's a little too, little too late. Neutral light comes through, down six does not quite hit, but Blaze has been on top of saving Akno out of punishes all game. It has been crazy how effective he's been with Ooh. that. Blue's gone. He's actually gone. I heard that stuff recovery off of that down light. Beating Blue's hammer unarmed. What? All right, Akno. Let's uh, calm down. Recovery hits. Ooh, six stacks, three. Man, yeah, Blaze and Akno are just blazing through this one right now. Ah, the scoop, worth, it's worth it. It's worth. absolutely worth it. Yeah. You've got Zyder down to his final stock, Blue down to his final stock. Blaze still sitting pretty on two now. Yeah. Such a strong position. Oh, weapon throw, pick up Neutralite. Akno finally goes down. Blaze in the 1v2, puts up the side signature, and Blue doesn't get the stop. But he gets the, oh, Zyder. All right, but wait a minute, he could turn it. Oh no, Blaze fought his way back, got the chase dodge just in time, and now Zyder's gone. Blue dwindling, he's out of here. That's a 3-1 victory for Akno and Blaze. Uh, it was it was just, oh, there's so much that went wrong after that it one. Was that, that, that first bow down air just resulted in the most hilarious sequence of panic moves I've ever seen. Blue and Zyder just constantly try to hit each other to get back to the stage so they can activate chase dodge. Yeah, that it was an Akno uh, and Blaze dominating performance. Cause like, look at this, Blaze. This is like right after he recovered. Yeah. Cause he he almost got knocked out, but the coverage. Oh, Akno such loves amazing it. coverage. You weren't getting back to stage there. <laughs> he does the slide charge pivot haymaker, so he punches him into the stage. Oh my and god. He still gets knocked that out. That 300 damage difference Ooh. between the teams, damage dealt from last game. Oh now yeah. Now it's doubled. Yeah. 600 damage spread. Wow. 610. I can't. Hey, 
That is so much more damage coming up from that oh, yeah. Play. Yeah, I think that if we looked at the stats, I think like either Blue or Zyder only had like 143. I don't remember which one, but it was low. That Jeez. was a dominating performance coming out from Macno and Blaze and about the result that we were expecting. And, you know, yeah. and we were talking about that in the matchup before. Uh, game one, it's always a little rough to figure out how the set's going to go based off what happens That's in true. game number one. And then when game two hits, you're going to be like, okay, this is probably what we can expect for the rest of the day. And it seemed like whoa. Acton Blaze really just started hitting their stride. Yeah. Well, and, and watching Zyder swap Legends so so frequently as well uh, is kind of a, a telling point, too. I feel like when when I feel like there's a moment where a player is just kind of like searching for, okay, what, what weapon combination, what stat distribution, what signature kit's yep. going to make this work out a little bit better for me? It's like, well, may, maybe that's not all the cases. But you know what? Acton and Blaze, it, it, when, when it comes to fighting against them, you kind of have to try everything that you've got. Uh, it, it, yeah. They are a difficult team to beat for a reason. Yeah. Oh, man. So they've just kind of secured themselves a spot into top eight winner's side. Definitely, you know, got to feel good there. That is a major, major accomplishment. I know they've been there time and again just over the several years that they've been so dominant. But every single one is a victory worth celebrating. Yeah. And now what we've got up next is simple and godly against Heisen and Sarming. So th th this this will be interesting. Simple and Godly off of the back of a win against the Ninja 729 and Pavelski. A pretty big win, if you ask me, oh, when yeah. it comes to these two uh, teaming together. So going up against Sarming and Heisen, I'm going to give it in favor of Godly and Simple because if, if this was the other way around and the Ninja 729 and Pavelski were in this position, I'd be giving it in favor of them as well going into this matchup. So All right. I'm just well, going to use a simple I property will of say, the team that beats the team that I thought was going to win is going to win. That's what I'm thinking. Look, go, go ahead. But here's the thing. That All was right. a 3 Two set. Yeah. Sarma and Heisen are coming off of a 3 1 victory okay. over Cressu and 720 Poly Shot. Okay, that's actually a pretty big victory, too. 720 Poly Shot, one of the few really great Scythe players. That's right. Uh, and that's that's like, I, we're, we're at that point in EU where every team that gets knocked down, I'm like, oh, but I wanted to watch them uh -huh, play. But uh -huh. it's like somebody has to go down before winner's quarters. Now, here's the real thing, though. This is a little no. bit of uh, one of those emotional matches, right? What because is this is Simple and Heisen mm -hmm. going up against each other with that's their uh, with their new partners. Yeah, that's you true. Know? And, and, and in the case of Simple and Heisen, uh, it's not quite like Viper, where the teammate switches every season. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. so this, that's a little there bit was a more. Long time there's a little bit more of a, gr a, a grudge match here going on, where Simple and Heisen are going to be going up against each other, and and uh, Sarmay and Heisen are obviously going to want this win because it's one of those moments where, when you look at it, depending on how the team comps. It uh, shakes up. Heisen could be like, oh, I'm going to show you that you made a mistake dropping me as a oh teammate here. And that could be very is that, fun to watch. Do, is, that, is that how it happened? Do we know? We don't who know. broke up with who? We, we, I we don't. I, I'd, I'd like to think it was probably. you got to hit the tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to make any assumptions here. But we're going <laughs> to we're gonna find out uh, shortly who who's the better team, and, yeah. at least when it comes to the first seasonal of the year. And that's a, that's a pretty big deal. It, it's like, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to compare it to, right? First exam of the year in school, right? You don't want to get a bad grade, otherwise, oh, you're, okay. you're, you're, otherwise, stage, otherwise your you total know? grade you is like, it's like, it's like, what's my grade of the class for now? That's like fifty percent. I'm like, well, that's that's not great. It's like, well, it can only go up from there, right? <laughs> I, yeah. Well, <laughs> you want to just keep going up, stay in the yeah. winners bracket yeah, as start, long as you can. Start, start with an A plus if you can. Let's see how this works out here as on Apocalypse, uh, Godly and uh, Man, and Simple. Uh, going all right. So I saw this in Godly's last set. His air control with the axe, he gets so many hits unanswered over and over and over while Simple just controls the ground, just kind of patrolling back and forth, staring up at Godly, being like, yeah, that's my teammate. He's doing a pretty good job. Oh, what? What is Heist? Okay. Heist is just waiting there for the recovery. Godly gets hit with a side sig. Sarmi mm. puts a little bit of that charge into the side sig to get the extra hit. And there goes Heisen first. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Was trying to catch out the dodge a little bit. See Sarme putting that extra spice, that little bit of charge, but it's getting yeah. him into trouble. Yeah, more often than not, he is actually just getting punished for it. I saw the left side of the stage trying to put. Wow, I can't believe it's simple. The only way you could dodge that bow down air was to not move an inch because the, sli the natural sliding on the wall is what saved him from getting hit by that hitbox. Oh, he did it down like ground, down like down sick into oh, weapon throw. Sarmi's gone. Two stocks in just over a minute. Okay. 
So you were talking about, uh, uh, you know, that first exam of the year. Right yeah. now, not looking too good for the blue team. Yeah. Five stocks to two. That's a, that's a rough start. Yeah, Heisen and Sarme. Two stocks to four now. And Godly and Simple are like, well, they're just taking turns with the edge guard at this point. Heisen, <laughs> oh, side aired into Simple. Simple goes all the way. Oh, you get sidelined oh, by no. Axe, and then your rise gets interrupted by the neutral. Okay. Oh, Sarma's just getting spiked whoa, everywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. That had to have been. I swear Simple was like center stage of that down stick, and it still spiked. That had to have been like the perfect spacing on that. I want to see that again. We're getting the down air. That game uh, was a minute and 45 seconds. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the replays are going to be longer than the set. Just bear with us. <laughs> oh that, 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 that is uh, that is rough. Yeah. So there's the, there's the first down stick. Love seeing that maneuver from Bodvar. And yep. Simple is a Keep that player. Keep in your mind. We'll see it again. Simple is a player who rarely uses signatures at all. But when he does, they connect. And oh, look like at this? that! That's crazy. It was the very top edge of yeah. the swing. And he, if the, if his opponent was on the stage, there's no chance that it spikes there. Really well done by Simple. And he charged a little bit longer to get the timing right on that as well. Oof, oof, double damage. Oh, man. Jeez. At least team damage is low across the board, 24 to 37. They're not hitting each other that much. They didn't get a chance to. <laughs> you're, you're actually right. <laughs> yeah, that game was not very long. Oh, man. Godly, once again, starting off on the ax, just swinging, chopping around. He just covers so much airspace. I, I guess that's what you get to do when you've got somebody like Simple covering the ground for you. It's just the confidence. Ooh, Sarme taking a good amount of damage right now. Godly loves doing that. Dash jump, uh, fast fall, ground pound on the axe. Oh, Although this time Sarme and Heisen are ready for it. And Heisen has swapped over to the Rayman here. And it's gotten them uh, a lead in game number two. As Sarme is trying to get that uh, knockout finish on the Godly. Oh man, trading stocks now. Godly stealing back the lead for the red team. Simple did get knocked out quite early. So blue team positioning themselves way better than they were in the previous one. That Rayman punch so strong. Yeah, it is incredibly strong. Uh, ooh, okay, nice shot from Heisen. The down light ended up getting through to not his, uh, hit his teammate. And he had the patience, patience to wait out the neutral light to uh, mm. hit the downline on his opponent after that move was done, so no follow-up came through. Side stick from Sarme, doesn't quite connect. Sarme tried to go in for a punish, but that time, Simple was positioned behind Godly's neutral light so that he could punish the person trying to punish Godly for hitting his opponent. There's so yeah. much uh, uh, clever strategy being employed by both teams here. And I gotta tell you, I, time and again, I just find myself watching Godly. His target swaps have been so incredibly on point. Ooh. Oh no, the friendly fire. You were talking uh, about how there was so little of that, but that yeah. was a huge one. Oh, uh, and Simple could lose his stock after that as well. Ground pounds and Rayman downs is coming afterwards. The side stick takes Simple oh, down. Oh, oh. Ison, the one with the, well, I'm going to stop that sentence right now because I think he's down. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, and he almost, oh no, Sarma. Okay, he did touch, but Sarma gets him. <gasps> oh, weapon wow. Throw. Had enough knockback? That's... I mean, when you're hanging around that low, it just takes a little tap. I guess that surprised the heck out of me. Sarmi goes down at the bottom of the stage. Now Heisen in a 1v2 against Godly and Simple in game number two. If Godly and Simple takes this, it's match point. Uh, see what Heisen's able to do. Oh, he's got to be careful. Okay, he did touch. Now this jumps back. Yeah, this is where you're going to see Heisen favor the corners a lot. He wants to get those kind of hit and runs without getting sandwiched because Godly and Simple, they've got those team combos, and it'll just be an instant conversion into death. Oh, Heisen. He can take down Godly. He gets the 1v1 against Simple. That would be something to see. Oh, the Cider comes through, catches Godly, just dash dancing in place. Heisen repositions. Let's see what he's able to do. Oh, recovery comes through. Heisen gets oh, hit. Oh, no, That's there it, it is. The sandwich immediately. Yeah. Great team combo. We, we, that's something what that we're going to be seeing from Godly and Simple a lot, I feel like, is uh, Godly hitting uh, their opponent into Simple at the right range that Simple can do a jump, fastball, gravity cancel, side sick. That's like ah, the finisher yes. that he's been looking to snipe people with because you get so much distance inherently on the move, and it's such great force as well. Yeah, here we see Heisen. Just not make it back, the slow-mo effects. Look at this, players. tries to get there, gets the wall touch, but that bonk, 
He was oh, already okay. so far okay. down. I didn't realize that Starmie was that damaged as well. I thought he was like in light orange, but ah. by that po point in time, that amount of knockback makes sense. And now we're going on to match point, game number three. Apocalypse all the time. This is where the world ends. Potentially the set ends because Godly and Simple are on set point. Bison now with the Koji. Doing a lot of legend swaps himself. Starmie sticking to the vow. Now ground pound coming out from Godly. Be some good damage coming out on the blue team. Ooh, down light hits. Ooh, down signature hits. Sarme. Oh, that, okay. Who is going down first here? Godly off the right side of the stage. Simple almost gets that. Wait, I completely forgot about that. Last game, Godly even oh, went down no. to Simple's down sig. But Sarme's out. Ooh. It's all right. You know what? I, I don't want to jump the gun here, but... Yeah. They did both get knocked out. Oh, no, but Sarma, he's got to make he's it gone. back. He's no. Done. I was going to say it's not too bad. What oh, a save. Tyson saving him at just the crucial moment. I, that could have been disastrous. It's still a disaster still potentially happening. Okay, no, finally, Simple goes down, and Sarma survives. Uh, there was a moment there where Simple was able to get the down signature on Sarma, even though the recovery oh. finally happened. And now Sarma took so much damage just trying to hold on to that stock that that stock might not last much longer. Yeah, before I was saying it, it's not that bad because the damage was pretty even, but then Sarma just took punishment after punishment. Oh? Oh, that's a chance to tie it up. Yeah, except uh, they were both doing the same moves on Sword, so he just DI yeah, straight down and he is out of there. That is the danger. Yeah. You know, you got to use just different moves throughout your entire combo or else the opponent gets to choose which way they get knocked back. Oh, and the scoop takes Heisen down. Okay, four stocks to two. Sim four, three stocks to two. Three to two. Sim simple goes down. Quick math. <laughs> and Godly could go down shortly afterwards if Sarmie is able to get this ground pound. Okay, nope, Godly makes it back. Down sync potential coming out from Godly here. Maybe. It's so tempting. Why not, right? When there's so many people on the, on the, on the field. Oh, sure. Just slide charge down sync his tariffs. You're bound to hit somebody. <laughs> and, you know, two out of three ain't bad. Two yeah, out of three yeah. are good options. Just don't hit your teammate. Oh, I like that ground pound from Godly. Mixing it up to not go off the stage, but still get that. Oh, okay. You said just do tarot signatures. I said down. What sig. happened? All right. Like, there's not a world where I would ever recommend anybody use a tarot side sig on Axe. I actually just I can't stand seeing that move. So you know now just because you said it, Godly's gonna switch over to the Axe, get a double knockout with that side signature. Ooh, wait, this team combo is sick. Oh, Downer that comes was at through. the 90 degree bend right over the corner. Oh no, but Godly somehow manages to get the side on both of his opponents and the downer hits and Sarmay's out. Heisen in the 1v2 against Godly. Heisen oh, can do it. perfect. Okay, d -Light recovery. If that's not going to take off the top of Apocalypse, it's going to be a while before he gets it. Godly with a hammer, that's it. Wow. That was clean. Godly really coming out strong there. 759 damage Jeez. to the 291 of Simple. I think Simple right now is looking at that set and going, I. I'm happy with how the teammate shook up <laughs> at the end there, right? Heisen and Sarma go down 0 to 3, and Godly and Simple win 3 0. And, and Godly within a crazy 1v2. Heisen and Sarma mm. were both just dodging for their lives there at the end. Heisen nearly clutches it with a delight recovery, but Godly just barely doesn't get hit by the blast zone. And a hammer pickup in the stomp stairs is all he needs to take that down. And man, a close game three, but in the end, a victory for Godly and Simple. Man. Is that 3-0. They've got to be feeling good about that one because, you know, the matches, they only get tougher as you go on. So having a set that was, even though the last game was a little bit shaky, the other two were so incredibly convincing. Yeah. I mean, they had a minute and 45 for, like, game number one. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, ooh, that game one was tough. And the, and the, oh, replay, yeah. the replays were longer than that particular game. So, uh, Godly and Simple are going to be fighting against Echno and Blaze in the winner's side of top eight later on oh, in the wow. bracket. That's going to be a wild match for sure because Simple has always been a really tough opponent and rival to Acno in general when mm -hmm. it comes to the history of European Brawlhalla esports. But now with this new team composition that seems to be a little bit more, uh, it's bringing something different to the table than what Simple had in 2021. Maybe there's a chance yep. that game goes the distance to game five or even potentially an upset. That'll be fun to see. But before that, we've got... The team that got second in BCX last year. That's so right. We've got SWATA and TM. And they're going to be going up against favorites. Spectre and Hazer Delta. Yeah, so SWATA 
is such a fascinating Bodvar player to yes. watch. Yes. And, and, and this is so cool because the story that developed, for me at least, in, in my head while watching what happened in 1v1s with Swata finally, what was it, like a 10-game loss streak? Uh, against Simple, uh, finally getting the win at the at take BCX, it down your bracket demon. right? And, and he could not play any more differently from Simple when it comes to the style of Bovar. Yes. So that's what's so exciting to see these two, uh, or to see playing from him. And then TM, just an absolute powerhouse in the history of EU, has been playing since the beginning of Brawlhalla Esports, basically. And now teaming yep. up with Swata to go against Spectre and Hazer Delta. No team changes there. They were in that top three of BCX, and I'm expecting them to get pretty close there this time around, too. And they don't have to worry about fighting uh, Simple and Godly as their yeah. qualifier match for winners finals. That's not, that's up to Actum and Blaze, right? Oh, so, man. so so as, as far as their side of the bracket goes, it's familiar names to say the very least because what they they'd have to fight against Machete and Fose or Viper and Solarson as as the winner of the matchup that's coming after this. They 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 fought against those teams before. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, they've got the experience. Um I'm just looking at this match mm -hmm. that they've got before any of that, Spectre and Hazer Delta. Hazer Delta can pop off, let me tell you. Yeah. I mean, occasionally yeah. it's just everything falls in the right place and he looks unstoppable. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that could potentially happen here. We're in this we're in this weird I, I'm not I'm not not sure why, but I have been feeling more and more confident just saying which teams are going to be able to take down what teams. I'm so sure of myself that Swan and TM are just going to ah. completely destroy this case. Yes, Hazer Delta and Spectre can pop off, but it's one of those scenarios where I just feel like, eh, not, not today. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you, you run the XCOM, right? And it's just like, ah, hit chance, you know, 92%. That's pretty I good. I am I'll such take a huge SWAT fan at the moment. I'm just letting my bias go through. It has been so much fun watching him develop as a player and how he has pushed Bodvar to those limits. His hammer, mm. unbelievable. And I don't usually like watching Hammer. <laughs> like, so, that's, so that's why it's like, it's like I can't wait to see that happen. So He's a thrill, for sure. We're, we're going to be having that matchup coming up in just a little bit, and I am super excited to see. I'm looking at the Legends locked in. Of oh, course, hey. Swada on Bodvar. Naturally. We've got Axe all around. It's Olgrim, Olgrim Taros on the other sides of the stage. So oh. we're, really, we're really getting a... a Besides the, the counter picks that are happening in the sets where I feel like the team on the back foot is just struggling to find an answer, we're getting a lot of consistency with the legends that are being picked, as we were talking about. Ah, right? yes. Olgrim, Taros, Bodvar, Brim. That's what we've been seeing a lot of, with the occasional vow. I'm not going to include Rayman in the equation. I don't care if he was picked. Are you sure? I'm you sure, sure. You, I'm you sure. don't want to? You know, it makes sense. Wayman has always been the character that I feel like makes total sense that everybody should be playing because of Axe and Gauntlets. But for some, I, I feel like the play mm. style of those two weapons are too far different from each other for too many Rayman players to exist. Uh, you, you have to, like, okay. you have to like, either be okay. a Rayman main or just never pick the character. But I digress. We have Bodvar, Olgrim versus Olgrim and Taros for a game of one. Wondering if we're going to be seeing any legend swaps. I doubt it. Uh, SWAT on TM against Pretty stable Hazer Delta picks. and Spectre. All right, rocking in. This is going to be Shipwreck Falls for game number one. Who's going to fall into the shipwreck? The answer is nobody, because the shipwreck's actually pretty high up there. You see yeah, it spikes on, like, the waterfall mountain? It's like an air shipwreck falls. That's what it is. <laughs> it's, it, it has all the functions necessary to float, but nothing else. You can't steer it. It's fighting endlessly on this ship. Here we go, Swata and TM. Going up against Hazard Delta Inspector. Sidelight side air from Azer Delta. Nicely done there. Oh, he tried to go for the down air, but the mm. weapon toss covered TM's head. And it's a pretty even game both sides. The Olgrim seem to be taking the most of the beating on, on both teams. Here's there in the red. Who's going to go down first? Well, you know, he's got the defense to make it work, right? He is more of a speed and defense focused legend. The Spectre was the first one to go down. Hazer Delta hanging off the side just to give his teammate time to give, regain his footing. Oh no, quick handoffs. That's a bunch of damage that they could not afford. Recovery coming out from TM. Stop. Scoop. Okay, everybody out of there. Swata the only one surviving so far. Spectre with a decent amount of damage on his person as well. TM waiting for that weapon spawn. Oh, it was in favor of Spectre, so he continues to deny it. And TM says, I don't care. Hits him with two recoveries, and that's good damage. As Swata is still coming back to the stage, dodges from that weapon throw, and he gets in with that Stomp's air punish. Oh, I thought that Swata was going to be able to survive the hit stun and then get the hammer recovery on Spectre. Mm. 
I was hoping that was going to be the case, but no, he goes down, and now it's even up uh, four stocks around the board. Oh, man. Spectre in danger. So incredibly damaged. Turns around for the edge guard, but no. Oh, no. He bet it all. He wasn't able to get the touch because TM covered the wall too well. Spectre down to his final stock so early on. TM was short to follow. So at least they're keeping these even on stocks, even if the damage isn't. What a nice job with the recovery. Yeah, they've been really good at their quick handoffs, even if it's just like for a, a real snappy three-piece, mm -hmm. not an extended team combo that gets into a knockout, but still just accelerating the damage lead every single time. Cool. Nice weapon throw. Try to go for the pickup. Neutralite. Okay, Hazer Delta using the side stick to reposition. Tighter hit. Swata goes flying. Oh, Spectre is playing the survival game now. Oh, yeah, he cannot afford to get blasted. Oh, ground pound from Major Delta repositions. Yeah, you see TM, he's just like, I'm, I'm getting out of there. TM has spent a decent amount of this game. Well, nice oh. out of the game. 1v1, Hazer Delta versus Swaddle. Let's see it. Hazer Delta, you think you have those pop off moments? All right, here's the Swatter ha Swatter Hammer. You were talking about oh, this. Oh, yeah. Throws it away, throws it away though. Uh-oh. He was hoping to get the easy hit on the short walls of Shipwreck. The bounce into the side air. Hazer Delta, options dwindling, goes Ooh. for it, no! A little bit of a trade, Shipwreck, pretty tall ceiling, but second one's the charm. Swata sealing the deal for a game one victory. 729 damage. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. 789 damage from Hazer Delta? Was I just not? I, I knew he was hitting a lot of opponents there. Oh, I, yeah. To do the most damage in the game? Okay, Hazer Delta. All right, that's I pretty. You, Hazer Delta can pop off. And that was a, a pretty darn close game as far as game ones go. Yes, Swata did win in a 1v1 at the end there, but it was brought down for 1v1 for a reason, and Hazer Delta was definitely that reason. Spectre had taken a lot of damage early on in the game and ended up going down relatively early. If he can make those adjustments, I feel like they could take advantage of the fact that TM is prone to getting weapon starved and really bring it to a, a, a an even game here in game number two. Oh man, you see the blue team starting to go for this wide sandwich all around. They want to get those handoffs again. That's where Swata and TM really kind of accelerated their leads. Oh, perfect punish on that signature. Hazer Delta definitely uses that axe side signature right over the corner because, you know, you'll start dropping towards the tail end of it, makes it a little bit safer. But Swata and TM are starting to catch on. Ooh. Oh no! Just the quick tap. Weapon throw comes through. Can Swata make that back? Oh, the weapon Just. throw angle wasn't good enough for Hazer Delta. Swata is now in the edge guard scenario. This is looking a lot better for the red team. TM is the one that's been going down earlier on. And Swata has, is being a little mindful of how much damage he has. Hazer Delta with that. Okay. All right. Oh, great punish on that side signature. Weapon throw comes through. There goes Spectre. One, two, trying to secure it before Spectre gets back in the mix. No, Hazer Delta will live for a little bit longer. Side air. Can that take down Hazer Delta? No, he survives and TM down airs him. Oh man, Hazer Delta now isn't that okay? Okay, so how are what are you doing? How are you still how are you still living here? That okay, nope. Not even last time. He's never side. gonna die. He's immortal. Oh, the weapon throw. Too close to have too much knockback there. What? Oh, what? Uh, no. Almost. That sword almost took that Azer Delta on its own. How are they surviving? You know what the craziest thing is, though? Look at Swata. He's actually more damaged than Hazer Delta. Uh, I mean, it's... It, okay. All right. That finally did it. Swata, of all players on the screen, manages to take down a stock in this position. There's no way he's going to take down another one. How are you getting hit and not just evaporating? Somebody's going to breathe the on stop. him. The stop! The stop sent him too gosh. far. Stop instead of <laughs> too far to be able to combo into Sare. Unbelievable. All right, it's a relatively close game. Spectre could go down here and it's dead even. TM has been getting focused because Swata just spent so darn long surviving on three stocks. And Spectre, however, is putting on some good extra credit here before he could potentially go down. 
Yeah, here's the thing though. Oh, wait a minute. Spectre getting launched down. Can't make it back. And now Hazer Delta in the power play. It's a dangerous situation for him. Ooh, Sire hits. TM's trying to take down that stock. Even if TM goes down and Swatter's in the 1v2, we might get to a point in the game where that's actually in favor of Swatter, just considering that he is the least damaged by far. All the players that have two stocks left. Recovery hits. Side air comes oh, through. Man. Hazer Delta goes down. And Spectre's got to be careful. He's doing a great job not taking too much damage, despite how long he's been on this one yeah, stock. Yeah, he's barely been touched. His Lance was putting in so much work, and he was so careful to place those attacks where he wouldn't get punished for them. Oh, man, really going for the coverage with those big double axe swings. Weapon throw goes up. Hazer Delta's scheming. He's looking for a knockout. Yeah, but he's also on the verge of getting knocked out. Oh, the neutral Ooh. hit. Swada, once again, has taken, he's probably taken more damage oh, than everybody the on the screen, and he is still the one with the least amount of damage on him on those last stock. TM really trying to survive here. Nice job. Any hits that he can get through here are amazing, as he just has to get it to the point where Swada has to fight one opponent. D-Light side air, recovery. Oh, Hazer Delta and Spectre are just struggling oh, to survive. Oh, beat out the recovery. Spectre definitely thanking those lucky stars of stuffed recovery. Ouch. That was quick. Yeah, the stop to the side air, and the second side air ends up connecting. How much damage taken there? I think it was 656. So yeah, taking the most damage uh, in the game <laughs> while having the least amount of damage at the end of the game. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, what a situation there for SWAT. Incredible play coming out from him. So. We're going to be going into game number three here with Swada and TM up ahead. So the, the strategy of having, the strategy of focusing down TM, I think, is a pretty powerful one. And they were doing it towards yep. the beginning of the game. And then Swada just, I don't know, couldn't be knocked out. And all strategies went out the window. I feel like everything got very confusing there. But Hazer Delta and Swada were both in the barbecue sauce color, and they just could not get uh, destroyed. It was... Very and it's crazy because Bodvar's not exactly a tanky legend, you know? He's like middle of the road in all his stats. It's just Swata only getting tagged by the soft setup hits. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, a little bit of the two separate 1v1s. And it looked like they were about to trade stocks, but TM taking enough pressure off of Swata. No, he chunked it. Knew he didn't have the options to make it back and just was like, let me get out of here, back to my teammate as quick as possible. Sider hits. TM takes down Spectre. TM is the one that has the most. Oh, no. He's oh, you're done. That, Absolutely that deleted. Oh. 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 Oh, what? my he gosh. Goes all the Swat way. is going to do it again. Side sick into the side air. Swata just traveling out there with the hammer, only using moves for momentum. I couldn't believe it. TM finally goes down. But, man, that was a ton of damage. Respected to be taken in that scenario after Hazer Delta goes down to one stock. It is looking great for the blue team. Man. Unbelievable. Swata, just such a huge presence, tons of damage. I mean, he has just been swinging that hammer, finding hits more often than not. His accuracy is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, TM. Oh, no. Oh, this is unraveling was, so very I, quickly. I was just about to... <laughs> I was just about to talk down about how that down sync thing was not never gonna work. And then he, he does it. And then it does. And, and then he does it again. And Azer Delta just goes straight into it and loses his stock. And now but what I, if it worked? Yeah, I. Well. Oh, here comes the team combo. Oh, that was slick. I love Beautiful. team combos that have that verticality. Oh, you know, you see a lot of the left, right. Let's play tennis with our opponent. But what if it was just a straight up ladder? Yeah, that was fantastic. We're going to be seeing the, the, the replay of it oh, right now. Look at this. Oh, it, my God. And it was yes, all yes. Does Keep he pick up the weapon here? All the way up. Yes. Unbelievable. No, okay. So he stays unarmed for the entire thing. I was, I, I was wondering if he was going to pick up the weapon to, in the middle of that to make it like a hybrid combo of having three weapons ah, involved instead of two. But yes. that was an unarmed combo that they had rehearsed there, and they take him off the top. Man, Swada and TM. That was great. Yeah, and, and, and this... 
so far, it's like, ah, yes, okay, I was right to feel this way. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm like, yeah, I looked at this match, I'm like, as much as I want to talk up a potential upset here, TM and Swatter are fantastic, and the only teams Listen. that looked like they were able to deal with them at all last year were Akno and Blaze, mm -hmm. and Swatter, I feel like it, it was just like, winning BCX was just the beginning. I feel like he's just going to keep getting better, but it hasn't even gotten uh, close to where he's at peak yet. That's how that's how much I am a fan of his play, and just watching him play in that in that match right there is yep. really giving me confidence on that opinion. Oh yeah, well, all right. So there there is definitely a reason why TM and Swada were like a common pick mm -hmm. between my predictions, Duke predictions, yeah. and apparently Sparky's. I don't know. I haven't looked up the tweet yet, yeah. so I'm not going to give too much credit just yet. We can, we can assume that they're there. It'd be crazy if they weren't there. But yeah, Swada, know, man, he's got some opinions. Swada, Swada and a TM. Uh, moving up, 3-0 into the winner's side. And, uh, and the, the final winner's quarters matchup that we've got coming up that's going to decide who their opponents are is Machete and Fosley versus Viper and Solarson. So Viper and Solarson mm. just got off the back of that 3-0 against Bartu and Casp. Okay. Uh, looking okay. pretty solid in that matchup. When going against Machete and Fosley, it's weird. I feel like at any tournament, I'd be doing the right thing to say that Machete is going to be third or fourth no matter what like at least he's gonna be there i just would... there's the tournament i don't know what the format is yeah. i don't know what's yes. going on yes doesn't matter what game it is it's just like machete okay third or fourth. okay okay the game matters a little all it, right it, 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 bra sure brawlhalla why not brawlhalla i guess the game mode in brawlhalla i'd still say third or fourth machete he's but so it, good but, but it, we're talking about different games anyways he he, he is just a sun fa so fantastic being a very consistent but he has yet to be, and may, I, I hope maybe one day he will be, but not yet, right? He's ah. yet to be a player that I'm going to be like, you're going to start winning a bunch of events, right? He I doesn't, see. He I doesn't see. quite have that, like, STTP Wilson energy that that used to exist in North America, where right. it's like, yeah, you're right. top eight all the time, and then randomly just starts winning a bunch of seasonals and then goes back to being top eight all the time. Machete is just solidly a top five player mm -hmm. that has yet to prove to me, at least, that he can beat Acto or simple or what have you in, in, ah, a con in, okay. in, in a consistent enough fashion to get higher than that. And this would be an interesting term to see if they can change that. It's just, what, we, we, what, what was it? We were talking about how uh, Viper was teaming with Fozzy last time, right? Machete yep. and Fozzy, as far as team partners go, they've switched a lot of teams around and they've had success with every team that they've been on up to a point. That's right. So I, I'm wondering how it's going to go here against Viper and Solarson, who have also similarly jumped around. I don't know, man. You can never count Viper out no matter who he teams with. Mm -hmm. And Solarson looked like he was doing some serious work in their previous set. But Machete and Fozzy, the dream team, back together again. Yep. I was looking, you know, it two is my years favorite ago. Pairing. It's my favorite pairing. Sure. Two years ago, they took a bronze medal at the World Championship. Yep. I mean, they're just such a powerhouse yep. that I'm, I'm excited for them to be back together. I'm excited to see what happens as we step into game number one here. We've got Ulgrim and Orion Ooh. for Machete and Fozzy. Okay, okay, okay. So Viper's still in the Barasa. Solarson's still in the Ogrim from the previous game. But we've got that Orion coming out. Again, and Machete on, on the Ogrim, as you said. Machete, Machete's been playing Ogrim way before it was flavor. Right? Like oh, that, that, yes. Like that is, Machete has been, and this exact, he is that dude. This exact skin on, on Ogrim, too. Basically the only one that's using it. So, so it's no surprise to me to see Machete locking in this character. So Viper on this Barraza, Solarsim on the Ulgrim. Damage build going out onto everyone except for Fozzy. He's so pristine. Oh, Signature almost getting the first knockout. They descend for their opposite edge guards. Unfortunately, couldn't find purchase on any one of them. Big hanging question mark for the first knockout. Oh, Viper tried to snipe out that Lance recovery from underneath. Unfortunately, spent too many options. And there's the double knockout for the blue team taking a two-stock lead. Yeah, double Lance coming out for the blue team. I suppose he's been playing pretty phenomenally so far. Blasters from Viper tries to put the neutral light, falls off the side of the stage, and Solarson and Viper are trying to get a knockout on the Machete. Okay, Fozzy, you are just going crazy on the Lance. There's the down to get it, and the weapon oh, throw to stop the recovery. Nice, and Fozzy couldn't, um, you can't quite get the same amount of oomph out of a Lance recovery when it's exhausted. <laughs> so, That's so he, right. he just didn't make it back, went the wrong direction, and uh, ends up falling down there because of that weapon throw, really well placed by Viper. 
but they managed to get themselves a decent bit of a lead. You see Viper and Solar Sin both entering the red, so that's going to be prime knockout territory, especially if we see the uh, the rocket power double lance take stage again. Woogity woogity woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bozy and Machete uh, now up a stock as Solar Sin goes down pretty quickly, under two minutes. Uh, Viper follows right afterwards. And now. Solarson wants that weapon, but Machete super rated and I had Fozzie's been so good at landing these down airs on lands and turning it into so much more. Primes a lance even. Wants to completely stick to that weapon. I mean, it's been doing a significant amount of work. You see the damage starting to pile up. Machete, a little bit of the focus for the red team. That seems to be who they want to take out first to oh. try and bring this one back. Solarson in danger. Oh. No, the double, the second one, sealing the deal for oh. sure. No, Viper with the oh. save. Unfortunately, he trades it for himself. Solarson tries to save him, but he can't do it. I, Four stock victory. That was brutal. I That was so impressive from Fozzie with that oh, edge guard. It all started with the Lance ground pound, the second Lance ground pound to get it, and then when Viper went for the save, that became an opportunity for Fozzie almost to show off. He was able oh, to get yeah. the side air into the stage spike, then interrupt the recovery, and that was all off the back of that edge guard coming out from Viper on the end there. I really want to see that happen again because that was fantastic. There's Viper going down. We might not have enough time. Third stage strike. We can get there. Okay, okay, here it is. There sure was a lot of so he, he stops Viper mid recovery the first time with the side air, and then. When oh. Viper starts to do a panic recovery right afterwards, Fozzie's there to hit him again, stop the recovery, can't make it back. Yep. Solarson goes in for the for the save, and it's just too little too late. Super I am amazing. honestly flabbergasted that we're going back to Shipwreck Falls. I thought one team or the other would have been like, all right, yeah. there was a lot of stuff that happened. Little too risky for my taste. Mm -hmm. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, but no, we're going right back there. And and maybe it's because uh, as far as Viper's playstyle goes. Uh, he's on the Barossa right now, but we're, I'm pretty used to seeing him on mm -hmm. guitar legends like Lucian or Ragnar. Uh, oh, yeah. Being off stage and having that little wall to play with is actually kind of a comfort zone for him. And we saw that edge guard on the Fozzie earlier on into the last game with the weapon throw to show why that is. I just feel like in that particular case, they got pretty outplayed. And they're not they're, yes. they're not like thinking, oh, outplayed once on Shipwreck, never go there again. No, they're going to go back and they're just going to make sure that they can maybe Ooh. do the outplaying this time. But, oof. All right, neutral sig. Nice edge guard on the Viper. And Fozzie trying to do it again. Fozzie's oh, he Ryan? does it again. Fozzie's Ryan? It's kind of crazy. I'm like, I'm like. He's the Black Knight, man. I, I'm really at how uh, he's doing so many awesome things, all with the Lance, too. Oh, Viper fighting his way back down to stage. And they turn it into some quick handoffs on Machete. But, man, Fozzie, all right. I was waiting for Fozzie to do that signature. I was expecting another spike to come out. He really wants it. Oh, Fozzie. Avoids the down sig. Heard the charge, heard the startup. Punishes Solar for it. Oh, Silight and Air into land. Okay. Neutralistic hits. Fozzie dominating, uses Shipwreck Falls Fozzie's to come back so to the good. stage. He's still on three stocks. Oh, goes in for that down sig. Viper sweating back to the stage. Can't find a weapon. Solarson trying to fight for him. Two weapons side by side are perfect for the red team there, but Fozzie's still living. Well, nope. Sweat beads coming out. He okay. spent too much time in the air. Solarson was able to snipe him out before he reset his options. But still, what's that? Fozzie, he was still on his first stock yeah. that entire time. Yeah, he got shut down. That's how many stocks he was able to knock down. And Fozzie just riding the lands. Down airs and side airs galore. Goes for that pivot gravity cancel through sick, trying to pick out Viper once and for all. Side air disarms him. Solar Sin gets hit by that side light and air. So much damage coming through. Machete still, I mean, he's damaged, but two stocks left to play with compared to the one each for the red team is looking great for Machete. Oh and my gosh. Oh, Fozzy just blasted both ways with the neutral signature. Listen, get your skateboards and roller skates because right now it's rocket power time. We're surfing this way to victory. Okay. Oh, he's getting cheeky with it yeah, now. Yeah, he already put up the throne and he hadn't even won the game yet. Solar Sin still has Solar Sin still has to get hit before those uh those emotes can really count. fozzy has been doing so well and he knows it. <laughs> oh, dodge through the weapon throw off of hitting Fozzie. Okay, that'll do it. Jeez. Neutralite finishes it. Fozzie. Uh damage dealt. 615 coming out that game was looking phenomenal. 
Uh, maybe now we see either uh, a Ooh. legend swap or a stage change coming out for the red team because Viper and Solarson are just having so much trouble against Fosi's Lance here. Maybe some platforms will be able to make a difference. Um, I'm not really sure. It's got to be something. If I, if I had to pick anything, it would be Mammoth Fortress to go to as a difference here because when you have the damage being that that huge of a differential, it's a, it's a pretty huge And uh, Fosi has not been having any difficulty hitting any signature. Oh, man, on he Orion's is living kit. easy. Yeah. He was able to just style all over the place, drop the emotes, let him know he's feeling good. So Shipwreck does get banned out by, by Viper here. And ah, that yes. Makes sense. The legends have not changed, but the stage will. And they're trying to decide where they want to guide their opponents to. And I'm guessing it's going to be an Apocalypse pick instead of a Mammoth Fortress pick, just because of the preference of, of oh. Lance. But I was wrong. It is Mammoth Fortress. And we have okay. uh, a little bit uh, of, a, of a change of scenery here. We've got uh, Viper and Solarson sticking with it, going with the Veros and the Terros. Um, up against Three, Machete and Fosé, who are just looking one, phenomenal. Wrong. Yeah, Fozy opting for the first weapon. It's the spear, so we've got to wait just a little bit longer for that Fozy Lance to really get in the mix. Ooh, Machete. Starting off already in the red. Like, literally starting the game in red after how much damage he just took. Okay, neutral sick. Getting hit there. Fozy trying to return some of the damage here. Machete is just taking so much. Viper is at risk of going down, but Machete is out of there in under 30 seconds. It was just not yeah. a good stock for him. So I've been noticing some pretty quick rotations from Viper and Solarson. They are going to focus down Machete. They're happy. They've been so happy so far this game to leave Fozy out on the outside because they don't want to engage with him. They just want to take out the teammate to get that 2v1. Fozy has been the problem in the previous match, and they've identified it. Recovery hits. Look Machete. at that hard focus on Machete. I mean, what is happening in this game, Machete? Oh, no, Fozzy, can you sign he, her he's back? He's all right, he's all right. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The Lance her. has a lot of creative options, so yeah. long as nobody's pressuring you. So, I was thinking if they got Viper down to one stock as well, this could be different, but really, this has just been a game of Machete losing two stocks in under a minute, and now also still taking the most damage on the team. What is happening? They have, they have just been focusing him down. I mean, it's the game plan shift, and it is working out so incredibly well. Fozy very damaged oh, no. here. That's where any slight tap sends him away and leaves Machete alone for an even longer period of time. Oh, Machete still trying to, <laughs> still trying to get some hits in, but he's just getting hit. Okay, he, Fozy goes dead. Oh my gosh, they they just got the two v one. That is, uh, this is rarely a situation that we're in as as commentators. Two stocks to four, but Fozy like like the the one the one in the one v two has two stocks, right? That, this yeah. is a, yeah, and yeah. it's a fresh two stocks as well. And Fozy's kind of like I mean, let's see. Well, it's been a very clear game plan from three two one brawl, oh, where Viper and Solarson just said, "Let's get Machete out of here. Don't it, even bother with." Is Fozy. it weird that I feel like Fozy has a chance? <laughs> like like I'm, I'm like looking at this. He's and I'm like, definitely I'm, got a chance. I'm like, you look at this. He's gotten two knockouts and barely touched since. It's Machete like I'm, left I'm the looking field. at this one v two and I'm like, I feel like Viper and Solarson are at a disadvantage here, but <laughs> Fozzie's oh kind, of, kind of playing cr like crazy. He has now taken two stocks since this was two stocks to four. It's now two stocks to two. He's gotten damage on the Viper. He's still not on the red on his second stock, and Viper and Solarson have yet to show that they can set up a team combo. Mammoth Fortress is one of the best stages to be in in, in the 1v2, I feel like, because when the platform uh, oh, benefits you so much like that, snipe. you it's basically like playing on the edge without even worrying about wall slip. Yep, yep. So, so now the trouble is, how does Fozy start mounting this comeback now that it seems like Viper and Solarson have gotten their feet under them? That's it. No, okay. Oh. Avoids the recovery. Fozy still survives. I, Fozy's in a weird position right now where I feel like he wants to be on Lance, but he doesn't want to risk losing a weapon. Yeah. I mean, he's gotten tagged time and again. He hasn't really been able oh. to mount it into anything. Wait a minute. Oh, two, two big signatures. Things. That side air, unfortunately... That weapon toss didn't serve him any favors. Viper and Solarson, their plan paying off. That it, shift in strategy puts them on the board. It paid off, but it worries me when Machete wakes up. Because that, that, oh, no. a, oh, after no. that game, like, I, like you can't. 
Surely you cannot expect Machete to go down in under two minutes every game moving forward, can you? Or is that strategy just going to be that effective for Viper and Solarstone? Because it paid off. I mean, it look, is at, look at how damaged they were towards the end there. I think it was like 720 damage coming yeah. out from, from Fozzie as well. It was just insanity. So... With that being the given strategy, it's worked. They're probably going to try it again going into this next game. What that does force is Fozy to end up having to play. Oh, wait a minute. Machete swapping over to a different high defense legend. We've got Sir Roland on the field. More double lance going on. But all right, so here's okay. the thing. This is going to force Fozy to need to hang out closer to the fray. He's okay. not going to be able to set up a lot of his lance drive-bys like he has been because that leaves Machete alone for too long. So there's going to have to be a shift in gameplay for the blue team. I mean, when I look at this, the answer to me is clear. He has gone to a tanky legend. <laughs> like, and, but and he was like, okay, if I'm going yep, yep. to pick an A defense legend, I'm going to go to the one with, uh, well, I mean, what? with, with crossover synergy, right? <laughs> uh, naturally, naturally. You've got a pair, you know. Oh, Viper, you're out. You're out of there in 30 seconds. Machete now on. The, uh, we've got uh, oh my the Black gosh, Knight and the King Knight. The dodge. Yeah, Here. you see Fozzie and Machete, they're hanging out close together a lot more. Oh, man. And excuse me, the Lance is here. Solarson has the hammer picked up, goes in for the side airs, and Viper goes for that neutral light. Team combo stops side air. Solarson gets that side air into the nair onto the blue team and is trying to make up for that deficit that they had early on. Yeah, whenever they've been pointing their lance attacks, it's not going in separate directions. They've always kind of been going in the same way. You side air to the left, I will also side air to the left. We're just going to get different vertical stacks on it. Ooh, Vichette. Taking a decent amount of damage there before Fozzie can make it back to the stage. Oh, oh my just gosh. down. And he pogoed off of it, successfully connecting onto Fozzie. And now we can see that Viper with the axe is trying to get something started, but no, he gets hit by the recovery from Fozzie instead. And now with the spear in hand, when I feel like I feel like Posey's like nerfed as a player when he has the spear in hand. Not saying that the spear is bad. <laughs> it's just his lance is so so good. Well then good thing he yeah. just picked up the lance. Now it's just about making it work. Side light into neutral air, puts that damage on. You see Machete falling back down into the fray. They're collapsing over onto Viper. They know he's the last one on final stock. Ooh, there's hit. Bozy tries to make it back to the stage and he gets hit away or scoop mm. from Solar Sin. Viper is the weak link at the moment. He's got to make sure that he can hold on to the stock. Bozy goes down, the neutral stick hits. That's huge. All right, we're in that weird lead scenario where the numbers are higher for one team, but really the damage makes yeah. it confusing. It's like you have a lead, but it's actually a house of cards, so you know, don't shake the table too much. Oh. Solar can go down, and that can put Viper into 1v2. Viper's playing around the side of the oh, stage. Done. He wants that neutral signature. If he can get somebody to orange, that could take somebody down that early. Fozzie. Oh, oh, no. How many options does he have left? Oh, just enough. Oh, that's huge. He gets back with the ground pound as well. Doesn't want to go for anything too crazy. Team combo starts on Solarson. Viper has to go in for the save. And because Great he went in for punish. the save. Fozzie is so smart. Oh, that's nice. And you could tell that they were looking forward to this. Like, okay, we're starting the team combo, but the go the objective is not Solarson. The objective is when yeah. Viper tries to save him. And the downs that came in it right now. There's the traps, the bait, the queen sacrifice. Now Solarson Imagine trying to works. find his way up. Imagine if he wins the game off of a terrorist neutral stick at the ledge. Could I, you believe it? I, Yes, actually, I could. <laughs> that, that's why I'm so I'm so scared. Well, the thing is, he needs a weapon to get that done. What? what? Okay, that's it. That neutral is wild. Cider hits. Oh, Solarson is a match point. Can he make this one v two comeback? Recovery hits. Oh, I think, man. He, I think Tall he can. Ceiling. I don't know how many more chances he has at that one. Oh, uh, that okay. That had to have been the last stare that he could take, and the last the last recovery that he could take. So let's see. He could survive down lights. Not down no, six, not a down sig. No, that, sir. And that's the first time that we've seen Fozzie connect with that move. Really well done. And that's going to be it. 3-1 victory for Machete and Fozzie as they're looking fantastic. Double Knight duo. Woo. Fozzie's so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, Fozzie's I just, Lance. This entire set, yeah. so many highlights for Fozzie here. It's been I, – I, I know Fozzie has been – specializing on the lands for a while now, whether it was Scarlet or other lands legends. But this is this is like going into this year, I'm I'm confident to say the Fozzie is 
probably who I'd say the best Lance player in EU right now that's been primary oh, yeah. that weapon. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm really excited to see more from him. Fozzie's kind of getting that tier right now for me where it's like it's like SWAT level where it's like, I'm so excited to see how you're going to push this <laughs> one particular aspect of the game moving forward into competitive Brawlhalla with SWAT mm. and Bar, but for Fozzie, it's whatever Lance legend he decides to play at the time. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. just so much fun to watch. Uh, really well played and a well deserved spot into the winner side of top eight. Oof. Jeez. That was that was a wild set. I, I'm curious to see how that's going to serve them up in top eight now that they've managed to secure themselves a mm. top eight winner's side. And I'm gonna look through and just kind of read through the teams that we've got sitting up Go there. It. Because obviously we've got Acno and Blaze. They're gonna be going up against Godly and Simple. Okay. Those yeah. are two of Duke's prediction picks. Oh, uh, and it's a it's a tough that's a tough matchup to to predict at the moment. I, I yeah. feel I mean Whenever it's Acno and Blaze, we said this. I've said this a million times. It's easy to go for them. But when it comes sure. to how Godly and Simple are playing right now, it's a wild card in the sense that they are such a different team compared to what Simple and Heisen were before. Right. Yes. So I'm really, I'm really excited to see the outcome of that match. Whether it's like a 3-0, but it's close, or if it goes to Game Five, or the unbelievable upset of Acno and Blaze going down the lower bracket. It's not that yeah. Acno and Blaze haven't been in the lower bracket before. So there's there's a possibility. But And then on the other side, we actually have the two players that you were just talking about, mm -hmm. Swata and Fozzy are going to be going up against, against each other. Because yeah, we got TM and Swata versus Machete and Fozzy. Okay, that's going to be very cool. Yeah, I, I, they, as far as all the matches that we've got to curate, basically, through winner's mm -hmm. quarters, those are the ones where I'm like, oh, I just want to see more Swata and it's more gonna be Fozzy wild. right now. I mean, like, obviously, it's a treat to get to, to watch Akno and Blaze, but I still I feel like they've got what works for them, and they're just continuing to use it. Uh, yes. where, where it's like being able to watch players that are bringing out these new styles of play and having a lot of success with it is just the most exciting thing. It's, it's really game. fun. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of highlight clips. Can't wait for those. In the lower bracket side, Sarmi and Heisen Ooh. just knocked up Barto and Casp. So oh, they're going to be getting in the winner side or the lower side of top eight. Blue and Zyder uh, are queued up to go. And Viper and Solarson are going to be going against Cressu and 720 Polyshot. So one of those teams are going to be out of hey. nine. That's going to be pretty crazy. So that's going to be a fun top eight to get into for sure. Yeah. That just about does it for us, but stick around because all that action is coming right up. Some more uh, other faces are gonna be hopping on these cameras, so that way we actually get to go shout, hoot, and holler in the background and root for our favorite teams without sounding too biased up here on the desk. Oh yes, of course, not, not, not too biased, yes. Of course, of course. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the European Brawlhalla Championship. And we have now entered top eight. That's when things get real spicy. Dude, they've already been so spicy. It can't get <laughs> yeah, spicier we than this. A blast watching Dude, I already needed Tums because I did wake up with acid reflux. <laughs> and this tournament has not been helping me at all. <laughs> Okay. It's too spicy. It's too spicy. Somebody needs to get me out of here, actually. I do have acid reflux. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's, there's a tournament to do, Steve. We'll okay, you're right. You're yeah, right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Important things happening here. Okay. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll risk my body for this tournament. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I am really excited for the matches coming up here, especially the first one that we have coming up. Like, we're starting off our casting block with a right. real banger oh. here. Acno and Blaze versus Godly and Simple. Yes. That to me that that may as well be a grand finals match. I mean, and this this truly could be. Potentially still could, right? That's on winner's side. Oh yeah. Neither team yeah, has yeah, lost yet. We're on yet. the winner's side. Yeah, anything's possible still. Anything's possible. Cuz we're on the winner's side. You got to lose twice to get eliminated from this tournament. So anything can happen right now. Um and then after that, Swata and TM versus Machete and Fozy. Oh, actually they really clutched up in the last round. Yeah, they did. That's going to be a good one. Oh man. So we'll much see. good matches to yeah. come up. I what mean, seeing Swada out here. Uh, Swada, okay, in case you're not familiar, right? Swada yeah. won the world championship. Don't don't forget it, right? It, it was You might have thought it was somebody else. You might have thought it was Akno. Yeah. But no, actually, Swada just stole it at the last second. Right. I the think he's not even power ranked one from it. Like, that's how oh. surprising it was. Like, Akno yeah. had so much for uh, so many points throughout the year with such consistent placements. And the only thing he didn't win was the world championship, which went to Swada. Right. But like, but Swada is the new school. He is like, he's the champ. He's the defending champ. You got to call him the best. Yeah. His star has been rising like crazy over yeah. the last two years, last two seasons. So it's going to be yeah. fun to watch him play even more. But before that, we got to get into Acno and Blaze. I mean, they've been undefeated for two years straight. I know. It's a little like, Everybody's just like, oh, we know who's going to win. But actually, you don't. No. You don't know. Simple and Godly's a new team. Godly hasn't competed in over a year, uh, but he's been performing really well in recent com community tournaments. So even though he doesn't have, like, the official power ranking to prove it, uh, he's a top player and works really well with Simple, as we've been seeing. Yeah, their so, synergy uh, has been insane. Yeah. It looks like they've been playing together forever. So in the offseason, they must have been, I don't know, really grinding out these combos. And, you know, and the Rayman. That's... If that's a real power, pick, power, and I think it is. That's I mean, all they, it takes to win me over, baby. Right now, <laughs> I just love to see Rayman's a good Rayman out there. Massive power, dude. The down sig alone, the axe down sig, and all the plays they can make off of that. If they pick stages with small walls like shipwreck falls and stuff like that, uh, Godly could just get it done on his own with that signature. What an amazing world we live in! It used to be that Rayman was like a meme pick. You'd like pick him to prank yeah. people. Same with now, Ogrim too. But now, dude, right? can you play ranked two v two? It's like fifty percent Rayman. <laughs> what the heck? Fifty percent Rayman. I swear, that's a real stat. <laughs> Rayman. If you don't play ranked, unless you know that's a real stat. And Ogrim was the same way too, right? Yeah. Remember when yeah. Ogrim was like, oh, people LOL, thought they're like, oh, doing? yeah. Click that's, Ogrim to lose. That's your no. challenge. It's a challenge pick to go right. with that. But now we're seeing all kinds of Ogrim. Yesterday there was so many Ogrims in the bracket and yeah. uh but blaze picking Ogrim is not something new he's been he was playing right. Ogrim before it was cool right yeah yeah he's <laughs> a little bit of an Ogrim hipster really <laughs> if we could say that well I'm ready to get started with this Dude, I'm so if ready our, if our players are ready I think we should just get going is there any way I can push this to the can we go can we go? <laughs> can we push? Yeah, does it work on hand signals can, now? Can Do we, we have hand signal push? technology? Can we? Oh, they can see, see the match. pics this behind be us. I didn't even. Ah, dude. Look at that. The new set. I'm not used to it's it. The, it's cool, dude. We got, the, okay. we got the new set. All right, we're here on map select. What are they going to do? Yeah, get rid of Shipwreck Falls right out of the gate. I agree with that. What do we got left? Oh, no. Lots of soft platforms to deal with. Down to Crystal Temple and Mammoth Fortress. Probably Mammoth Fortress, okay, yeah. really? If, well, I, if they go to Crystal Temple, I think the Rayman's got a pretty good advantage there. Yeah, you want a small wall. He's got, you're right, those down they signatures, wall, pretty potent. Sure. And, uh, uh, but and they have the pick, too, because it's Blazing Acme. They got to oh. it out, but no, they're going with Mammoth Fortress. Okay. It's Tried a comfort true. pick. I mean, come on. How many years have we been doing this? Yeah, Mammoth, there's no Mammoth Johns Fortress. on Mammoth Fortress, exactly, if you ask me, exactly. all right? <laughs> None of that business. This is pretty even playing field. Let's get into it. The first match of top eight starts right now. This new team of Godly and Simple is uh, 
it's fun. I mean, they've already won a community tournament. Oh, I didn't even know that. It's, and it's it's so recent too. So yeah, simple and godly. And their their seed just does not reflect it yet. Oh, and it will after godly? this. Godly what, dude? You had no options, but was still pushing the advantage off stage. Okay. Let's see, 1v1 with Akno. Akno getting some damage in. Nice, nice. trying to cancel neutral lane as a yeah. pickup, just some extra damage. Yeah, All even right. though you got the DI, it like, didn't matter. It was just about getting that extra damage with a true combo. Damage super even so far. Godly way off the side. Uh-oh, watch out for the Akno edge guard. And that's all it takes. A dash jump side air. Slams him off the side. Simple oh. immediately follows. He took himself yeah, he, yeah, out with a dive kick there. And that makes sense. Probably yeah. for good reason, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't want, you don't want to leave anybody alone with Blaze and Akno for any <laughs> amount of time if you can avoid it. I know. Yeah, just 10 seconds would be enough for them to take a stock. <laughs> They've done it before. They do it, like, all the time. Still searching for the first KOs on Akno and Blaze, while Godly and Simbo have already lost their first stock. They got to equalize quickly here. Otherwise, Akno and Blaze will just run away from it. Oh, my God. Okay. A rare miss from Simbo on the Stomp side air, but he quickly, quickly recovered with a down air scoop to get him. And now they've equalized the stocks before it was too late. Godly's taking a good bit yeah. of damage, but I was about to say, he's he has the one a good to watch. stock here. Yeah, if he's got a good stock. Uh-oh. Ground pound hits uh -oh, everybody? This is how he can no! make up for it. Akno! He's okay. Okay. I'm surprised Akno actually backed off of that edge guard, but oh, Godly will not back off. Goes for double ground pounds, misses the second nice one, but Simple rotates in. Simple, can he finish off Akno? No, Blaze actually defending the, the position for Akno. That was some nice teamwork. Ooh, okay. Simply, or simple loses a stock to Blaze now. Akno, what is he doing? Wait, oh, what a crazy his own teammate. He was, he was in sweat beads, spamming side airs away from the wall. <laughs> that just did not make sense. And that's an early stock. That is, that's bad. He didn't need that. He had plenty of health left on that second stock before he just threw it away. God, hey. look at that. Wait a second. Oh, happy what? birthday. Oh, Whoa. no. Yeah, couldn't get around that weapon throw. Offstage, what a wait, tricky oh, play. Okay, oh, oh no, wow. it's, it's falling apart for Akno and Blaze right now, but they're still ahead. Even with all the errors, they're still ahead. Yeah, Simple really needs to extend the stock. Oh, oh good nice. interrupt Godly. by Godly. Oh, oh he's my. picking up the team combo? He took he took what could have been a killing blow and, and interrupted it and turned it into a huge combo for their team. That was an awesome play. Okay, I mean, stocks are even, damage is even yeah, for both teams. It's, it's simple and Akno. Dude, is, game one. Dude, uh, my ass reflex is out of control. <laughs> it's too spicy it's too now. It's too spicy. Akno's down. Big team combo. combo. Can they finish it here? Oh, no. Oh, yes, they can. What? Yeah, clip it. That's a good that one. That was just barely. If, if I swear, man, if Blaze had one less damage, that wouldn't have knocked him out there. <laughs> yeah, it was like right that to the That was the perfect efficiency of a team combo they needed. And look at this, this new team, Godly and Simple Take Game 1. They're starting off well. Against the two-year undefeated champions. But look at, I wonder if we're going to see this 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 mix-up by Akno. No, mix-up's not the right word. Total oopsie. <laughs> he he was mixed up. He got mixed up. Yeah, we're not going to oh, see it. Oh, boo. Wait, right, slow-mo on this. I don't know if we have time. The next game is starting. Uh, we'll starting have to watch right it now. there. Okay. okay. Yeah, he, he died. We saw it. Okay, okay. here we go. <laughs> next round. All right, back to main with Fortress. Yeah, we're going Again, back. no Johns here. And that was, a, that was a close game. I mean, it was a close game with, like, a huge error on Akno's part. And I'm just wondering, you know, without that, how much... How much closer would they have been? Nice alley-oop from Blaze there. He's Wait. always aware. Just, what, you know, chameleon eyes. He's always looking the other direction. Was Akno playing uh, Brin last game? Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah, I? it's unusual. It's usually Blaze that's playing the Brin. Yeah, I think that's where I got mixed up. Okay. Still makes sense. But Still when Blaze sense. plays Brin, he plays a different Ooh, skin. Wait, that's whoa. How you a little crisscross okay, applesauce. No yeah. stocks were taken. He, he Everybody's red. He didn't want to take out his teammate. I think, and he would have with how damaged Blaze is. He might have taken out his teammate if he followed through with that combo. So he disengaged from it early. And ooh, love to see that combo, man. The spear down air, when you, you bounce him off the ground with it, true combo it into a side air. Oh, no. It's beautiful, but oh man, Godly just yeah. overcommitted. He flew too close to the sun there, lost his stock, but the game's even. Both teams with a team member in white on their second stock and in deep red on their first stocks. All right, Akno, Godly looking to take this stock. Deal some extra damage, but no, Akno will take another okay. stock before he goes. Akno is going deep for it here. Godly might be in trouble. No, no, no. He's comfortable. He's got he's got plenty of health. He's got his trusty gauntlets off stage. Godly putting a stop to that neutral light early. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> he gets the he whole gets, thing. He gets the full combo. Oh, nice dodge by Acto. Turn oh, around side air. Trouble. He doesn't have his gauntlets oh, to help him back. No. He is down to his final stock. Look Woo. how much. Oh, oh, let's go. All right, right to pop it off now. Alley That's so good. Five stocks of two. Acto That's will brutal. not be denied. What is he doing? Weapon throw he's, into gravity cancel. What is he doing? Dude, 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 stop, 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 bro. Stop, stop, stop. My acid reflex is out of control now. I think I have an ulcer. That Acto, come so back. Good. Wait, wait, wait. Come back. That Why would so he? Good. And the only thing that can stop Acto, of course, it's, is it's Acto. It's himself, yeah. He, what was that, that even? That was just his first stock, too. He's. I think he was like, I, I'm t it's taking too long to come back to the stage when I get yeah. hit. Yeah, it's kind of like a brawl ahead. ball. You just get knocked too far. Yeah, You're like, I don't want to be. You just SD so you can, <laughs> you can be at white again. Yeah. Okay. But wait, somewhere in that, Blaze is now down to his final stock as well. Nice and Agno somehow took a ton of damage really quickly on that second stock. That second stock might not last as long as that first one. Could be a tie game quickly, but Godly almost eliminated from this game. Okay, they get the stock well, off they Acto. They Acto down to his last stock. He was at three stocks like a minute ago. Yeah, that was crazy. And it's still going to be tough for Godly and Simple to bring it back from this, but it's possible. They got we get one good hit on Blaze. If oh, they yep, get, you call it, 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 hey. Blaze is out, and now it's a, still a difficult 1v2 because Acto is at white. He can take so many hits. But we've seen this team pull off some pretty monstrous team combos. That's so true. So it could, it could. It's a team combo. Or they're gonna lose. I think it's it's that's their win condition. Yeah, it needs to be a team combo, or just don't get hit for a really long time. But that's a little unrealistic. Uh, weapon throw starts oh. it. Oh, that would be such a cool way to start a huge team combo. They get a little damage off of it. Yeah. Acro's positioning himself really well here. He knows the win condition. He does not want to get team comboed. He refuses to go in the middle of them. Oh, oh, he gets they caught. caught him. They caught him. Oh, God. What? He got out. Yeah, he's free. Oh, man. They dropped the team combo. Oh, Whoa, no. Godly. Wait, Wait a second. Come back? Oh, my God. Oh, Simple's okay. heart Whew. must have stopped right there. Like, what are you doing, dude? Okay, they've done a good job. They've got Agno basically at KO percentage. Yeah, and they Double uppercuts. Taken any hits this whole time. Agno is struggling to find anything on no. these guys. And, ooh, that could have been the KO it. right there. Here Wait, we go. Wait, the Wait, weapon throw. That? that seemed. That was. Okay. <laughs> okay they hey, got they it anyway. It, we don't even have to critique it. The weapon throw was weird, done. though. How they, look at the synergy, though. 573 damage for both uh, teammates. Simple and Godly twins. Oh, ooh, I love the slow mo there. I know. I love how the the sound down pitches too when he oh, oh, that, that, that was alley so right good. after the last KO too. That was so sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Why is there a replay for me? That should be illegal. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no. Okay. Game three. Until we wow. Can, until we can get the players in here and show their reactions to the KOs, we got to show well, up. The weapon throw. See, that was, I mean, it was. It he was, was <laughs> building up to something super spicy, maybe, if you got something off of it. All right. Game three. Going back to Mammoth Fortress, and this could decide the set. Somehow, believe it or not, Godly and Simple are 2-0 up against the world champs right now. Wait, is that what? Is it 2-0? No, it's 1-1. All, right, so all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Wait, am I wrong? Or? Well, now I don't know what to believe. Okay, you now know what? Know what I'll believe, believe the scoreboard. What am I thinking? It was, no, it was, it was, it was Acno and Blaze. It's just that, it's just that they, they, they made some errors and almost lost. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we should, we, we, we trust, we trust the production. I guess. Oh, I won't trust Acno, my guy. That was, what a crazy return Dude, back to the stage. He, it took so much work, but he did it. He barely took any damage, too. You know uh -oh, what? Uh-oh, Simple's got him. Simple's got Akno in the danger zone. Stop Cider, but he did touch the ground. He's got his jumps back. And, okay, Akno makes it out of that, but he still doesn't have a weapon, and now he's at red health. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, what a crazy. There he goes. Stock's tied up. And Blaze scores another KO. That puts him ahead now. Blaze is the only one left with all three of his stocks. He's being careful about it. Bonked by a teammate's weapon throw. That's okay. It's That's okay. okay. A little bit of team damage. A tiny bit. They're scrapping. It's like one damage. Oh, not oh. enough to knock out an old room yet. But, but maybe Godly with the uppercut. Yeah. Yes, finishes it off. Tie game, but simple is ah, the low man on the totem pole as far as damage is concerned. Yeah, he could be taken out pretty quickly. And ooh, okay. But Akno was expecting the down dodge reaction from Simple, but he did not give it to him. And ooh, wow, simple, he's dishing actually. out the damage. Even though he is at he's in kill range and could just get knocked out at any moment, he is taking the lead on this and dishing out so much damage. Barely alive and he got disarmed, but simple still kicking. Yeah, Red Team really planted their heel on this second stock, and now it's a tie game oh, yet again. Oh, nice. but Akno 
Takes that stock off simple now with an advantage. 2v1 for just a second. Oh, they got a little bit off of it, but couldn't steal that stock from Godly. The back of the hitbox is not enough to knock Blaze off the top. Simple is the only one down to his last stock, so he's got to be careful how he handles this last stock of his. But, you oh, know, nice you get up. too careful against a team like this, and they just 2v1 your teammate. Woo! Okay, nice. well, there you go. That was perfect. Even though he landed the slide kick on the platform, he still drifted over far enough to send him off the platform with the ground pound. Yeah, that was very calculated. And, uh, oh, man, Akno and Blaze have a pretty healthy lead here. Yeah, Acno they can get going this. for a highlight on oh. Simple, but oh, Simple just turns it around with a hammer recovery. Taking Akno down to his final stock. Everybody down to their final stock now, but Simple is just one hit from getting knocked out. Keep your eye on Simple here. It's, he's either going to make some big plays or he's going to get knocked out. Oh, 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 that's oh. it. Okay, can Godly pull it off? Oh. No. Well, hey, well, no, it's do not be over. determined. It's not over. All right, okay, it's okay, over. Okay, okay. Wait. Wait. <laughs> no, Maybe we both false alarm two times. Weapon throws. I think he touched the wall. Nice. He did. Oh, and he fakes him out. The jukes to get back up to oh the stage. Oh, my gosh. Godly. Is he actually Godly? This is where he proves it. Beautiful dodge. Oh, my goodness. Bobbing and weaving through these masters. He can't. Every, everything is lethal. <laughs> oh, he's This done. is lethal. That's, <laughs> That's super lethal. Say GG. Okay. That's nice. And you see that spear combo often, side light, down light, side air? That's like. Wait. That's what you learn on your first day of Brawlhalla. Was school, I right? right? The scoreboard looked like it changed. I might have been right, actually, that whole time. I was right! Oh my god, Production's we were right. dumb! Toast said it himself! Toast said it himself. Production. You heard it here, folks. Production's dumb. Thank goodness you got we the human calculator it. right here, baby. <laughs> I knew it was 2-0. Now it's 2-1. Blaze and Acto. Now I don't know what to believe. Have scrapped their way back into this set. Okay, it was it was dire. That, yeah, that, we, there didn't, was so we much... didn't realize how dire it was. That I the, did. That the 2v2 world... Well, you did. I yeah. knew. The 2v2 All world the champs. Knew. <laughs> the defending champs were actually down 2-0 against Simple and Godly. That's nuts. Okay, still on set point, though. Godly and Simple can pull this off. One more win to overturn the champions. All right, damage pretty evenly dispersed across the field. Oh, wait a second. Ooh. That was such a nice follow-up. Man, Simple was on it. And you know, Blaze, oh no, until that. I was going to say, Blaze has done a good job in almost every single game in this set, like being the healthiest person on the field most of the time. Akno decides to take himself out there, I guess. It looked like he dive kicked to the blast zone. But Blaze was still on the stage. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he knew he couldn't make it back. All right. Five stocks apiece for each team. Damage even as well. Blaze in trouble. Dodges both weapon throws. Makes it back to the top of the stage. All right. Now Godly in trouble off on the right side. Nice. Simple comes in to block. Okay. Somehow Godly holding on to this first stock. And that ground pound's enough to do Woo! it. And nice team combo. Blaze and Akno looking to take the second stock off of Simple already. Weapon throw weight from... Okay. That came from... Acno. I thought maybe they came from uh, oh Godly's hand. Oh my goodness, Acno and Blaze are really far ahead now. But that could change in an instant. Yeah, we've seen, I mean, let's be honest. This really felt like a, a game five caliber set. So yeah. It, it feels already like we're, we're working our way yeah, there. Yeah, 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 let's just. But I don't know, Acno's picked up We love a some... good game five. We oh, do love a good game five. Acno, he's so good at that. He I also this... love an underdog story, a big upset. So much potential here in this game. <laughs> oh, Akno, that was so slick. Man, Akno's doing a lot with the spear. I, I mean, just spear for a long time hasn't felt like the weapon to. Oh, 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 my, oh my gosh! Never mind. Hey, hold dude. your tongue. What was, what, it doesn't what, even matter what I was talking it's about. It's not even a weapon. It's <laughs> Double axe, baby. Okay, now with four stocks Just to one. Just make Spear look really good, is all I'm trying to say, you know? Ooh. Doesn't seem like it's, okay. it's such a top-tier weapon, but then you got Akno here just making it work. Godly needs this. This is where he needs the God Particle, whatever it is. Oh. He needs to summon Wait. it now. Wait, Akno relentless off stage? Dude, completely unafraid to fight him off the stage here. I mean, he's so hurt on his second stock, he may as well.
Oh, okay. Cool. Can Godly do it? Is there any way, shape, or form he wins this? It would this? be so amazing. Well, that's a start. He would be so amazing. Wait, take the stock off a blaze? blaze out really Hold quick. on, quick. <laughs> quicker, quick, quicker. Quick, quick, quick. Uh-oh, Act goes oh, no. back. Oh, no. Yeah, Act goes back. back. Party's over. It's, it's going to be tough now. Both of them hot on his tail. Oh, no. And Still holding onto the weapon somehow. They know that he needs to take out Blaze. You can see Acro taking the lead here. Blaze taking oh. a step back, coming in at the perfect Ooh. time to set up for the KO. Acro follows up perfectly. And Steven, we got a game five, man. I saw it coming. That I was saw a good it coming. game five, yeah. But I really don't know how this is going to go in the fifth game here of this set. Is this all going to be determined on Mammoth Fortress, you think? Probably. Oh, I love that. Started with a weapon Ooh. throw to pinch him in. Batted back and Look at forth. This was, this was really good. Ooh. Man, just Blaze like perfectly finding his opportunity. All right. Nicely done. Look no at character the swaps. Dan the, the, the damage differential. Game five. Three, Game two, five. One, Here we go. I love Godly's sidekick. Every time he rides in on his spirit whale, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a sight to behold. Okay, pretty good start for Acto Blaze so far. Yeah, Blaze still hasn't even been hit. He's just going off. He's so he's so good at not getting hit. <laughs> it's such Which a skill, a, honestly. A great skill to have in Brawlhalla. I'll tell you, I wish I had it. But. <laughs> okay, everybody's in red except for Blaze. Blaze looks like he just showed up. He showed up late to the party, but he's still been, he's probably been dealing the most damage, honestly. Yeah. Acto takes the first stock off a of simple. Oh, dodges the weapon throw. Godly slips low. Still holds on to this first stock. Somehow makes it back to the stage. Ooh, but the twin axes will finish it off. Now with a two-stock lead. Okay, a tough game five for Simple and Godly to come back from. Man, after they were ahead by 2-0. Yeah. Even though we didn't know. You know what it was? People didn't know. People didn't know. People the, didn't, the people didn't align their energies there. properly. The spirit bomb wasn't called at the right <laughs> time. It's just, you know, it happens. But they got to make it work oh, here. Nice. Godly takes the first stock off of Acno. Blaze maybe soon to follow. Hopefully. Grab the cancel neutral light whips. My goodness. You need two people to land a hit on Blaze. There's no, you can't oh, do it alone. Oh, no, wait. Oh, it's, thank goodness Woo! he at the top he's of that still, recovery. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Blaze knew it was over. He he's, goes, re, resets his stock. That was his first stock. He's coming back in fresh now. I know, Meanwhile, the... Godly and Simple are hurting. Yeah. Oh. But, you know, off stage with Godly, that's the way. It's just that Acno and Blaze aren't really falling for it, you know? This is the perfect time for Godly to be go tempted. I think Godly knows that. Agno loves to play off stage. He can be tempted he can out be there. Tempted. That's true. That's but true. then again, there's a reason why they you win so much. You don't want to do it when you're <laughs> when you're on the same stock as your opponent and they're in red and you're at white. It's just foolish to go off stage against them. You're just giving them an opportunity to level the playing field while you have a huge lead. All right, can Godly make it back from this Edgar? Two weapons dodge. Nice turnaround, yeah. but oh, uppercut lands. Survives the uppercut. And Godly, nice neutral light, keeping it going. Ooh, but Blaze just takes him out. Acno and Blaze once again in the lead. This is game five. Whoever wins this one right now is moving on to winner's final. That's a guaranteed top three spot in the tournament. Okay, wait. Simple and Godly can turn this around. I believe a little bit. They just need a little bit of your belief, everybody watching. Just a little bit. Oh, yes, okay, it's working. Energy. Give him some energy. It could happen. Godly oh, off of the side God. of the stage has an opportunity. This. He's got to get this. Oh, man. Blaze, you know he's what? Too, he's just, you just can't catch him. Okay. Pitches himself there. Oh. Hold on. Wait. Oh, this could be huge. No, uh -oh. Blaze. Uh-oh. No, he's good. Okay, he's, he's good. good. Think Blaze, Blaze backed off there. Godly yeah. has a chance well, to come back. I think because Simple started showing up, he was like, uh-oh, I might get ground pounded, you know? Yeah, probably a good option when you have Ooh, the lead. Nice dodge from oh. Simple. And, oh, man, they find the team combos in the midst of such chaos. <gasps> no, what? down. What he happened? Just, he didn't have enough to make it back. He I hit was... the sweat beads and just oh, fell. No. And then the gravity canceled down sick from wow. Blaze. is going to finish it. GG. Blaze and Akno are moving on to winner's final. That was a close one. That was such a crazy set. It went from being, you know, godly and simple up 2-0, and then the reverse. The reverse three, which is which is just so Blaze and Echno style, you know? Yeah.
They just don't want to make it look too easy or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you, sometimes you wonder, you know. They just wanted to play more. Were they actually in control the whole time? Yeah. No, I don't know. I <laughs> no, think I, I think Godly think so. and Sybil are definitely a team to watch, and I wouldn't be surprised if they fight their way up lower bracket and get another shot, shot at the champ. That here. might be, yeah. We might see this matchup again, and it'll have to be in grand finals if we do. Mm -hmm. So, GG all around. My goodness. Yeah, Sybil and Godly, uh, major contenders here. You can see Godly heavily favoring the axe on those stats there. What's up, everybody? Okay, let's get on to the next match. How about that? What do we got? I, dude, I'm excited for this TM one. SWATA and TM versus Machete and Fozy. Yeah. Okay. You're thinking SWATA and TM. Yeah. Well, yeah. If I could just everybody, read your mind yeah. real quick. People who know me He's know SWATA is not only my favorite, one of my favorite players in EU, he's probably my favorite player on the planet. Not going to lie. Yeah, and I'll attest to the fact that Steven totally called it out yes. in 2020. Yes. That, said, that he was, watch. that yeah, this is a guy to watch. And it took a little bit. But then it he, took two years. Then he won the world championship yeah. in last November. That's huge. Dude, that stock matured really quickly, if you ask me. <laughs> All right? Yeah, invest. Invest in I Swatter. was an early it's investor. It's too late now. It's too no, late it's now. too late. Yeah, you I bought it early on invest. GME, and I sold it the right time. And now I'm a millionaire <laughs> on Swata. That's all I'm saying. But I think I think we're still going to the moon with Swata here, okay? I'm telling you what I've seen today. But I, oh, you know what? Also, though, Fozzy and Machete in the last game they played, Fozzy was looking like on a whole nother level. His lance was crazy. He was, uh, that was a lot. He was doing a lot. <laughs> and so I'm not sure actually who could win this. I, yeah, it seems like, I mean, Fozzy is, he gets in those 1v2s pretty often. You know, not, nothing against Machete. I mean, Machete wins his, his own stuff quite often. Right. But, but Fozzy is like, he's a force, man. And, and uh, even though we haven't been seeing him get top three in any of the tournaments lately, I think he's there. Like, he is capable of it for sure. And uh, it's maybe just going to come down to Machete and Fozzy synergizing well enough to get it done. Um, Swata and TM, man. That's a beast team, I think. It's this could go team. either way. This could go either way. Let's watch and find out. Yeah, too close to call. Here we are in game one on Shipwreck Falls, where we saw Swata do the craziest hammer combo off the side of the stage, where he did a gravity cancel side sig into like two side airs, like a madman, yeah. like an absolute lunatic with no regard <laughs> for anything. Love that. Okay. So far, pretty even. TM has taken the lion's share of the damage, though. Who is it from these two teams that. These two teams often play on Shipwreck Falls. Do they like this map? Who's forcing it to happen here? I, well, it's working out for <laughs> Fozzie and Machete right it now. It must be, yeah. yeah. I'd like this map if I were them. They're two stocks up in game one. Okay, TM and SWAT, I got to find these KOs quickly. And okay. It, you know, it's, Ooh, almost. Ooh. There's one. I think the map, like a map like this, really benefits both of these teams equally. I want to say. Ooh, oh, oh no. you gotta believe. That's unfortunate. You gotta believe in the full charge recovery. He, kinda every single he just kind of drifted in front of. You that make him hit himself. <laughs> that's what you do. It's more damage mentally that way. And it, yeah, yeah, that has a lasting effect beyond <laughs> the knockout. Okay, Fozzy with an edge guard attempt on really the TM. Really TM reverse it. Pound, but okay, he makes it out just fine. Swata almost caught him for that, though. Fozzy really getting work done on this Lance. The double Lance. Okay, wait. wait. Second, TM. Oh, man, but Woo! they still got yeah. his recovery. Oh, no. He's fine. He's fine. Uh-oh. He lost his. Wait, Fozzy, okay. go back. Got to save him on. again? That's, that really <laughs> sucks for him. He just <laughs> he held on to the recovery so long knowing that, okay, once all this damage is over, I'll be able to fully charge a recovery and make it back because I'm using Lance, right? But then after all was said and done, the last hit that sent him flying disarmed his Lance, and so he didn't have his powerful recovery anymore to make it back. So holding it on to it all that time actually worked against him. Okay, now both Swata and TM are on their final stocks. Bozy still hanging on the two. Uh oh, but Machete. Oh wait, Machete's might... getting real hurt on his last stock here. Is this <sighs> gonna be another one v two situation for Bozy? Oh no. Oh, Machete's got to be careful. I wasn't even looking at Machete. You're leave right. His teammate again. Bozy will never stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh no! Okay. We're jet day. There's no Wait, Fozzie, come over. Survive this. Okay, Fozzie oh, broke it up. Fozzie broke it up. You know, he just came in. in. He started Defended. waving his hands around. Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> and they had to do it. They couldn't ignore him. And now everybody's back on top of the stage. Oh, Even damage. Oh it. no! Okay, one v two for Fozzie, and he's in a really good position to win it here. But yeah, this is winnable. Winnable. Very winnable. On the mic, if you're Machete, you're like winnable, dude. <laughs> you got this. He just needs one strong hit on each of his opponents, but they have big team synergy potential here yeah, to take a stock yeah. with they one can, combo. They, they probably got a 2v1 combo locked in. Oh, no! oh, Fozzie gets the first KO! The second one is okay. now he's at a huge advantage. Yeah, yeah. Straight Before up. it was winnable, and now, it, now it's his game to lose. Okay, sticking Whoa. with the spear. Whoa. Oh, Ooh, that, oh was that, was, that was nice. What? He wants the a spear. The position that he was at, that was really good. Okay, oh, all right. GG, Fauzi with the 1v2 finish. Wow, look at the damage. Fauzi leagues ahead of everybody else on the field as far as damage goes. I, I love that fully I can't believe that worked I out. believe it. Dude, you got to <laughs> believe it like every single time. There's something about certain moves in this game that you have to fully charge. Rocket Lance Recovery, Olgrim Chainsaw. Oh, TM kind of. He Damn did. He kind of helped him out there on that one. I didn't realize. He made he it a true combo, kind of. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate. Well, hey, what are you going to do, you know? Hey, that's just game one. Dust yourself off and try again. This is a best of five set. This is a long set to go. This could still go either way. Okay, wait a second. Fozzy, what's this? Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, wait. wait Fozzy okay. actually. Like... Okay. Oh, all right, all right. I think we're getting a restart here. Yeah, it's, this is looking like a restart. All right, all right, all right, all right. That, this was this was within the time limit. This is this is a legitimate this is a legitimate reset here. It's all good. Now we're just we're just horsing around on the now, stage. Yeah, yeah. TM Swat is just getting a little <laughs> frustration out from game one. He's like, you could have hit him harder, <laughs> like this or something. Like this. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They were that was something. Maybe. Okay. Well, that's okay. okay. Let's see what's happening in the lobby here. I'm clear. We have a controller down here that we're pressing. All right. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, uh, yeah. Fo Fozzy left the lobby. We got to drop Maybe he's, out. Re he's resetting his router or something. Or he's Some got to go take the trash right. out, dude. Someone's <laughs> got to walk the cat. I don't know. <laughs> Someone's got to walk the cat. Do you not walk cats? Is that not you, a thing? You could, yeah. You can walk a cat. I'm pretty sure. They'll walk themselves, there's actually. That's one, kind of their right. prerogative. There's at least one person in chat who walks their cat. Yeah. Type one in the chat if you walk your cat. <laughs> <laughs> or if your cat walks you. That's probably <laughs> the way it goes. Okay, so we're waiting on Fozzy. He's got five minutes per tournament rules. He's got five minutes to figure out whatever problems he's got, get back into the lobby, or his team is forced to forfeit. And we don't want – nobody wants nobody that. Nobody wants nobody that. Nobody wants that. The, the crowd doesn't want it. The team doesn't want it. I would suspect that even their opponents wouldn't like that very much, although – I mean, they'll take the win. Yeah. Like, they'll take the dub, but they won't be, like, stoked. Well, look at look at the different uh, game theory behind the stats picked for these two Olgrims. TM opting into more dexterity, going with four dex Olgrim, whereas oh, yeah. Machete is like, I don't even give he a rip about even, dexterity. He doesn't, he doesn't give me two. Take it away. I'll take one, actually. If you'll give me more speed, I'll take two extra <laughs> pips on the speed. He that is, a, that is a two dex Olgrim from Machete. You know, I feel like two decks, maybe in 2v2 especially, that might be the pick. I don't I, know. Well, I, I would say that speed is extremely important in 2v2. So whatever stat you lose might be worth giving yourself a little more speed in 2v2. So you can get in a position faster. True. Oh, that's know? true. Yeah, for setups. Yeah. For setups, for saving your opponent, uh, for avoiding edge guards because there's two people edge guarding you at any given time. Uh, yeah, I think it works out in a lot of situations that way. All right, back to Shipwreck Falls for game two. Oh, my goodness. Right. Machete and Fozzie have already put out so much damage. Machete still hasn't gotten hit yet. I think he got hit by, like, one weapon throw. No. All right. Now he's been dusted. Finally some damage. Yeah, they got him. Oh, man. Now Swada is in the dangers. He's already in kill range. Uh-oh. Fozzy looking for the finisher on Swata. Swata's way off the side. Is he going to be able to make it back here? Here no. goes Fozzy for the finish. No, he just has to. <laughs> okay, with he Swata. got one last lick in. <laughs> I, I love you, I do that, too. You got to just yeah. throw your weapon, one damage, left. and maybe it can ha make some crazy happen. I don't know. 
You could get a cool gimp, like the person's not looking. Oh, Boy, TM, TM. oh barely. barely, dude. He was a pixel away from not being able to make yeah. it, but that down air actually was the difference. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Looks tough. Swaddle's got to cling to this side, wait for his teammate to come back to provide some relief. Find his way back up on top of the stage. No, TM already taking damage on his second stock. This is not a good game for Swada, man. He's already, he's on his second stock. He's already pretty fairly damaged on his second stock, too. Oh, wait. Beautiful. Twin hits off the sides of the stage. And the recovery to finish it off. Is it? Yeah. He'll <laughs> finish it off with the ground pound instead. That does it. Stocks are tied up. They haven't taken very much damage on their second stocks. Okay, they can hold here. Make a little bit of a comeback. All right, big scuffle in the middle, everyone getting damaged. Machete with the most damage on the field. But only slightly. Okay, Fozy and Swata off stage. Blood Pack, let's finish it here. No? <laughs> Come back to the stage, fight with everybody else? All right. Down signature hits, Swata off the side of the stage again. Now, everybody but Fozzy is really hurt. Oh, there goes Swada down to his last stock. Is TM going to be able to make it back from this? Man, he had the juice to get it done, but Machete was there with the finisher as soon as he needed it. Swada and TM down to their final stocks. Not a good position, but they could potentially equalize it here, and they're on their way. Yeah, anything that's got to do it for Machete. Second <laughs> nice, stock. Nice. Okay, and Fozzy? I mean, they're, they are catching this in time. Yeah, they made they made up some ground on that second stock, and if they can get this stock off of Fozy quickly, it is an even game. And there it is! Not enough! Doesn't KO? Can he make it back? No, it decides it's not even worth trying. <laughs> Shout out to all the people friend requesting our, <laughs> our stream account right now. Oh, Come no. on. <laughs> what how is this happening? All right. I well. was sure we turned all that off, but I guess we'll have to uh, <laughs> we'll have to flip it off again at the end of this. It, it's, yeah. uh, you know what? It's nice to have friends. Let's be honest. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are we to complain about yeah, having so many all friends? The people out there who just wish they got all these friend requests, man. We get it all the time. We're so popular. All right. TM actually could be the deciding factor of this game. He's the healthiest person on the board. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. So TM's much potential for good. knockouts. Wait a everybody second. Everybody is, everybody Oh, no, red. yeah. It's it's, uh, chaos is about to ensue. Who's it going to be? Oh, Ooh, Swata, Swata live? So Can he make he's it? So good. Here comes Fozzy, though. He's not going to no, win that. That was, no. a, that was a really good way to get the edge guard. Yeah. Now we're down to a 1v1. Uh oh. TM without a weapon. Fozzy oh, chases no. him down against the knockout. Wow. Fozzy and Machete now up by two. Oh, man. The friend requests are in the replay, too. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, well, well, we'll never get over this okay. embarrassment. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to flip it, oh, to, you're doing flip it, it now? to the camera. Flip it to the camera. And we'll just. We'll oh. just go ahead and remove the. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll remove the <laughs> friend requests. No, we I totally like that. We totally did this yesterday. We totally turned all this off yesterday. I don't know how. Turn this it up. I want more, more friend friends. requests. More yeah, friend requests. Let's make an alarm blare every time we get a friend Ooh, request. That would be sick. That would be fun. <laughs> oh man, Fozy. You know, as much as we've called out his uh, lance being the star, he's been finishing so many stocks with the spear. Yeah, and we've been seeing him actually throw the lance away in favor of grabbing another spear instead. Yeah, and you know what? He's basically made a whole play style out of the down sig on spear, but then you see him sprinkle in that side sig on the chase down. Unstoppable. Now up 2 0 in the set. Using a side stick to chase someone down like that is courageous because it does leave you vulnerable if if you were to miss. If like, you were to miss, <laughs> right? Just I guess don't miss. If you're confident you won't miss, <laughs> then there won't be a problem. But uh, but no, seriously, I mean that was that was nice. Oh, look at this, Swada and TM. They used four signatures and landed none of them. Zero percent accuracy. Why would you have to call that out? Mm, zero percent. We could all have just ignored that stack <laughs> and not have dogged him in front of thousands of people. <laughs> But no, yeah, 0% zero percent signature accuracy. Zero percent, woo! You know, but here's the thing: that means they've got a good margin to improve. That could be big, big. That's they're, true. They're only 71 behind in damage. Damage taken is basically even. All the stats are basically even, except for those signature percentages. All right, friend requesters, we've got you beat now. We 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 turned all that stuff off. There's Did no, you accept all the ones they that don't came stand in? Chance. Probably. We, sh we should. They deserve it. They deserve it. They, found they snuck us. in. 
but no more. Those are all the friends we're accepting. Yeah, we'll give amnesty to our new friends. <laughs> <laughs> but outside that, none. <laughs> all right, so you think this game three is going to go to Shipwreck Falls as well, or do you think SWAT and TM are, like, over it? <laughs> They should be. They I should, mean, yeah, you know, yeah. they, change something. Change uh, something. And they don't want to change their legend, which I appreciate. they haven't banded out. Look, they have one more band left. Oh, oh no. no. It's not on the screen. You guys can't see it. They have oh. one more band left, and Shipwreck oh. Falls is still on the board. Will they ban it out? Will they ban it out? Will they ban it out? We're about to find out. I would say, I would say, I would suggest something like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. Seems nice. like you banned that one out, actually. It did. It was a little <laughs> bit, yeah. It was like I did that. But that for their best. Okay, Apocalypse. Basically almost the same map, but with a little soft platform that floats around and messes me up. Okay. Mm, yeah, this isn't enough of a departure <laughs> from Shipwreck Falls, actually. It's, but the I think it has the, the Blast Zone's closer in on this one. The side ones are. Yeah, okay. So that could make a difference somehow, some way, shape, or form. But Swata also changed his legend over to Koji, and I'm a fan of the Swata Koji's pick as well. He's got, like, this, like, freaky, twitchy style that works well with Bo, I think. But so he's we'll not playing he Bodvar. That is just crazy, right? I That's know. Crazy. It, yeah, he is. He won the world championship with Bodvar. What is he doing? Yeah, well, that was last year. Okay, it's a new year. Yeah, it's 2022. 2022 is like a whole new vibe, it's man. The year of Koji. There's like a bunch of twos. There's that one zero hanging on. It's a crazy year. <laughs> and Machete, who once was the healthiest person on the field, is now the most damaged. Could be taken out quickly if they focus him down. No, they're trying to get Fozzy off of the side of the stage. Swata. Oh, I, weapon throw connects into recovery and gets a stock off Machete. Okay, good start for Swata and TM in game three. I'm loving it. But yeah, they need a, this. A really powerful start. Or else the set's over. That's right. That's right. Swata and TM, they got to make something happen here. Machete and Fozzy really define the odds. Is it really? It's going to be, it might be Machete and Fozzy in grands. We were talking about how it's been a while since we've seen them in the top three, but they are, they're on the highway to top three right now. What, oh, the confidence, Fozzie. dude? He just so, knows? Yeah, so much courage. He stood in front of it. The breeze blew in his face and, and, and blew his hair, but he still just stood right in front of it and got a punish. That is awesome. Okay, and somehow Fozzie is holding on to that first stock, even though Machete is on his second stock and oh, already taking quite what? a bit of damage. I can't believe Swatted didn't get punished for that. <laughs> he fully charged the side sig there. His style. Oh, Whoa, what? nice! Swata actually side aired oh. him into TM side air. That was so perfect. Okay, now Swata and TM could take this lead back if they can get this stock off Machete. He's off on the side of the stage. Fozzy has to provide some relief. It does so effectively. Machete back, but pushed off yet again. Fozzy has to be near his, uh, his partner just to help him out. Oh, TM put a stop to that true combo that was about to go down on Swata. Nicely done. Ooh, Ooh Swata man. with the snipe! Here he comes with another one. Wait, he's about to do it again. Same sig. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. The neutral sig? Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. 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 Here it comes. No, Here no, no. Comes. Keep waiting. Okay, no, it's gone. No, no, it's, it's gone. still coming. No, 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 no. Watch. Over. Wait, no. Don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to see it. I really wanted to call it. It's, it's, it's Don't even worry about that stock that was taken. We're like waiting for the neutral sig. It's coming. Guy, I would have got it. Oh, Swata! Oh, man, he was one hit away from really deleting Machete there. Okay, now actually a huge lead for Swata and TM. Well, less of a lead, but still pretty big. Swata with almost his full stock here. But wait, a 2v1 with two lances. That's a lot of damage pretty quickly. Oh, well, chaos. This is chaos. <laughs> Everybody's swinging away. These lances. Oh, oh, makes, man. oh, man. Fozzy was locking down the outside Whoa, lane. Oh, Swata? I like that. That was play. so close. Wait, can Swata make it back? Yeah, tricky there, using the side air to make it back. Ooh, that is oh, not man. quite it. Swata and TM have answered back in force here. Ooh, what? Yes, oh, that's yes, awesome. Yes. Wait, I've never done that. What, down throw, down, down air? Down throw to down it. I mean, that's. Which affects how much damage that was and nice. back power you take. Yeah, a clean finish. Speed. And they needed it. Which Just when they needed ground. it, now they got a point on the board. It is 1 2. And they got a chance here to push it to a game five. Could we be blessed with all game fives for our set? Dude, that would just that would that would be so. I seriously need like, some tums. Things would really be going our way. Yeah. If we got all game fives. That would just be. My acid reflex is out of control. <laughs> It'd be bad for Steven's health, but be bad for my I, health. I'm here for it. Let's. I've got a whole. We got to put our bodies on the line for Brawlhalla Esports.
Yeah. Okay, Miami. Well, whoops. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe Miami, they're like, though, like no, this wasn't the map well, we wanted. Well, yeah, we don't want ramen. We don't want. Yeah, something went wrong. You know, fun fact, okay? When when we put this map out yeah. years ago, he, I saw somebody on our subreddit go, oh, they must be putting Rayman in the game because look, it says Ray, it's, it basically says Rayman and the, the ramen looks like Rayman. That's, and, cr that's and they were so like, crazy. They were like, they must be putting him in the game because they partnered with Ubisoft. And then we were working on Rayman, but we were like, we, we, we didn't do that. On pr we were just drawing noodles. <laughs> we were just drawing noodles. It's like, how did they? You got not to the this, right point, but how spoil. did you get there from that? I was like, what the heck? They somehow <laughs> they read the tea leaves correctly. I don't That's even know. That's not the first time that people like randomly get stop really guessing insane predictions. Stop yeah. guessing, people, because you will be right, you and we'll guess. feel stupid. <laughs> well, you should do a bird character. It's not like, the first time. We're working on. <laughs> We'll make one. <laughs> it does happen. <laughs> yeah. It does happen. Okay, so Fozzie and Machete, they, they quit out of that match. Let's see. What's happening? Yeah, Fozzie dropped out again. Hmm. Mm. Wonder if he's having connection troubles. Mm. He's about to reset his router again. Or he's got to reset it, his neighbor's Wi-Fi or something. Right? Maybe he's using his neighbor's Wi-Fi and he's got to get his neighbor to reset the router. So he's got to walk over. With all over. the prize money he's earned, I think he could. He should definitely he should have just a sick router. Just, yeah, it's with a really like, like, it's thick an Ethernet cord, like For an Ethernet cord like this big around. <laughs> so you got so much internet pumping yeah. in. <laughs> That's what yeah. I would invest in, probably. Like a water hose of internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 50 cc's of internet straight to the vein. <laughs> uh, so we're waiting for Posey to come back here. You can see, well, no, you can't see, but behind Steven is an empty podium. D d yeah, there, see. Yep, there we're not lying. Sorry. So we're waiting. <laughs> You're in the way, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see. Look at okay, the prize Check out these here. irrelevant stats. Wait, who are Wait, these Wait, who guys? are these people? <laughs> Hold on. Was that in the next game coming no, up, no, no, maybe? They, yeah, maybe. No, actually, yeah, that makes sense. That's a match that was happening. Hmm. Let me see. We'll, we'll check. Yeah. That was the next oh, set. Oh, the next set. Little preview. They were just a little too prepared. Yeah. A little too prepared, actually. Getting ready for the next one. I saw oh, a pretty on big discrepancy in prize winnings. Not that that means anything. Yeah. But, but there I was, did there was see a zero, and there was like one in the tens of thousands. I saw, I saw one of them had like five digits. I saw one of them had like, one gonna digit. Be a, that's going to be a good match, whatever that is. All right, Fozzie's back in the lobby. I think we're ready to go. He's they're, they're within their time limit, we'll say. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, sure. He had whatever. to go, re, it's good enough. Had to go get, re hook up the internet. This. Now we're good. Yeah, unplug it. Plug it back in. Yeah, blow on it. <laughs> like 10 seconds. <laughs> All like, the like tricks. Like a Nintendo cartridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like everything. Every piece of technology that's like, that's turn it on, turn it off, if blow can, on yeah, it. If you can hit it or blow blow on it, that do all should of that. make it work. Yeah. Should make it Before work. Before you call IT, do all of that. <laughs> Did you smack it on the side yet? Though? Okay, but it looks like the map change was real. Yeah. We're on Miami Dome. Oh, Fozzy. Oh, oh, no. no. Fo Fozzie. Come on. Come on. Oh There's got to be sanctions against this. There's got to be. Golly. Turn the friend request back on. I want someone to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> we need more <laughs> yeah, friends. Yeah, we need more friends, we need dude. More friends. We'll go play with them. <laughs> they actually want to play with us. That's too much. Okay, wait. Fuzzy's back? No, that's a bot. TM destroying Ooh, wow. the Fuzzy bot. Get wrecked, bot. Oh, oh man. God. Now they're eating marshmallows. <laughs> oh, boy. It is fun to be TM and Swat. He's, he's trying to slide charge the team, the co op part. I don't think that works, does it? I don't know. I wonder, can you can you co-op a slide charge a slide charge taunt? No way, probably not. I feel like we must have play tested that. I don't think we did, dude. Oh boy, that's <laughs> what could happen. Th that couldn't work. I do love that, like the the co-op animation. If you keep holding taunt when the other person lets go, you still keep it. The, just get yeah, to do yeah. It. That was a good way to do it. Like yeah. the floating in the passenger seat is probably the best taunt in the game. It's like the secret. And taunt. it's totally fine. Like it's we're totally not gonna fine. remove that. We that's, love that. That's fine. Oh, look at these, the relevant stats now. All okay. Right. All right, all right, all right. For as much as we're talking about Fozy winning the 1v2s, Machete's really the one with the dollar bills, though. I mean, right. who's who's really making things happen here? Money's not everything, Money's though. Not, oh, you're right. They have the same amount of top 32 placements. That's, that's nice. Man, these guys have been competing. You know, it's funny. They're, you know, back in, like, 2017... There used to be a lot, the tournaments were way more frequent. They were smaller and more frequent. Um, so when you look at like placements and medals of like old school players, 
you see like the prize money is lower, but hmm. those values are way higher because they've been in much more tournaments that were like, you know, I mean, we used to freak out over a thousand dollar tournament, right? I mean, just because yeah. this tournament's a hundred thousand dollars doesn't mean, uh, well. All right, looks like we got a live one here. It's a live one. Everybody's yeah, fighting. Fozzy's in. Fozzy's in. He's looking pretty connected. His, he probably put a little piece of tape on the internet cord this time. <laughs> and that is what it ne he needed. Okay. All right, close so far. TM and Machete, the two on the teams that have taken most damage. Now, I'm sorry about your acid reflux, but this match could get real spicy. It better on a not. a small stage like this, things can get crazy. Like, oh, oh, there it is. Oh, you okay, Steven? That, was, a, that was quick. A little something came up, <laughs> but I pushed it back down. <laughs> Just the way TM. Another KO. <laughs> Extremely okay. fast. These guys are going crazy. Machete, can he make it back with this edge guard? Not if Fozzie has anything to say <laughs> about it, dude. His teammate came in like, I got you, bro. And you're like, I don't say less. I don't need <laughs> that guy less, to help. Say less. Okay, Swata, now Swata's the only man left. Swata's looking real good right He's now. Looking you good. Look oh. over at the score. Swata's got so much to go. Ah, but that but we put a target on his back when he said that because he yeah, just picked bad. up a bunch of damage there, and he could be taken out quickly, yeah, maybe. This spot. What a beautiful spot dodge from Swata into the neutral light to punish Fozzie's side air. My goodness, I have never once spot dodged oh. a land side air. That's like a crazy, ooh, Swata thought about it. Do I go down there yeah. and try to save him? Will that just get me knocked out? I think he was, he I don't know. It might've been worth going for it because he's the only one with three stocks and he's so damaged. Plus he has the bow. Bow Nair is like the best save your friend tool. Cause oh, he true, completely yeah. stop. He can foot fast fall down there full speed and land it and it'll just stop him point blank and send his teammate directly upward, plus give him a chase dodge up. I don't know, it might have been worth the risk to go for it, but well, what are you gonna do now? TM's down to one stock. There okay, goes probably, that was probably worth, actually. That totally was worth. Get yeah. the stock off Fozzie, and now you're in a, you have a significant lead with a full stock from Swata. Okay, but yes, the floorboard woo! comes through. Nice. That'll do it, big team combo. Oh, they're going okay. to pump it off now. We it smell like a game five. Oh, for sure. All right, TM, nice snare. To Block his way back onto stage. Swata, what's he gonna do? Oh Whoa. no, wait! No, no, Whoa. bro! Be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool! Be cool! <laughs> Give a full stock. <laughs> He's going crazy oh, off TM. on the edge. Wait a second, TM! As, as a head of Swata and TMR, if TM goes down right now, which That's it true. looks uh. like he could. Oh, oh what a what? weapon throw? Oh, no. but it didn't matter. The, the hitbox is so wide on that down, the ground pound. <laughs> Swata gave a little boost. He's like, I'll oh, shoot you back up on the stage, bro. Get up there. <laughs> Okay. TM is in so, he is like just he avoiding is. combat as much as he possibly can. It, it, he can't avoid it. This place is too small. Now it's at the Swata and the 1v2. And even though it looks like he can get this done, I don't know, man. Fozzie yeah. and Machete you could definitely just dismantle him over time. Ooh. There goes the first one. Uh oh. oh boy. Already, the taunts are coming out. They're already, they're already planning on victory. Okay, and this set would end here unless Swata can get these two stocks from Red Team. And he can. I think he certainly can. But he's got to, right? It's it's if he doesn't Oh, oh he, he doesn't, just, they're going down the lower bracket. He got picked up by the last hitbox of that down light, and he oh. was looking to, to convert that into a recovery and maybe get the stock off Pachete, which is the one he needs he most. Needs the, yeah, Pachete's one good hit away. Down light recovery will catch him probably from anywhere on this map that might get a KO on him right now. Whoa, oh man, wow. Oh, whoa, be careful. Come on, we, gotta, we wanna see the game five. Let's go Swata. Let's Ooh. go Swata. Okay. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's gotta be yeah, it. But now okay. Now just a simple 1v1 against Fozzy. Oh, oh no! he loses he weapons. Disarmed. That's a, oh, and Fozzy's stealing the weapons. And it's a Lance. How do oh. you fight Lance unarmed? It's, I don't think it's it, a bad matchup yeah, if you I ask me. <laughs> No! Oh, wow! Fozzy clutched it, and the match is over. It's gonna be Machete and Fozzy moving on now to a guaranteed top three spot in winner's final of the Winter Championship Doubles Tournament. Man. Yeah, SWAT and TM not out yet. They're now joining the others in the lower bracket, so we'll see more of them, potentially. But man, Fozzy and Machete, it might just be their day. They've been, they've been playing so hot. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of surprised to see them in uh, in winner's final. It's not certainly not the first time they've been in winner's final. 
We'll see if they can clutch up against the likes of Blaze and Acno. Wait, what the heck? Um, look at this. They did less damage, okay? Efficiency. Efficient. But look at their ac signature ac accuracy. We called it out in the beginning. That's maybe what decided it right there. Cause yeah, a little bit of tough love, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we'll take credit for that one. GG. Bravo. Bravo. All right, our next match coming up here is go we're going down to the lower bracket of top eight. So now what that means in the lower bracket is that any any of these matches is an elimination match. Whoever oh loses no. is not just going to the lower bracket. They're, they're going home. They're going home. They're out of the tournament. So wow. Okay. Let's see. Who's our first match? Looks like Sciotic and Seijaru versus Sarme and Heisen. And I am who's Sciotic and Seijaru? That's a good question <laughs> on all of our minds. I, I Is this the first time we've ever seen them in bracket? Do we have the stats? I would love to see the stats on these guys. Psyotic, we've definitely seen before. We've seen Psyotic, but Seijaru? Seijaru? He doesn't even have a title. He's got, he's got <laughs> social. <laughs> you don't have that. You he doesn't even have, have a title, bro. Well, wait, what's, that's a title. When we're dealing with top esports pros. Socialite's not a title? Got ti well, yeah, Socialite's a title, but not like an eSports title. It's a title. See, Heisen, Heisen's got oh. he does, Heisen's got eSports titles. He's just humble But Seijaru about. is actually the only one with prize winnings on this team. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Well, uh, clearly I'm not well-versed enough on what's going on. But uh, Sciotic has been here before. Seijaru, yeah. maybe that's a name change. Maybe I'm just ignorant. <laughs> but... You could bet on either. You could bet on either, really. <laughs> hey, don't do me like that. <laughs> you could bet on either. <laughs> uh, but but I, I'm always, dude, I love an underdog story, okay? So that's what we're setting up here. And, I mean, Heisen, he's got, look at. Wait, I, I know, yeah. If you just look at Heisen's stats, like. Look at all this numbers. He's, 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 are, he's, he's, he's in his own class on this one. That's a lot of he's numbers. He's in his own class on this one. Let's see how well he can yeah, do Yeah, Heisen's here. been around forever. He's teamed with everybody. He's played every legend. He's just, he's just, you know, the man. He, he is, yeah, it. yeah. D definition of a top player, for sure. Uh, and, and Sarme has been an excellent teammate uh, in the past. Now, this is the first time Heisen and Sarme have teamed up for a doubles tournament. Oh. Uh, because Heisen used to team with Simple. Simple swapped to Godly. Heisen yeah. found a, a new companionship here with Sarme. And it's going well, top eight on their first time out. GG, right? Yeah. And you know what? When you have like a, a, a high level player like Heisen pick up a person, that's like a pretty big cosign, you know? That's like we should yeah. take that seriously because Heisen has maybe options, right? Right. He's yeah. walking around, big people time. know the name, he's got options. Big so time. when he picks Sarme, that means something. So we gotta put respect on the name. Okay, getting into map select here for game one. Whoops. False alarm. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? So, wait, dude, we get more what? tape on the oh Ethernet cords, guys. Oh, my God. Wait, what is happening? Oh, Everybody dropped out. Everybody's coming back in. Okay. We're good now? We just didn't have enough Kojis. That was the problem. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, they're going in in a specific order so that all our fancy tournament graphics stuff works well. Well, that's nice of them, then. Thank you. Thanks, players. For accommodating the Look tournament at that production. level 100 Val on Sarme. I mean, that's another cosign, really. Level 100. Whoa. That takes like yeah. I still don't have a level so, 100. No, but yeah, legend. it takes so much time. People think like it's easy for some reason because a bunch of people have done it, but that's because they're all freaks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a level 100 character, you're a freak. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's so much time. They're going hard. Yeah. You're going ham, like, dude. Like level 100 account happens. Yeah, long that's e before easy level style. Legend. That's easy. I sleep on that. All right, here we go. Game one, Mammoth Fortress. Ison still looking to pick up his first weapon, grabs the bow. Has the ditto against Psyotic. Both Ooh, playing Koji. Seijaru. Same skin even, he went, too. He went for the double downer just like uh -oh. that. Wait a second. Is he going to win this edge guard over Heisen? No, Heisen makes it back up onto the stage. But Seijaru's got his number, man. Seijaru's already proven that he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Heisen. And the oh! double counter down air is so good. Whoa, Psyotic oh. and the... Wait, Seijaru and Psyotic are sick? Okay. Man, they must have really been on the grind since the uh, offseason started. Now they're coming in in the winter championship. Well, then where are their level 100s? than ever. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, yeah, Seijaru is the healthiest person on the field by good margin, actually. 
Sayada goes down as well. Okay, that makes the stock count pretty even here. Nope, Sai Sayjaru now winning. He hold on to this stock here while dishing out some damage. They're in a really good spot. But Sarmay and Heisen still have an opportunity to equalize before it's too late. It's still not too late, but we're getting close. It's still not too late. Oh, but okay, now it's kind of too late. Sa Sarmay's <laughs> been hurt too much. Oh, now. I, I like Sciotic believing in that side sig, charging it up. Like, uh, just it fast We've fast seen fall it into this? Enough. Oh, Sarmay gets the kill finally on Sejaru. Sejaru knocked out to his second stock. And Sarmay, keep your eye on Sarmay here. The Val. Oh, okay. So Jaru, crazy difference. slide charge side signature from the bone bar. Okay, I like it. like to see it. Oh, goes for the gravity cancel stomp down oh. there. Oh, no. Sarme down to her final stock. Yeah, so far an impressive display uh, by Sayotic and Sejaru in game one. I was ready for anything, but I don't know if I was ready for this. Ison, oh, so heavily damaged. That recovery is going to do it down to his final stock as well. Okay, Sarme, what does he do? Actually pushing in the aggression, even though his teammate wasn't back yet. Now Heisen returns to the field, looking for a weapon spawn. Sniped by Sciotic. Still left defenseless. And Sciotic and Sejaru have room to... They, they got a lot here. They, they're a pretty well, significant lead. It's a it's a good lead, but it could be turned it, around it quickly. Could get turned around quickly. There's one. And there's the start of it, but even so, Sarme is pretty damaged on the final stock here. That is true. That should be probably their focus to get that stock off Sarme to yeah. get the two v one power play. Oh, oh they were start wow! A nice weapon throw by Sejaru to stop that team combo. That actually, it worked out so perfectly. It worked out oh. so well that like it bonked, it bonked his teammate into into the team combo. All right, Sarme off the side of the stage. Ooh, Sejaro was going for that side signature. Got interrupted, but now Sarme off on the side of the stage. Heisen slapping everybody around. Has to <laughs> play some defense here for his teammate. Nice, still taking stocks. Sionic can't make it back. He is down. Wait a second. Whoa! Sarmay and Heisen have turned this around. Sejaru and, and Sionic were ahead the entire game, and now it's suddenly looking like they might take the game. But don't don't put it past Sejaru to win this one v two. He's in a he's in a position to win it. I don't know. He's taking a lot of damage now. Okay, oh, wait. Look, he's got to capitalize. More of those and he'll be he'll be in good shape. Yeah, he's got to kite them into each other. That's the real trick. Oh, oh, still almost. not enough. Uh -oh. Nice off the dribble. Oh, double, double weapon throw. Did he still manage to avoid it? Oh. oh, man, he did everything he could on that yeah. to make it back. But Sarve just had the checkmate in there. I can't believe they pulled it off, man. Yeah, Sarve and, crazy. and Heisen were behind the entire game right up until the end. They stole it from him. Yeah, I'm wondering how this is going to go. Because sometimes what happens is, like, the newer team in game one will perform, perform really well. And then as the set goes on, like, the experience starts to win over. Yeah. But I'm wondering, because we saw some good stuff. Say Jaru, he's got he's got a spiffy boat bar, okay? We've Very seen. spiffy is the right word. He was doing it. some boat yeah. bar stuff that, you know, if you're a boat bar, you gotta be doing that stuff. He had all the right things going for him, but they just need one little push, go over the top and get a win here. And Sarme switching over to Amethyst. I like the pick, not gonna lie. Like yeah, you always appreciate an amethyst pick. What can I say? That's reasonable. Good taste, yeah. good taste. <laughs> oh man, Sejaru going for the killing blows so quickly. Yeah, they could use some early stocks. That was the thing, is they were doing good damage, but maybe having a little bit of trouble capitalizing, turning it into actual stocks. Yeah, that's a good observation. I think you're right about that. Keep your eye on Sarme here. Very damaged already. Yeah, both Heisen and Sarme. Uh-oh, Sarme in trouble. Wow, Ooh, drifts away from the oh. weapon throw so perfectly. He actually went backwards, like, just in time. That was nice. Man, Sionic and uh, Sejaro still in yellow, basically, on their first stocks. Oh, okay, Ooh, so that wow. does a lot. Sometimes Dude, the, you just got wheel. Just I love that go sound effect, it. too. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Sarbe has a chance again. Oh, he gets again. it! Another oh, double KO! Sarbe with the double! Wow, they were trying this. Oh, man. 
Cut. They, they come from behind, uh, you know, the way they can keep their mental in this situation. That's yeah. what makes them champions, really. Okay, but Heisen. Oh, equalized Ooh. quickly. Perfect. Okay, yeah. I mean, losing those first stocks just didn't matter when they equalized that quickly. Didn't mean anything. Psyotic. Good combo on the Sarme. Sarme returns fire. Heisen. Okay, not going to let it happen without any damage. Oh, they had a nice double team combo there for a second. Oh, and they're splitting off the two 1v1s. Man, Psyonic. Seijaru is, is throwing some Hail Marys with these gravity cancel sword down sigs, but if any of them lands, like that's a touchdown straight up, right? Yeah, yeah. He's just he's just getting his practice in, getting the reps <laughs> in. He's going to land. Getting the reps in, that's right. The efficiency, the, the accuracy is going to go up soon. And then it's over. Okay. A hotly contested second stock. Who's going to get the first one? Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Sarme goes down. Sejaru slips his way through. Can they push this advantage? Oh, tried to dribble off the stage. Sejaru knocked off the edge. Ooh. Heisen went for the killing blow. Ends up just getting punished for it. But Heisen, oh my goodness, he's dishing out oh. the damage to Sarme again Dude, with the side thing. It's so good. It's so good, dude. You just become a wheel. It's so fun. Yeah. It hits so hard. The wheel. <laughs> and it's the, funny. Hit him with the wheel. It's kind of funny when you do it to somebody. <laughs> Makes you laugh a little. It is a it is a fun it's a little, mood booster. Fun little animation. <laughs> did you draw that one? That I, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he likes it so much. Hey, you know, it's an objective appraisal, maybe. I don't know. Okay, but Sarbe is in trouble. Oh, He's the. Uh, oh, wait a second! That's a huge ground pound. Sionic goes down there to save. Si he wait, keep keep ground pounding. Keep ground pounding. Oh my what? god! Oh Whoa. my god! Is that six stocks that by Sarbe? Hold on. Four. Okay. No, no, Four. No, no, okay. No. But he was he was cleaning up stocks left and right. Dude, that got crazy at the end there. Oh, Boom. it's Slowbo. The hair whip my hair back and forth. Double. Love to see it. Is this just going to be a highlight reel of wheel kills? Yeah. A highlight wheel? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> that was good. That, that was good. I love this. Commitment to the ground pound. Oh. Don't stop. Another one. Boom. Weapon. Down throw. Ground pound. Down throw. Ground pound. Do you do that with one, photo? No, with no jump in between. Well, when I do it, I, I, I jump, jump for I'm safety. So, yeah. I jump because I'm stupid. Because I'm, I, I don't to believe see in myself. I, that's really it. Because Not I, like Sarme <laughs> does. I want them to see it coming. I'm like, i, I got to give them two seconds to react to this. <laughs> that way I'll never make diamond. It's scary to ground pound and potentially end up <laughs> underneath. Your, your not opponent. when you're Sarme, the I confidence from this Sar player. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You gotta love to see it. Okay, now up 2 0 in the set. This could be a 3 0 sweep right here if they can get another one. Man, but the thing is, oh, Sejaru and Psyotic have been so close each game. They just need like one yeah. small difference maker yeah. to turn it, the tide. It is, it is currently 2 0 in favor of Heisen and Sarme. It, but you're right. It's not like Sejaru and Sciotic don't have what it takes, right? They are they are in there, practically winning and just practically. barely, pra yeah, <laughs> practically. Mom, we practically won. We practically. I mean, yeah, we <laughs> lost. We lost 3-0, but we, pra we practically, practically won the whole like, tournament. Yeah, we were all really close. No, I, I look. I'm honestly, I'm in favor of, of putting a little symbol next to the matches that are 3-0, but close. But close. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. Know, like, it was well, actually yeah. close. Still. A little asterisk. Baby. Uh oh, Sarme. Oh, Sarme. oh, oh nice save, save by Heisen. Heisen. Oh my God, and Sarme oh. makes it back. That and was Heisen so makes good. it back. Find yourself a teammate that can save you like Heisen does. I know it's always so sad when you go for the save and you lose your own stock, but both players make it back to the field, it's resume beautiful. the fight. Oh, Sarme, Sarme doesn't last long. Down. Well, uh, Sarme got some damage out before true. before he got bad. So and with an amethyst, high worth. damage every hit. That's you know, true. you're, you're paying true. dividends there. It was it was still a high value save, despite uh, the the quick the quick knockout. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Okay. Now we're into a spicy one v one. No, they. Kind of both back they off for like, a second. Yeah, like, hey, wait, wait you know what? My older brother's coming, and he's <laughs> going to beat up. My dad can beat up your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till he gets here. But Psyotic still alive. The only one with all three of his stocks remaining. And he's good. Makes it back to the stage, but Sarme is weapon starving him. Psyotic still without a weapon. 
We've yet to see a single wheel come there out from Sarmane. That's really where That's the concerning. game is going to change. That's concerning, yeah. yeah. We were about three wheels deep does, last does, time. We were, we were riding like a tricycle. Uh-oh, Sarmane's done. Oh, oh and no. That was, that was a friendly fire Final weapon stock. throw that took him out, too. Oh, no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> Even if the Thank weapon goodness. throw put him in a situation where he got knocked out, you point at the kill feed and you're like, hey, see, it, it wasn't, wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Sarve's kind of in trouble here. The only one with one stock. Meanwhile, Psyotic's like oh, super healthy, nice. practically untouched. Nice little team combo there, doing some good damage. Okay, Psyotic. They Jaru. They got a chance this here in looking, game three. Yeah, it's looking like they're going to keep this set going. I mean, Sarme is almost completely knocked out of the whole game here I on his final what stock. Sarme is going to do. It's going to be, it has to be a long series of Woo! clutch moves. No! Oh, no. Oh, why oh. did you say oh, that? That is not even a kill feed. <laughs> no, just, no, no. Just, yes, there was. Yes, no, there was. It was, it was, no, there was, stumbled. bro. He just stumbled into uh, his own knockout. It was off screen. <laughs> it was off screen. It was a glitch. It was a glitch. <laughs> No, Sarve. <laughs> After you cursed him by saying he needs to do something yeah, fancy, oh, and then man. He, I'm sorry. He pants himself in front of Jim Glass. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, Heisen with the reddest stock I've ever seen. He believes in himself. Is, I believe is, in him yeah. too. Well, mm. on camera, I believe in him for sure. <laughs> he could do this. Three stocks to one, and that one stock. Oh my gosh! Nice. There it goes. All right. Well, you know. That keep, is actually what we were. Set alive. Yeah, let's go. Another game five. I that's want, what we were hoping I want for. All game fives till we till we're done. Now they've proven it to themselves. We can do it. We have what it takes to beat this team. We just need to do it twice more. But you know what? They only have to focus on the game one game at a time. You know how do you right. eat an elephant? One yeah. bite at a time. <laughs> yeah, over the course of a long, long, long time. Yeah, well, probably, but still one bite. <laughs> you don't want to try and eat the whole thing in one bite, like a snake. That wouldn't work. Yeah. That wouldn't work. Yeah, We're snakes not cannot eat elephants. They're they not can eat hippos. All right, I digress. What? I saw it once. What? It might have been a baby hippo, and that's tragic. That's okay, it's tragic. I'm sorry. It was tragic. Get back to the game. Let's talk about baby Speaking of things that aren't tragic, Psyotic and Sejaru have fought themselves back into this set. They've got a chance. they got a pulse. Yeah. Let's see what they can do in game that's four. That's not tragic at all. Yeah, but you're right. They've proven that they can do it. So now it's no longer a question of if we can. It's just we got to put it all together now. Oh, and I didn't even notice Sarme actually switched off Amethyst onto Koji. Mm. Is that where he started the set? He's back. Oh, wait a second. I actually, I really like his Koji. Just kidding. Just kidding. Wait. He's doing great <laughs> right with his Koji. Getting a KO already. He, I don't think he was playing Koji at the start. Okay. But he's playing Koji now, and he's doing a good job of it. Oh, that was totally worth hitting the teammate for that one. Nicely done. And the stocks of damage are totally even. Who's going to go down first, Psyotic or Heisen? Yeah, and this is match point for Heisen and Sarme. They clean this up. Oh, they there move you go. On. He, got, he got Psyotic. Heisen's the only one left with all three stocks, but his teammate, Sarme, is not looking quite as healthy. Pretty damaged on his second stock. So, uh, yeah, Hi so now Heisen really needs to take the lead here uh, in, in engagement, while Sarme needs to, like, not get hit for a while, for, like, a while. Uh oh And I, you know Ooh. what? I feel like that's just the way Heisen plays anyways. He's always diving in. Oh, no! Oh, Sarme no, Sarme. his final stock! This, oh, and that man. could be the stock for Heisen. No, he's going to make an attempt at this to get back to the stage. Yes. Nice. This is a perfect dodge. And Sarme just needs to have the stock of his life. The best stock he's ever played. It can happen, I believe. Come back from this. Heisen that was just Heisen's first stock, though. Yeah, incredible. No big deal. Sarme, Don't look at your he's being stocks. smart about this. Getting the damage in, not allowing any unnecessary damage here. If he makes himself completely unavailable to be hit, they'll pretty much just have to go for Heisen. Well, see Heisen go down there. He's like, no, no, Sarme, I'm gonna, yeah. I'll scoop you back <laughs> yeah, on the stage yeah, if I have to. You are not dying here. <laughs> Okay, wait, they got Sejaru. This is, it's even now. Suddenly it's even now. Sarme has done a very good job of not taking any damage. I mean, look look how healthy he is. It's been like a minute here on his final stock. He's barely been hit at all. That may be even more of a testament to Heisen taking the lead properly uh, and being enough of a presence that Sarme doesn't need to be. Woo! Oh, but the follow-ups. 
Uh oh. oh Wait, no. what? Sorry, Chris, another hit. crisscross? What happened there? Heisen was... somehow makes it out of it. He's so heavily damaged, though. This stock could go with any hit. Maybe even a light attack. I don't even know at this point. Heisen is, yeah, very, very damaged. And Sarme, too, is actually in big trouble on his final stock. He's oh, the closest no. to be eliminated. Need more damage. Even if it comes down to the 1v2, if Sarme can just dish out a little more damage. Oh, 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 oh did he go so for the ground pound? No, it was a C1 for a side. Oh, there, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's, that what it landed. Was, that's what I was imagining, too. Chase dodge into the wall, yeah. ground pound for the big finish. That, that would have made my ulcer burst for sure. That would have been too spicy. Oh, that was man. crazy. Yeah, we, don't, we wouldn't want to get hurt. Okay, but look at this. Hurt. They actually, uh, Heisen and Sarme have the damage lead only slightly. Heisen, the most healthy person on the field. This but wait a second. Oh, there Loses goes his teammate, Sarme. though. It's up to Heisen, but Heisen turns it into a 1v1 real quick. Psyotic, not too far away in damage, but definitely behind against Heisen here. Heisen's got him off the side. Oh, that was a beautiful gravity cancel stomp. That was probably as high as you could go without uh, while still landing it. Psyotic. Oh, man, this is a tough match for Psyotic. Heisen's been here before. Yeah. Heisen, Heisen's fought plenty of... Uh, top tier 1v1 tournaments and come out on top. Okay, but Psyotic, he's got a chance. Okay, disarmed Heisen, that's so important. That's like he's got a, the edge yeah, guard. such a good time to Position advantage, Heisen. weapon advantage. There must be a weapon spawned right behind him. Oh, yep. Grab oh, they raced oh, to it. Nice, Psyotic nice. gets it. Oh, he, he sniped him away, but it wasn't quick enough. Uh-oh. Heisen, <laughs> uh -oh. he knew he wasn't even going to bother with the true combo because uh -oh, the Nair no. has too much fixed force. It's not even going to knock him back. This next big hit wins. And if it's uh, if it's Heisen, they're going, they're moving on to the next round. <gasps> Not enough. But, but if Psyotic can take out Heisen, and he is weapon starving him, Psyotic could take us to a game five that would be so clutch. Oh, he wanted that recovery that so badly. Nice dodge. Uh oh. What does he do? Ooh, Not oh, that was again. nice. Not that was nice. KO. I don't think T Taros can land a move at this point that won't knock out. <laughs> Just being honest. It's like, yeah, they're all pretty. He's strong. so potent at this level of damage. Oh! And that's it! Oh, we're going to game five! What? Nicely done! Psyonic clutching it when we really needed it. Psyonic was there. Dude, nerves of steel. Yeah. That is crazy. He I should can't become imagine. a surgeon. Like, so confident. Taking that down. That was crazy. I mean, Heisen could have very easily, like I said, he was one hit away for so long from winning that. Sciotic yeah. worked his way back and eventually won that 1v1, bringing us to a game five. Game five, man. That's so clear. And, and, and coming back from 0-2, they brought it to a game five. Yes. Impressive. Impressive. OK, well, this they have was, to have short memories because right. we can't be thinking about those last matches because it all comes down to this. This right. decides it here. No legend swaps on either side. Here we go. Man, so clutch, Psyotic, right when they really needed it. He managed to go up against a, a player with over $20,000 in earnings and still score still score the clutch victory. Oh, crazy scramble off on the side of the stage. Is someone going to come away with an early stock? No, everybody makes it back up on top somehow, but Sarmay knocked off again oh, and spiked down huge. low. The Wait, weapon throw doesn't connect. Trouble. Okay. Wow, okay, makes it back to the stage. but Oh, uh, oh no, knocked off by a teammate. Fire. Weapon throw, crazy. He throws it upwards Good. to get the battle pass mission. That's a difficult one. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. What the heck? Bro, don't be doing your battle pass missions live on TV. <laughs> yeah. Just live it on doesn't TV. work in customs or whatever. I don't know. But still, okay, Sarme, the low man on the total pole, down to his second stock, but everybody else primed and ready to lose their first ones. Yeah, and so once again now we've got Sarme forced to play on the defensive here, but, well, defensiveness be damned. He's going to just go and get that KO. Sarme had the killing blow in his hands right there, but it got interrupted by Heisen. The weapon throw. Sarme finishes off. Sciotic, and Sciotic's now down to his second stock. This puts Sarme and Heisen in the lead here as Heisen's the only one left remaining with all three of his stocks. Oh, oh, nicely done by Sejaru. The gravity cancel, gauntlet gravity cancel downlight, you can chase dodge that into a recovery and it's a true combo. And Sejaru just displayed it perfectly. That was like the best time to land it. Okay, but Psyotic and Sejaru have a lead. Everybody's tied on the stocks, but they've built up some good damage on the blue team. Both members 
Could lose her stocks quickly. Wait a second. Dealing it back. Sarve and Sciotic were in a, a yeah, Koji Ditto Koji for a second. The Koji Bo duel that was happening there on the left side. And Sarve was like, yeah, actually forget that. I'm going to go 2v1. Sejaro yeah, was my teammate. Yeah, this they were just, They were just like whiffing each other. They were dodging everything. All right, Sciotic nets another KO off of Heist. And now he's the, I think this is the first game where he's the, the first one on blue team to go down to his final stock. That could be a bad omen, potentially. Normally, he's the stock tank and the one who kind of oh, has to clutch it at the end. True combo from a weapon throw, man. Sciotic, that was nice. Oh, Not Sciotic enough. barely alive. I can't believe Another it one? Again. Okay, that's got, that's got to be the last neutral air he could survive, possibly. Wait, Sciotic, do you got to come down and save your friend? He's defending Sciotic. But you know what? At nice. least standing above him, you can be like a body block for a weapon throw right. or something like that. Yeah, so. yeah. No, that was, that's just being present there is super helpful in terms of defending your teammates recovery oh boy sciotic and sejaru down to their final stock and even though sarme was the first one to lose the stock in the game it didn't matter at I, all I because now we're on the final stock <laughs> held is perfectly even it all comes down to this what an incredible way to finish out a set of this caliber game five last stocks for everybody yeah, what's it going to be? Everybody down to the last stock, and this is the match that's going to decide Ooh. it. Who's moving on in this tournament? Who's going to be out in seventh place? Invest in ground pounds if you're Sarmay. He's throwing them out like they're a Halloween candy. Ooh, oh, another oh, one? He gives up. Why? Sionic's in trouble. Sarmay, another ground Why pound? going to make it back from this? Oh, man. Okay, but now wait, now Sejaro's in trouble. He needs a save. Beautiful save from Sionic. Oh. oh my gosh, he's still in it. Sarve fighting way off on the bottom. A little bit of friendly fire. Oops. Sionic somehow still alive. What a blessing that he's actually still alive after that one. Sionic being really, really careful about this. But Sejaro can't afford it either. With a double? What? Oh, wow. He's really committed to that ground pound. Luckily, survived the miss. And oh, my gosh. How oh, weapon it? throw the connects. Weapon throw connected way off the side. And now Sciotic's out. It's up to Sejaru. Sciotic clutched it last time. Can Sejaru clutch it now? This is a much more important clutch. This is like a 1v2 while he's one hit away from being knocked oh, out. Ooh. He's not going to land it. Heisen and Sarme win the set and move on to the next round of top eight. GG. Oh, man. Wow. Sciotic and Sejaru, have a, that was a really commendable performance from them, but they are out of the tournament in seventh place. <gasps> oh, that's right. These ones, this everything's on the line. All the yep. marbles, even the cat's eyes, your favorite marble, gone. Okay, that is my well. my favorite marble. I know, it's everywhere. That one and, the, and the ocean blue waves, yeah. I never really actually learned how to play marbles. Like, yeah, me neither. Rules, right? like, Dude, like, marbles, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, I didn't know how to play. The, I put the rocks them. in my mouth. I looked at the pictures. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Like in Pokemon, don't do it. But I literally would just like put those rocks in my mouth. <laughs> Whatever those rocks are for in Pokemon, like, I have no idea. I have no clue. You just ate them? I just ate them. <laughs> well, I didn't eat them. But yeah, just taste. We should them. stop talking about this. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. It's that's, 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 that's irresponsible Don't for us to be like. We me. can't endorse that. No. No, no. All right. That was an awesome lower bracket match, and we've got another lower bracket match coming for you right now. Let's see who it is. It is Coco and Spyrox versus Viper and Solarson. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah, this is okay. exciting here. Coco yeah. and Spyrox had some really crazy. Uh, performances last year and in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, they've long been on the come up and now it, it's no longer, we can't talk about them like a come up team anymore. Right. They're here, they made it. They're in top eight, no one's surprised. Um, uh, but Viper and Solarson, now that's someone we could talk about because Viper, he's the old school, right? He's I been love, here forever. I love talking about it. He has been here forever. Uh, he used to be like I mean, he used to be like wow. he's legend. He is legendary. Is it Coco or KO KO? I want to say Coco. Or is it Knockout Knockout? Knockout Knockout. You got to say <laughs> the whole thing. Long. But respect out his knockout, name. Knockout Knockout. It's just got knocked out. Coco's good too, though. You get a lot of yeah. options there. I won't hide the prize. Well, maybe I will hide the prize money. <laughs> Can't see it. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, clearly Viper has been. You know, he's he's the old head here. He's been around. He's probably competed like. Every year, of, we're in yeah. year seven. How many, how many top top thirty two plays? Forty three. Yeah, 43. there you go. That's a lot. 
But wait, this That's is year of... seven of Rahal Esports? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? What the heck? I know. That the same thing happened to me yesterday. Duke said that. He was like, yeah, this seven? is our seventh year. I'm like, what? Dude, Rahal, Rahal Esports can like buy alcohol in Europe. <laughs> Or something. I don't know. Dude, don't, Pretty soon, don't yeah. Come, yeah. Don't come to me for facts, okay? <laughs> I ate rocks as a kid. <laughs> and, but and Pokemon tokens. <laughs> and po whatever they were. <laughs> whatever you call them. No, but, uh, yeah, Viper, legendary, right? Uh, he competed. He, he, he won a few of the European lands. Uh, used to be considered the greatest blasters in all of Europe. And I mm. feel like it's been ages since he's even played blasters. I yeah. wonder what he's he going to be picking could be. in this I tournament mean, right now. You probably see Blasters he played. Lucian. played. He was like the craziest Lucian, and I loved it. Yeah. Um, but I, I would be super excited to see him play Ragnar or Lucian. Yes. If he played either one of those, Ragnar that's, would that's be nostalgia for. for me. That would be like, yeah, that would be old school Viper. Because I know Viper from having like the most savage axe down airs off stage. Just like, I'll hit you with six down airs without jumping and just like take your stock <laughs> that way. That is what I think of when I think Which of Viper. Which is harder than it looks. Like, yeah. you just do not connect that way. It's, it's hard, It's so guys. easy to whiff one, and then you're in a really bad spot. Axe is hard. When Bota you... said it. Uh-uh. So comment what you Don't will, but Axe is hard. <laughs> we heard Ax it here. Look, well, the, just the those chain down airs are just, it's harder than yeah. it seems. And every, to, to land these attacks, not just on any fool, to, uh, on, on players of this caliber, that's what makes it so special. That, that, that is all the difference, right? Yeah, you see some of these things happen, and you're like, I can do that. And it's like, well, yeah, you can land that yeah, on. Yeah, against some nerd <laughs> in <laughs> but, silver. But against these guys, every hit is hard. And it's it's crazy, man, when you're competing with these top-level players, uh it is just, it, it's so hard just to hit them, you yeah. know? Like, I, I I personally know what it feels like, uh, even just recently, right? Like, I I compete, I play ranked, right? I, I'm a diamond, no problem. But those people that I'm fighting, it's nothing compared to, like, then I did some crew battles with Luna and Sandstorm. Yeah. And, of course, we're only fighting against other pros because they're, like, crazy high rated. And... I can barely land a hit. They're so good. Like, it's so hard. Uh, just the caliber of these players is really off the charts. Yeah, and every year it gets it goes up and up That's and up. That's true. Like, it, it, the average, we have everybody not, gets better over time. And yeah. it's it's to the point now where, like, it blows my mind. We have yet uh, to see Peak for Hall, but maybe it happens here in this set. We're going into game one, and we I see a Wushang, and I'm already excited. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, Steven's going to be biased towards Spyrox oh, here. Spyrox? Uh, which is fair. I remember Spyrox has Viper a dirty gauntlet. locking in with Baraza was this was not what I expected. But he's on Blasters. <laughs> yeah. The old school Blasters, Blasters king of Europe is now back. I think this is good. I and he's got the play. axe from his Ragnar. So, yeah, this is this is cool. He, he, made, he took the Lucian Blasters and he took the, the Ragnar Katars. He has the and, Cody uh, Travis Metadev skin. And he <laughs> a champion caliber skin, literally. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, everybody's in red. A lot of damage flying around both sides. Which team will net the first KO? Ooh, I don't know. And didn't Coco used to play a Surrey? Woo! Oh! Woo! All right. Oh yeah! That's harder to do with a Surrey because it was tiny little Qatar hitbox. When you yeah. got that big <laughs> axe hitbox, you can set up these funky fresh weapon throw plays that's like that. Yeah, clearly that's that true. That was sick, dude. The can't, weapon can't throw. Can't argue that. We can't argue with the results. Okay, already a it nice. So damaged. Okay, yeah. there goes Spyrox. Coco can't be too far behind. So damaged, but before he goes, he's gonna dish out tons of damage with this dude, land. He is Holy Macho cow. Man. Look at him go. That is so nice macho. follow up. He keep both target swapping. I can't. Everybody gets damaged. Oh my gosh, he's already. Even if he just got knocked out now, he's already done. Oh my, he's done so much with this stock. He's dude. still popping off. Coco is something else. What in the world? They're going to get another KO. Okay, okay no, no, finally. No, no. Not yet. It was his time, dude. It yeah, was, yeah. That was enough is enough. Oh, but they did enough damage to set up an easy layup for Spyrox. A side stick to take out a and stock. A and another one. one. Oh, my goodness. Holy moly. He's going to have to change his name to KO, 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 KO. KO, KO. Not enough KOs if in his name yet. If you put a D at the end, KO, KO, it would, it would make a lot of sense now. Yeah, the potential is or huge for his name and for his position in this tournament. Wait, okay, so I'm, good. I'm starting to fall in love with Coco's Lance here, which is yeah. saying a lot. Because Boda hates Lance. I, yeah, I mean, that's every day he comes in the office and he's like, "Are we deleting this thing yet?" <laughs> 
Not today. Well, not with, I mean, Coco keeps playing like this. Yeah, now Coco's making it look cool. Yeah, now that, now that Coco's making it look cool, suddenly I like it. Okay, wow, and look at this. They are primed and ready to win game one. Both Viper and Sol Solar Sun are heavily damaged on their final stocks. It's Here like Co a, Oh, Coco was set up for that punish, but missed. Almost. Viper lucky to make it out of there without getting slammed by Coco's Lance. Yeah, I would say almost an insurmountable lead. Um, basically. Yeah, almost certainly. There goes one. And Viper's either going to pull off the craziest, clutchiest Oop, ultimate dodge, had to dodge it. Coco's just crazy. Oh my gosh, too wow, crazy. Coco is Fast crazy. and loose. He's off stage, unarmed against uh, Viper's blasters. Viper's, not Viper's not giving up, despite the huge Oop, deficit. Okay. Oh, man, and the okay. weapon throw just for spite. Love it. Look GG. at that. Look at Coco's damage. Come oh my on, gosh. come on. And that was like a quick game too. It wasn't like that's, drawn out. He yeah, just, that's he just like twice hit. as much as anybody else. Oh, look at this. And then boom, boom, Spyrox. Sorry you had to watch that so close, but fell my feet. Oh, I love hearing the KO with, <laughs> with <the> slow mo. <laughs> oh yeah. Kray, oh. Oh, thought we were gonna get slow one more down, there. Slow it down, I guess. Whatever it does, slow it down. Slow, slow it down. down. <laughs> Is that slow mo? Wow. Man, Coco popped off in that last match. Oh, we're getting oh, yeah, it. Yeah, we're getting it. Yeah. Let's ask him, you shall receive. Oh, <laughs> even that sounded cool. Oh, here we go. That's too slow. Oh, That's too well. slow. That's actually too slow. Bro, I like it that sl <laughs> slower next time. Whatever our slow mo budget is, double it. <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> I don't think it gets any slower than that. I think we can go slower. <laughs> All right, going All right. into game two. Yeah, and so we need, has yeah. swapped up the legend here. Is this a swap we like? Locking you know, people. Jello. You know, people poo-poo on the idea of playing a three defense legend in two v two. And you know what I have to say to that? I agree. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't agree. Well, I don't it's agree. It's just that we've seen it work plenty You've seen of it times. Work. Yeah, yeah, of course, it can work. Because also you're playing a glass cannon. I mean, uh, I mean Jala's I'm got not some... about to play a three defense legend. In well, no, but we're but, chickens. But I, but I respect. We're it. little babies. We don't <laughs> have the courage <laughs> to do such a thing. But Solar Sun. He might have what it takes. Okay, off stage. No, Spyrox fights his way up. Was looking to maybe get that stock off of Viper. Viper trying to just burn this corner. Wait, oh my gosh, crazy option. Uses the gravity cancel. Spyrox is looking to capitalize. Viper barely makes it back around. Grabs his axe. Now fighting back up on top. Everybody heavily damaged. Stocks can fly either Woo. direction. Nice dodge by Spyrox. He dodged that. Woo. It's two swings in that signature. He still spot dodged it. Okay, well, oh, Solar's oh, still alive. What a he started up. with the dodge early, now he's got no dodge. What? What an X recovery! I can't, a double KO from oh a single my gosh. X recovery! That is beautiful! And he, like, disjointed their, like, when they got knocked out. Could have given them a chance there for a little bit of advantage, but didn't take a uh, full. That was, that was Rockstar. Okay, Solarson, that's not going to be enough, but he's hanging on by a thread of this first stock. And Spyrox, side oh, air. Oh, nice, Coco. What a man. And here comes Spyrox for the assist. Finish him off. Alley -oop. Wait, can he have Yeah, dodge. Just barely enough to make yeah, it back to the other side. That was Viper. Very efficient recovery. But Viper's Viper. almost been KO'd on his second Holy stock. Holy cow. Uh -oh. Coco and Spyrox are like a whole new level. This is. This is far beyond what we've ever seen from these guys. They must have been training in the offseason. They've been hitting the gym. Dude, there's something about... Oh, Solar Sin! Oh, okay, okay, hold wait on, a second. Though. That hold was... On. Solar Sin oh. popped off with that's that That's making one. my acid reflux kick up a little bit. Uh, that was yeah, a little oh boy, I hope spicy you're right. there. Give me some Tums over here. Give me some Pepto. All right. Viper, though, so heavily damaged. But KO, KO, also heavily damaged on that second stock. This could be the chance that uh, Viper and Solarson need to get a win in this set. Okay, no, Viper goes down to his final stock. Game's perfectly even now. Oh, Downlight catches wow. the full <laughs> blue yeah. team. That's a beautiful Downlight when you can do that. It's a home run. Okay, Solarson's still fine coming back to the stage, but during this time, Viper's got to fight a difficult 1v2. That's, it's, dude, he, he took a lot of damage from that as well, and he's on his final stock. That's no good. Look how damaged Coco is. That health bar does he not doesn't get, care. It doesn't get much darker. He's running than that. in. Weapon throw. No, oh, he doesn't. Do no, oh, come on, bro. That was sick. Oh my god. That was so Coco's sick. Coco's insane. Dude. Coco is a freak, dude. Is this a level 100 Macho Man? Have we seen this? This is crazy. That was awesome. Look at Solarson does like. I think mentally, Solarson hasn't recovered from having to watch him do that <laughs> to his teammate. 
Yeah, okay, wait dramatic. a second. Whoa, wait, perfectly even. In, in, the in the blink of an eye, it's even now. Solar He's recovered. Solar's is Mental regained. My bad. Okay, but even Coco, game. Coco surely is still powered up by that excellent play. Maybe, I don't know. I don't he, know. Maybe he used up all the rest of his power. Like, his meter's empty now. <laughs> yeah, his V-trigger. It's gone. <laughs> hey, nice Street Fighter reference. Eh, you know me. Maybe it's like maybe you worked on a Street Fighter thing that's made you more familiar with the game. Ah, what can I say? <laughs> oh, wait. Coco, though. Oh, no! Whoa, One more time! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! Tricky Ricky over Do it there. to him, please. For the highlight reel. I know you're trying to win, Coco, but also this do that close. thing you do. One more time. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, yes. So this one's got a good chance. One of these signatures. And he's got Coco's weapons. Coco still without a weapon. Knocked out the side just in time for the weapon to spawn. And Ooh. Solar said to steal it from him. He's sticking with the sword. He wants that guaranteed. Oh, my goodness. Coco. What's he going to oh, do? No. How does he, he do this? He can't get around this corner. can't get around the corner. And Ooh, that's nice. it. Solar said, even after such a brutally awesome highlight, from Coco, Solar's did still Look managed the damage. to keep it together, and wow. Oh, yeah. we didn't pause on that screen for long enough, but Coco got all, or uh, sorry, Solarson got all six knockouts for Red Team and did 866 he did damage. Nearly four times the amount of damage of his teammate. Nearly four times. Yeah, if you're getting close to like 900 or the fabled Cody Travis 1001 damage <laughs> in a yeah, 2v2 that'll, match. That'll never happen again. That'll that's <laughs> like insane, insane. Dude, I want to see, I want to see Coco's highlight. Did we, did we miss it? Was I? Oh, well, damn. you have to wait till the Monday esports dev stream. Yeah, hopefully they show it on the Monday esports dev stream. I have like a montage of Coco doing that to all kinds of people. <laughs> all right, but here we are in game three. The set is tied up 1-1. Anything can happen truly now. We've seen some spice come out from both teams. But who has the fortitude to go the distance? Oh, Solarson. Honestly, kind of popping off, playing on another level. But Spyrox, yeah, wait a second. You look at Spyrox's health, and it's like, oh, Why did he? dude, that's a <laughs> real, that's such a classic Wu Shang play. But it was yeah. like, it worked out differently than usual. Oh, yeah. he almost did it again. <laughs> he's he's crazy. Wait a second, double he's a really potential? advanced Wu Shang. All right, Solarson may be in trouble. Has well. to oh, I like that. He went for the. He's still swinging. Oh, that air, was Viper. good. Spyrox still alive, though. Can he make it back here? Yes, with the help of Coco defending. Spyrox is able to make it back. Bounce way up into the sky. All right. oh, we, a stock has to be taken soon. Look at this. Good, it's, that, this is a powder that, keg of a match right now. Everyone is so heavily damaged. Oh Anything can happen. Yeah. Okay. A weapon throw Just does a weapon, it, dude. A weapon throw while he was on stage still. The weapon throw. Not only him. that, but it was like a bamboo spear. It was like a lightweight, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a paperweight of a spear. Oh, Viper tries to finish off Coco with, oh my gosh, Coco! Okay, he died for it, but that was still pretty slick. He, he avoided Viper's, like, several attempts at a, at a, at a, at a KO edge guard, and then, and then turned it around, too, into his own knockout. That's awesome. Oh, Ooh, no! Whoa, wow, man, Viper, yeah. Viper's down early. You land that reed that high up in the air, you can get an early stock like that, and that is big for Coco and Spyrox. Dude, it hasn't even been two minutes. And Viper's on his last stock. Solos is whoa. not far behind. Coco this is crazy, This is a dude. high octane match. I'm impressed by Coco's misses. Like, when he, there's some things that he's attempting that I'm like, once you hit whoa. that. Oh, what? Oh, my God. No what way. A, that was so sick. Oh, Spyrox. Yeah. Couple of ground pounds. Wait, he needs one more actually. Okay, there he goes. Finally gets the stock, but Viper's still holding on to this second stock somehow. Or no, wait, it's his no, last that's stock. His what last am I? Stock. I he, got, he got gift off the top like super nasty. I need really glasses. Early on. I need Tums. I need a doctor. You need a doctor. <laughs> Something to help me what out. What happened here. to you? Steven? What happened to me, dude? Dude, did you watch the tournament? Doc? I watched too many. Did you watch the tournament? Doc? I watched too much Brawlhalla. And then my eyes stopped oh, working. Oh, he did okay. just below the ledge. Now wait, and this, the is, this is their way to come back right here. Big That's team huge. combo. That's huge. I can't believe they're still in this. It's going to come down to Viper, like, not getting knocked out. He has to just somehow avoid. Yeah, he can't get hit. Oh, my gosh. Wow, he really tested fate there off of the edge. Dodges his way through whoa, that ground pound. Oh, Viper's in trouble. Off the side. Solar's in. Oh. Uh oh, yep. Nice down here to clean it up. Now it's 2v1. Spyrox and Coco, Solarson, can he make this 1v2 comeback? 
Wait a second. That's the way to do it. Pick him up with a just both of them. Yeah. <laughs> down line recovery. Get, you can't get punished if you hit both Hold of them. Hold on. Dude, send this Solution? one this way. Send this oh. one that Oh, man. He had the opportunity there, too. I think the uh, exhausted recovery, like the difference in distance, threw him off a little bit. He, mm. was, he, was, he was spacing out for the full recovery, and Coco surprised him with the... Oh, oh. man. Wow, that was a close one. That was a good game. Yeah, okay. And that just not, that's not even over yet. Game. Nope, it's two to one now. Oh, here's in favor the slow-mo. Coco and Spyrox. Is this slower than ever? Boom. Boom Super. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. I love that. That was awesome. Thank you, production. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's great. Oh. Yeah, we don't need to see. We know, we yeah, know how that yeah, turns yeah, out. Yeah. We know how that goes. <laughs> we all know the end of that story. Ooh, all right. Man. So now up 2-1 in the set. Spyrox and Coco on uh, Matt's point here. Can they yeah, do it? Just one more will send them into uh, – it'll be a guaranteed fifth place if they can make it past this round. We're on the lower side of the bracket this, here, right? Yeah, we're on the lower side. Okay. Whoever loses this is out of the tournament. Yep. Goodbye. Send you home. Say it'll, hi to your mom. Be, it'll be in seventh place. Whew. Okay, game All right, four. Stage banning's happening. Let's yeah. take a look. What? Okay, Viper. He's getting rid of platforms. He doesn't like the plat. Wait, no. And he also got rid of ship. He just doesn't. He's just getting rid of ma maps he doesn't like. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> as you might expect. That's that's what it's there for. Yeah, that's the <laughs> yes, design. Yep. Well, and we're going to Mammoth Fortress. Okay. Again, no it. Johns here. You can't have Johns in Mammoth Fortress. It's just impossible. Two spirit whales. Yeah, you know Spyrox when I when when you're in rank and you see a team come in with the same mount, you know that they're you know <laughs> the synergy is off the charts. Yeah, yeah, These yeah. That means something up. to me. But will it be enough? Ooh, going for an early off the top of the stage, Gimp Viper with that recovery, not damaged enough, but I like the attempt. Oh, nice! nice. Batted back and forth yeah, between Viper Solarson. and Spy Solarson. Solison got the nice alley oop there. He's always available for the team combo. He's, he's got one eye, one eye on his teammate, one eye on his opponent, and another eye on his other opponent. He's got three eyes, obviously. Dude, Spyrox is so damaged. How did he survive that? He's so damaged. Oh. oh yeah, that'll. that'll he tried to get a little out. cute with like, uh, uh, pump fake, huh? Where I'm coming. <laughs> and Viper's was like, yeah, I think a down here. air might actually be <laughs> the answer to this equation. Cleaning up the stock, but dead even game. Five stocks apiece, both with a member deep in the red on their first stock. Who's gonna get the advantage? Because this could set up for that power play where you get a little bit of time to yourselves, two v one. Whoever gets this uh, damage stock, Viper might be the one to go. Solarson. Oh, he wasn't there to tank that hit. But wait. Oh, why would he? What was that about? Wait. <laughs> what? He's getting tricky. I, that was. He's he almost trying, tricked out Viper, dude. Out. He was like putting all kinds of crazy weapon throws in Viper's face for what I thought was no reason. But well, maybe, I'm the, not maybe sure. there was a reason. I mean, yeah. sometimes just a, I'd little, love to know a little flash is just worth it, right? It's like. <laughs> maybe. It's like in basketball, you don't always need to put it through your. Like, there's. There's sometimes a good reason to put it through your legs, but sometimes it's just about. That was more like throwing the basketball like in your teammate's face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it, I would call that There's not a dribbling <laughs> trick or something. But. Okay. That's a more <laughs> Okay. Well, you know, here we are all tied up again. And it's all tied up. Maybe that was the reason. Each team with a member on their last stock. So it could go either direction, but KO, KO, or Coco and Spyrox need this move on in the tournament. Okay, Coco, heavily damaged. Very and Spyrox damaged. actually one to look at here. That's Whoa. right, yeah, Spyrox could, at this rate, Spyrox could go down before Coco does. It's gonna be a really difficult 1v2 if that's the case. A Little bit of friendly fire helps the situation for him. Oh, oh, that's such a good call. Oh, but he, yeah. Okay, he he's, still, he's still alive. Coco still got two stocks. Oh my goodness. Coco popping off so hard. Lands the KO on Solarson. Now it's just Viper remaining. This really looked like it was going to be Coco and Spyrox going down, but there's the follow up. Nicely done. Coco can't make it back, but here comes the finish on the Viper. Ooh, Game man. over. 
Okay. Coco and Spyrox win the set. Wow, this is okay. I like this team. This is a powerful team. Yeah. That was a good set. And well fought by Viper and Solar Sim, but man. Especially in game one, Coco was like a, a firecracker, just so explosive. Oh, yeah. I mean, that really set the tone for how Coco was going to perform through the rest of this game. Uh, and, and he really delivered on what he set up there. That was amazing. Coco popped off the whole time. I mean, every I think every game, even the one they lost, he was the top damage. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing a little. I'm taking a little bit of liberty with that. But I think you <laughs> might be right. But honestly, I mean, the I'm willing to lie insane. and say you were right. Dude. Yeah, definitely right. Don't definitely look at the numbers. Right. Just Don't. believe it. Don't look at the numbers. But seriously, Coco's damage was like insanely high in every game. That's that's a true fact. Yeah, definitely made him a huge asset for the team, and they are moving on now. And they're moving on, and they're already in top six now. It's a guaranteed fifth place position. They'll have another match uh, coming up that we'll watch. But before that, our next match is Swada and TM versus Sarme and Hyson. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Swada and TM. We watched them earlier in uh, yes. the top. In the, in the top side of the bracket. They lost their match. Mm -hmm. It was a good game. Uh, they're clearly formidable opponents here. But Sarme and Heisen, also, that was awesome. So what? Are, how's it going to work? What are they going to do? Win. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's what they're <laughs> thinking. You know what I mean? You don't need much more strategy than that. No, I'm not sure. I, 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 I feel like... Uh, we didn't really get to see SWAT and TM pop off the way we have previously. Yeah, yeah, like they're capable of more than what we just saw there. Yeah, I think they're kind of like momentum players where they need like something, they need to get something big early to get that confidence boost, but as soon as they get confidence, as soon as they get that clean air running through the engine, it's just like they start to take off and pull away from the pack. And that's kind of what I was thinking about uh, about Sarme and Heisen as well. Uh, mm -hmm. They're a new team. They don't, they, they, they can't possibly have they can't possibly be at their full synergy potential yet, right? Right. Like you just can't. That's just scientifically impossible. The science doesn't. Yeah, we did the math back, back there. Up. Yeah. We've got beakers. But, but but it seems like they keep getting better at it. Obviously, they're already in top six, so like whatever, they're good enough. It's a, they're they're amazing. Um, but are they good enough to take out Swada and TM? Right? Swada and TM been playing together longer. Swada's hot off his world championship victory last year. Um, I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah, this is going to be a close set, I think. What? No. Is that pick Swat real? Is, Come playing, on, he's please. Playing with us. He saw that the TV was on the camera there. He's playing I, with us. I think it would be funny. That oh, be or cool. or I'm ready for a spicy Reno, actually. We don't. We haven't seen a ton of Reno in esports at all. Your ass and reflex going to be okay? With, Ooh, with, with not the if there's two. Pick? We a double Reno keep it to one. Much, that would be too, too much. much. We're going to need That would be crazy. Why would they tease me like this, though? Because I want to see it. Oh, they, they, no. they're listening. You guys got to stop watching the show. You got to focus yeah, yeah, on the game. <laughs> what the heck? Look at it. Hey, new Reno I, appears. I, I, I wouldn't be mad about a about a, 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 a Reno? Reno match. Oh, my gosh, dude. The bug bullets would be everywhere flying <laughs> around. They would be a swarm. It'd be like the plague. That's 16 blasters on the screen. That's, oh that's my crazy. Gosh. Yeah, that's too many. We can't have that. That, that shouldn't be allowed. All right. Looks like we're... We're swapping out the positions yeah, yeah, yeah. so that gotta, all our fancy graphic stuff will work correctly, which we appreciate. Okay, no, no, no. They're on the real picks now. SWAT and TM have to lock in their legends first. They're going <coughs> Back with, to Bode Bar. Uh, Maybe that was the problem because SWAT was playing uh, Koji in the last set we saw, and we saw how that went, and now they're in the lower bracket, and then boom. The Bode Bar makes back another appearance. Bar. Back, back to Bode Bar. Back to the, uh, the, the BCX so he started, champion he started Bode Bar. He started on Bode Bar in yeah. the last one. Oh, did he? Uh, and then gave up on it pretty quickly, oh. which which I felt like, come on. You know? Yeah, come like, on. Come on. It's, it's probably. Stick to your guns. It'll be, uh, yeah. And by guns, we mean sword and hammer. <laughs> right, yeah. Not actually the guns. Whoa, Heisen? Teasing a Zol pick, maybe? I don't know if I've seen What's a Heisen gonna go a Heisen with? Zol. We've seen Heisen We're play wait, plenty we of are, We are waiting with faded breath to see what Heisen's going to pick. Maybe he's just picking his skin. That's what. Maybe he's that just picking his nose. Time. We don't even know here in the booth. <laughs> picking, okay, he could picking be his picking, his skin, his nose. picking his nose, <laughs> picking his blasters, picking his yeah, side who knows. Well, the thing is, you do have to have a fresh look. Like you gotta make sure it's all you know, 
a bespoke look, you know? It's yeah. got to be tailored to your own personal oh, likes. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. F funky Fresh. This is a nice loadout oh, here. And Mirage, see? very unexpected pick. Mirage is a high potential legend, I feel like. We haven't really seen Mirage pop off in tournaments as much uh, to, to full potential. Yeah. And we did early on. I mean, back in 2018, Mirage dude, was the being 20, used in tournaments Dude, are you lot. kidding me? The 2019 uh, final round, Boomy Sandstorm, Double Scythe. Like, yeah. Absolutely dumpstering every other team <laughs> in that tournament. We have we saw some of the potential. Oh, Double Scythe. Actually, they're going with it. Sarme they're doing, they're swapped out of Mordex. The Mordex. So you know what this reminds me of is uh, Sandstorm and Ethan in yeah, the World Championship of true. 2018. That's what that reminds me of. Yeah, Double Scythe has a huge they potential. They already out those combos. They could go back and watch those old vibes. <laughs> and, and, and they got all the combos. It was awesome because you can use the Scythe downlight to start the combo yeah. reversed. Yeah, and you don't have to You don't, Yeah, you don't have to have the opponent necessarily in between side. you. Right. You have the option there. We'll see if they can put it to full effect here in game one on Mammoth Fortress. I like this. See how Swata was just there to make sure TM got the weapon, stopped uh, Sarme from grabbing it. But now he's left weaponless. All right, everybody armed up into the fight. All right, we are in top six, ladies and gentlemen. This is a lower bracket match, which means it's an elimination match, which means whoever loses this game is out of the tournament fifth place. Let's see what happens. Ooh, Heisen already going for killing blows. That side signature could be brutal. Yeah, and Swata is almost ready to be KO'd just on damage. Uh-oh, low on the stage. Can he make it back? He's got a werewolf to get through, and he can't make wow. it past. Nicely done by Sarme. Yeah, Sarme just had to, he's like, I'll just stick it out. I know I can find my spot for this ground pound. Claims the stock and gets an early lead. Oh, Ooh. wait a second, though. Oh. Heisen goes down. Actually Tied up now. With that. Wait, Chainsaw, I got to believe in it. No. Wow. wow. Okay, Ooh, what the heck? Down wait, down thing. That's did he, a brutal wait, he grabbed combo. canceled that? Just like no. a millimeter off the oh, stage? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I was going to say. A, I saw faster, some ice. I saw the Bifrost. Than, uh, going down and, and down singing off the ground. Oh, nice side light by Sarme to claim the stock. Wait, why'd he go so low? Oh, because he's uh, crazy. He, he makes it back anyway. He was considering saving his teammate, and now he's paying the price. Oh, my oh, gosh. Dude, Sarme. What? I forgot what Legend Sarme nope. was playing before. And it, like, I, I mean, I don't care what it was. This I, is the pick now. Dude, Sarme is Stick with the sight. Sarme's sight is nuts. with this Mordex. There we go. Finally, someone put him out of our misery here. Okay. On to his second stock. But Swat is already on his final one. Yikes. Game one, looking really yeah, good for good. Solar so or uh, Sarme and uh, Heisen. Yeah, really good. I mean, wow. Sarme went from like always being the the lowest stock count player in the game to being the tank now, holding on to these stocks. Nice down sig. That's the and that's like maybe one of the most unique things about Mirage is is the two downs, like both weapons, they work kind of in a similar way where it's just quick and very short range surrounding the user. Uh, he made really good use of that for the killing blow. Oh, okay, nice. Rocket Lance ground pound, claims another stock. Stocks are okay, even now, yeah, okay? Stocks are even, and don't look Swata, at the damage. Swata's got to be careful. Pretend no, I'm like, too late. I'm looking at the damage. Don't look at the damage. Swata's in trouble. We got to watch Swata. He's either going to no. make awesome plays or or lose. Oh, every time you say that, then he immediately gets knocked out. Wait, don't jump into that. Okay, good. See? I'm helping him. He didn't jump <laughs> into it. Oh, was looking for the weapon throw for something cheeky off of the edge. Now weaponless, going unarmed against Heist's sight. Oh, gets picked up by the down spear. Ooh. Oh, no. Spike oh, pit. it's up to Swata now. He could do this. This would be this a pretty champ. crazy 1v2. He's the champ. He is the 1v1 champion, but is he the 1v2 champion? Mm, yeah, we mm. don't have a category for that. Ah! Oh! Yeah. Too bad. That All right. Well, cool. just game one, but it goes the way of Sarme and Heisen. Dude, Sarme was popping off that whole. I barely, you know what? Not to say that Heisen wasn't doing anything, but for whatever reason, Sarme was always catching my eye. Like right there, first stock claimed. Boom. And he just, okay, this offstage engagement here. Tyson, they're working on this stock. Boom, Sarmay's like, I got you, bro. Blam, I'll take that stock. Did he get another one on that same engagement? I'm not even sure, but Sarmay's Mordex was doing the work in game one. Let's see if he can continue in game two. But hopefully Swada and TM can make some adjustments and make a comeback in this set. I think so. 
Uh -oh. oh, a little bit of oh. friendly fire. Good. Whoopsie. Oh. Whoopsie. What? Okay. what are they doing? Hold on. Whoops. What's going on Whoops. out here? <laughs> it's just a little like it's like it's when you like pretend to be crazy so people don't mess with you. You're like, I'll hit my own teammate. <laughs> We're <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> We're crazy. Sarmay super damaged here. They both play. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. Get, I lo I'd love to see a Mordex get punished for that though. To be honest. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, what a Swada, dude! Swada! Dude, that, that was, was a, so sick! Dude, that was a, like a build a bear style build your own combo. He just like yeah, made it work. No one has ever fly. seen that combo before. That was sick, okay. Now with the slight lead, Swada, the healthiest man on the field. This is the this is the game I like to see. Give him some advantage. This is what I said. They need momentum. Okay. Oh, Ooh. TM was looking for the follow-up on the ground. The sidelight didn't do it. Weapon throw comes into play. Sarve. Getting a lot of damage, dealt to a second stock. Finally claims the first one from TM. Swada, the only man left with three stocks. No, wait, Heisen nice. still has three. Wait, what? What a team combo, man. He got, Heisen got yes. punished for it. What did I say? What? What did I tell you earlier? You got to always fully charge the chainsaw. <laughs> I said that. I'm a genius. You have said that many times. Actually. I've said that yeah, many times. In rank, I'll, I'll dude. <laughs> you know, not on stream. I said all the time. Heisen, stop. Bro, chill. <laughs> Ice and no, oh. it was enough, dude. He brought him far enough away from the stage. He could dodge horizontally into the wall, but oh. it was just barely not enough. Had dude. he dodged upward diagonally, oh. he would have made it back. But Man. he was worried about getting edge guarded. And Swana too was like he was edging out everybody as far as uh, damage and whatnot. But now, relegated to his final stock. That was insane. This double scythe combo has really been working out for yeah. him. Yeah. Oh man, look how even the stocks and damage is right now. It's anybody's game. And the fact that both teams have what? a player who's at one stock near death. This is. This could go anyway. Oh, whoa, what the sandwich? What in the, whoa, 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 Holy, whoa, whoa, hey. whoa. That's a okay, wait, hold on. I got to count. <laughs> okay, it looks like DM has one stock left. <laughs> and that is it. That's but wait, math. it's a healthy stock because he can get, uh, he can he get could, Sarmay yeah. right. He, he no, Sarmay's out. crazy, dude. Sarmay's actually going to end it right here. Wait, wait a second, he, double no, edge guard. Oh, what an effective double edge guard coming out from Heisen and Sarmay. Game two again going their way. This team is on a whole nother level now. Popping off. Oh, but Swada, highlight reel, love to see it. That Grab to cancel awesome. side light and what recovery. What a crazy combo that was. Man, like a ravenous wolf, Sarme, with that scythe has just been popping off Look at of this big combo. combo. With oh. the neutral sig to finish it. Oh, that's beautiful. And, and TM, TM got the punish in. That's the best he could have done at that point. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. He saved face a little bit, but not enough to change the outcome. Dude, I love this team comp. Mordex Mirage. That's the play, dude. Heisen and Sarme. I hope they stick with it. So I'm, have, I'm, I'm loving it. I would really question them if they're up 2 0 in a set and they're like, let's change your legends. It's like, dude, just quit being goofy. <laughs> just go. Yeah. Just yeah, hit, just the <laughs> hit the gas. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to, like, dumpster a team. Just, like, go for it. Raise the points. Whatever. I love that uh, it's not on screen anymore. I wish it was, but the the, the meditation emo oh, that yeah. he is using with the rocks and stuff reminds me of the uh, five year anniversary. Oh yeah, that's uh, a that's an S tier one if you ha if you're a Wu Shang main. Yeah, you if you're a Wu Shang main. Yeah, if you if you if you've watched that that animation, that's a good one. But it's also, I mean, it's just an awesome one regardless. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. Uh, game double combo. three, is it? I've, yeah, it's, it's only yeah. game three. Heisen and Sarme are up by two. TM and Swada are in trouble. Backs against the wall. They have to win three games in a row or they're going Ooh, home. Ooh, Tokyo drifted that ground pound off the side <laughs> of the stage. Whoa, Sarme! Sarme! Ooh, no whoa, way. Hey, okay. You know what? Sarme was kind of asking for it. With he was that. asking that was, for it. Whoa, and TM oh, delivers, no. baby. Holy That's right. Two stocks cow. taken so quickly off on the edge. That's TM. really quick. Less than 30 seconds and two stocks have been taken from this team. Ah, okay. And TM's barely even hurt. This is huge. What a huge lead. Let's see if uh, Heisen and Sarme can bring it back here because that was rough. Yeah, they've got, they've dealt quite a bit of damage. It's like Swata could be taken out with this edge guard here off the wall. Dribble combo. Sarme closes it out. Okay, now with a chance. Team combo, what a catch! And the weapon throw to oh! do it, TM as well! Oh boy, that is some good team play there from Sarme and Heisen, but is it going to be enough? They've got. Heisen's heavily damaged on his second stock. He'd be the first one to go down to the final stock. But it could really go either way. We've seen some explosive plays from both teams. 
that could amount to an entire stock. Both Ooh. of them get caught up in that same combo. Swato Big deal. Wait, oh, he believed. You know what? Maybe there's sometimes where you don't go for the full Sorry, charge. Sorry, might be in trouble off. here. No, no problem, no problem. Took some damage, lost the weapon, but still alive. Oh no, Heisen's down. Sarmay's going deep. Oh, we gotta be careful. TCTM just getting ready for it. Oh, oh he, how did that? He knew. How did he know? He loaded. How did he? That was his, that was it, his opponent that sent it to him. Like <laughs> that at, was. <laughs> at first, I was like wrong way, and then he was like, Nah, dude, I know more he, than yeah, you. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, I know what I'm doing here. That's no, that mom. was so crazy. Okay, Swada hanging on to his second stock somehow, but that could be plucked from him quickly. They're they're looking for it, and even TM's gonna help out in the cause. Okay. The way you said wrong way there reminds me of the Diddy Kong Racing announcer and how they say wrong way. Did I you never mean to played, do that? I never played Diddy Kong Racing. Oh my god. That's the only one I didn't play. It's a good thing you don't have social media because you'd be getting roasted right now. I never had a game to <laughs> Oh my god, you'd be getting roasted right I now. I was too busy eating Pokemon rocks. <laughs> Oh, wait, but somehow, dude, we were joking around too much. Now we're on to the final stocks. TM is heavily damaged. Sarvey's getting heavily damaged. Just Swan is the healthiest person on the Sarvey field. This is game to lose here, man. They're up by two. If they win this, they're moving on. Oh, no. The Can TM make it back? Oh, what? what's Whoa, going on what on the stage? Combo. There's so much dust they're flying. Off. Oh, man, that was explosive. Everybody took so much damage, except yeah. for Swata. Swata is a healthy Everyone's man. Everyone's on their last side. Oh, there goes Sarme. Okay. It's a, I mean, yes. no, 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 the yes. other way. Wow. Yes, Ooh. I the believe. The set continues. TM Let's go. and Swata clutching it at the last second. We they deserve this. To win that. We deserve this. We deserve this. We work this. hard. Yeah. We want game fives. We want content, OK? That's all <laughs> I care about. I just want content, dude. Look at that. That was such a slick combo. Oh. Okay, let's look at the data here. Let's see if we can divine from these tea leaves what's going to happen next. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have uh, any tea leaves. I mean, it if looks I like did, I'd be able to tell you. TM's, Trust me. TM's killing it in unarmed damage far beyond everybody else, but I don't know if that matters. Okay, going into game four, TM and SWATA need this to push us to game five. We want this for the content. Going to the apocalypse. Yeah. What is going to happen? I gotta say, I'm loving the, uh, I'm loving this team comp. It's so, it's so spicy. Oh, it's so wow. look at the spice Woo! already dude, started, okay, dude. Okay, okay, that stuff I was talking about with like, oh, Heisen and, and Sarme's synergy hasn't reached full potential. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it has actually. Ooh, I like the way uh, Sarme went down low to try to, to, to sneak that recovery in, but. Swat is able to weave around it. Everybody's still alive on their first stocks, but Sarbe in uh -oh. trouble against Swat. He needs some help from what? He needs some no. help from Sarbe. TM! Oh. No, you gotta. Yes! He, wow. he makes himself available to get hit. Swat gets a chase dodge, prefer, preserves the stock. If Swat. Oh, Ooh. I was about to say. If Swat that gets, turned out to be the best save he could have done. Yeah, if Swat got one hit, I was gonna say it made it so worth it, but it turned out to be negligible. Nice, but that's Sarbe okay. scoring a KO. And right. uh, Heisen and, and Sarme now in the lead with Heisen still holding on to his first stock. And he's got he's got some room to work with. He get hit by a couple moves, maybe maybe less yeah, now. Yeah, on a stage like this, it could be it could be that he survives. No, Swat in trouble, big oh, trouble! Oh yeah, my gosh! They got him. Holy! Okay. Wow, completely dismantled off stage. Swat now down to his final stock. And TM. Oh boy, they need some sort of like. Whew. Morale Heisen boost. finally loses his first stock. The double scythe play is just going crazy. It's so good. I love this comp. If they stay in the tournament, I want them to stick with this comp the whole time. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, caught it with the, I back, like that. the back part of that. Off the wall, dance. just to get some cool smoke trouble. trail. No, they saved TM. He saved TM. Sorry, I saved TM. OK, but. Save uh, him for later. Yeah, yeah save him for later. That was, put him in the fridge for a second there and then decided, oh, no, wait, actually, I'll just eat this. All right, it's 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 this is a big lead. This this, is, this could be it this too. Could, this could decide the set. Certainly could be it. Yeah, this might be the ticket to top four right now. Sarme and Heisen have a significant lead here, and only need the one more game to win it. Shut down. Okay, wait a second. If they can get the stock off Heisen, the the you know doors open. That's really what they need. TM maybe with a huge stock Whoa, off on the edge. He's so TM's so hurt. Doesn't have a weapon. That's why and he's he, dodging oh. a really hungry Mordex. 
yeah, that Bordex is licking his chops. Yeah. So there he goes. He will not be denied. Takes another stock. Okay. And now it's just Swata. Oh, it might be, though. It might be that Swata plays Come the on. best 1v2 Dude, stock of his life. Do you life. remember Winter Championship? I think it was last year. Swata oh. had the greatest 1v2 comeback I've ever seen. Oh, wait a oh. second. Is oh, it? No, almost, dude. If he I landed tried that, to. It yeah, would no, have energized him. Yeah, he no. would have not gotten hit by that next thing. For and, then, sure. and he would have brought it back for sure. But that's it, guys. That's it. Heisen and Sarme move on to top four with this performance. I love I love this comp. I don't yeah. know. They were they must have been they, they really held on to this to the last moment. Maybe they didn't want to show all their cards, but man, it's working and it's so fun to see. Yeah, you don't that often that down air from Swata. That I know have been it. it was that was so that was good. almost a dream. Yeah, yeah. You uh, don't often see double scythe for some reason, but man, is it potent. That was that made it look so good. Other people might be taking notes now. What Maybe we maybe trying? we'll see some more of that. Yeah, we got we got we're seeing a lot of Lance, obviously a lot of Bodvar, but uh, the double scythe still. It's not just scythe, dude. It's Mordex and Mirage. It's mm. different than just double scythe. Because yeah. like, they're still using the spear and the gauntlets really, really well, too. Too much, if you ask me. More double scythe! More double scythe! <laughs> no, I mean, they played they play immaculate 2v2 gameplay there, and they came out ahead. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see this team go further through this bracket. Okay, well, they're in top four now, so that's exciting. They're going to, whatever it is, they're going to be in the, the top echelons of combat here in this tournament. What we've got coming up next, Steven, yeah. is Godly and Simple versus Coco and Spyrox. Oh! Yeah. This is, a, this is a big one here. So, I mean, Godly and Simple coming down to the lower bracket is easily explained by the fact that they had to go up against the top seed, right? And the reason that is, and it was it was still a really good game, right? Went down to game five after yeah. they were up 2-0 against the number one seed team of Blaze and Akno. But um, Godly and Simple, simply put, their seed is lower than it should be right now yeah. because Godly's been out of official competition for so long. Right. Uh, it's it's already going to shoot up to where it needs to be because they're already. Yeah, I mean, it'll correct they're, itself they're quickly. They're in top six now, so like it's done. It's already going to fly up. Yeah. But but uh, because of this, I think just I I'm putting a lot of stock into how good these players are. I think Godly and Simple is a top tier team. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually went all the way to grand finals again to potentially meet up with Akno and Blaze. Although, hey, let's not let's not assume that Machete and Fozzy can't just take them out. We, we never know. We never know. You see, uh, hey, you we might need some convincing. Hey, we never know. <laughs> Nothing's never know. decided Come yet. On, you never know. I they didn't let me look at the script beforehand, so I couldn't ruin this. So I we don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We just don't know. Right, we'll this see. is going to be a good game. Uh, so, okay, you've seen Coco and Spyrox fight. Have I ever? You know how good Guile and Simple are. Do yeah. you think Coco and Spyrox can win this? Yes. If but I Co also if think. If Coco pops off to a similar yeah. degree as the last game, then yes. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Um, Depends. It's like. Well, we'll see, man. I mean. This this is this is gonna be a good one, regardless. I don't know if it's. I, I hope it's close. It's gonna be good. Oh, oh wow! Oh a, my! Oh, that's such oh a good no! Start. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Well, you know what? Oh, my I'd like to change. Is it too late to change my answer? <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. Wait a second, Spyrox with a gimp! Oh! oh what, what a turnaround! What a turnaround! Why did that work so good? He did that perfectly. They, they, they. Wow. Okay, that changes the tides quite a bit, actually. Now with the stock lead, these stocks are gonna fly off quickly. Coco, boom. There you go. Oh bye bye. Oh my goodness. Okay, but you yeah, know, I mean, good thing they got that nest. Oh game yeah, up the side. they would be that so like worse <laughs> for wear. They'd be dealing with six stocks, almost full health, if they didn't snipe that one off godly. But they need good. to snipe a couple more, actually. Turn this around yeah, fully. So, somehow it's still not enough. Oh my goodness! Spyrox just dropped down light cider. That's that's unfortunate. But uh, man, that was such an impressive start from Godly and Simple. I yeah, feel like we could talk about that, that was forever. So sick, and like it kind of like ended in a in a weird way because for, for most oh, of the combo they were using too. What the heck? Oh, oh my gosh! These, oh. Never mind. These guys are really good. Man. Yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, 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 I've been yeah. saying it since day one, dude. <laughs> I'm a day one simple godly stand. They're 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 this crushing their way through the bracket. This is day one simple and godly. Well, see, you could be a day one stand too, everybody. It's not too late to be a day one stand. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. <laughs>
how they've been popping off so hard against the best teams. Oh my gosh. Okay, Godly now down Simple to his last stock. Simple still hasn't stock. lost a stock. I know, and he's like, they get it's Spyrox just gave up on that edge guard. He's like, whatever, bro. <laughs> just, yeah, <laughs> just live, I guess. Uh, uh, causing me too much grief here. Okay, can Simple make it back? Please, yeah, he went, no. He went really low. Oh my gosh, to no. Avoid edge guards. And Spyrox, Spyrox goes down. down. He's Simple's, out forever. Is he gonna lose his stock? Okay, all right, justice. Someone, Simple almost some three stock form him. of justice. Simple, yeah, oh Simple did almost three stocks. Simple should just sit on a throne and let this Godly finish this. This was a crazy... That's, yeah, that wouldn't be bad. <laughs> I would be, I mean, that would be BM, but I'd like to see it. That's something, yeah, that's something you would do. <laughs> <laughs> that's something I would do. <laughs> oh, some, and KO. he has done. Folks. KO, He's definitely... yeah, hey, wait, don't need to blow up my spot. All right, <laughs> KO, or Coco, graceful exit there on his own accord, just kind of falls off the stage. And man, was that a pretty powerful statement made in game one. Even with the crazy gimp of the first stock that Spyrox got, uh, that was not enough to change that hot start and hot middle and hot finish <laughs> that Simple and Godly managed to put together. Whoops, hey Daisy, there he goes. That was, it was <laughs> like, I'm betting it all on this. <laughs> yeah, was, he didn't even, he's like, he didn't even let up. He didn't, yeah, he didn't let up. He knew it was like, it's this or it's it's nerf or nothing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they need to nerf these guys. Can we nerf Godly <laughs> That's and Simple? That's not how I meant it. But <laughs> no, we got to nerf them. It actually does work out that way, Can yeah. we patch Godly and Simple out of the game? All right, now Coco and Spyrox. Coco actually has switched his Olgrim skin. I'm going to say that might be what did it. He once was rocking the Macho Man. And now, onto like mm. the Stone Golem. You got Olgrim? a point. You've got a point. I'm not sure. I mean, the expression probably reflects his current mood more th so than the Macho Man wide grin after game one. It was a. Uh, I mean. Pounding. We've seen what Macho Man did, you know. I, I I disagree with this. Now's not the time to pull pull out Macho Man, or to pull Macho Man out. That's yeah, different. That means two different things. Tag him out of the ring. You need don't to tag him yeah, back don't in. Tag, tag him back in. But yeah, this is this is what we're talking about. This skin choice right here. Yeah, it's not. It's not all. I mean, it's it's not. It's I love that. Man. Yes, dude. <laughs> also me, dude. If I like if you also take me. if you take even like one second in the lobby, I will be spamming crosses at you. Ask my friends, dude. I'm the most egregious cross spammer in any lobby. I love that we added that emoji. That's so hilarious. Yeah, okay. that's a good one. Simple's back. Looks like they gotta get the order we right. Gotta re scramble up the lobby. We here. know how it goes. But man, what what like is there now? The momentum set in game one predicts a 3-0 sweep. You know what yeah. I mean? Just yeah. if you were to do the math, right, and you run that simulation back three times, and you're it's like, not even close. It's, it's not even close. <laughs> but, but, but we've seen crazy things yeah, in these tournaments. Yeah, that's the thing is it's not, it's not following the same course. All the same – the variables change every game, right? Except for the map. That's in the legend pick. But, <laughs> but, they, did, but though, they needed to change maybe a couple they, variables. <laughs> they changed the skin. That's one variable. Well. Let's not forget. Yeah. What, how that might change things. All right, we'll see. Okay, we're going to find out. If they don't get caught in a tornado of a team combo in the first two seconds, they've already beat the spread. So let's see. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Already doing way better than game one. So it's looking good for Coco and Spyrox here. Oh, my oh, God. Again? It was, again? I was only a couple <laughs> seconds off. Why, dude? Why? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to do it again. Oh, my. Well, there goes Coco. A, well, okay. Well, never mind. Never knockout. mind. Never mind. 19 never mind. second knockout. Whatever. The, the math is oh the math gosh. was right. Oh, my gosh. Is Damn it already? You math. Is it already a go next? Like, this is Spyrox about to be oh. dunked on by Raymond off on the edge and it now is, left alone. It is already a go next, dude. Coco. Are, oh, dude, my gosh. Coco has Coco's had, like, no breathing. What? Wait. Yes, baby. Oh, that's Who how you do it. rise up, dude. That's what we needed. Okay, let's see it. Spyrox. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, clip to clip, I, back oh, to back highlights. Simple, no, simple get the stock. Just giving him that. The yeah, highlight. dude. We can bro, still clip it. Go ahead you're gonna clip win it. the set. Simple. Just give the man his go, clip. Go ahead and clip it. Just, just cut it out right before. Yeah. Right before. I'll he Photoshop get that my, by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we'll, yeah we'll add I'll it. animate that on we'll Monday. Add it in dev, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got that. Okay, well, we're all under our second stocks now, but man, Coco and Spyrox are worse for wear as far as damage is concerned. What an incredible start for Simple and Godly. Dude, and even though Coco and Spyrox so did a lot to bring it back, they're still down by a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Oh, wow. Simple and Godly, man, this, this team is definitely 
the one to look out for. Oh no! Okay, has both of them off stage? Spyrox? Ooh, these guys are these guys are they're playing real fast and loose here. Someone's gonna die. Okay, okay. I know it's like right. double gauntlet really chicken on the edge. Like was, yeah, that was wild. It could have gone. Are you gonna nair way. my ground pound, or am I gonna ground pound your nair? <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Okay, Spyrox now joins his teammate onto his final stock. Coco trying to deal some damage. Does a good job actually on his own, knocking around both opponents, but. Could be too little too late. They need to claim a couple stocks quickly. Coco almost eliminated from the game. This is only game two. Oh no. Ooh, okay. Oh, nicely done by Simple. He's out. Peace out. He's not gonna even deal with that edge guard. Goes All right, Spyrox. Dude, side. if that had punched him into the bamboo throw, that would have been sick nasty. Spyrox is out. actually despite being, <laughs> you know, one v two and uh, one stock to three, he's managed to get some clips in here. And I can appreciate that. Nice defense from Godly. Uh -oh. Spyrox had an opportunity. Oh boy. He's going, he's popping off. Oh, re grab those gauntlets. Okay. Oh, what a dude. What that an was so good. Yeah, commendable option select there. He does, because you can charge up to the second tier of the Rayman side sig, gets it, secures a knockout. Didn't need to, I thought he was going to go for something to bat him back and forth, but he knew exactly where to get that KO yeah. efficiency, how to finish it off. That was cool. And man, oh man, this team has got some spice. I love Ooh, that. The Spyrox clip. All right, now cut it here. Cut it here. Cut it here. Stop it. He died. Simple died. Simple died. Simple died. Simple died. Simple died. No way he made Definitely it. Definitely no the way. Stage. There's no way he could have made it back to stage <laughs> one that game. Okay, but really nice clip. 2-0 right now for Simple and Godly. A looking powerful for a clean. Oh boy, they start another team combo. They didn't manage to pick up both red team members in that one, so <clears throat> already a worse start for Simple and Godly. Is there any way this somehow gets fought back to a game five? Like, is that even possible, or am I just a crazy dreamer? Uh, I, I want to believe. I want to believe. I know how exciting it would be. It would be so well, if good. This, if, 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 if we can find a signal that might lead us to the answer, it's that uh, Spyrox and Coco did not get 2v1 comboed in the first three seconds of the game. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So that's actually better than they've ever done so far. They're kind of crushing it actually right now. Everybody's ready to be knocked out. Okay. Oh, actually, they get the first knockout. There goes Godly. There's a chance. Okay, wait know. a second. You gotta believe. Simple could also be knocked out. Coco. Nope. Against he gets the Godly scoop. here. What a what? quick. No, Coco. Coco's insane. Why'd you do that? Nobody has ever done that in the history of ever. He, did that he, was the was first. Was that down? Yeah, was it down sig? He did sig? a down sig. That's not even the one you do. And then to the side, pivot, nair. Um, what a wild man. I mean, that I've, was just something else. I've also seen him go for, like, gravity cancel side sigs in similar situations, which is like, bro, if you're gravity canceling an Olgrim Axe move off the stage, it's neutral sig. Should sigs. be neutral sig. Always, always, oh, always. He breaks but the rules. He knows something Woo. I don't. Oh, nice taste oh, nice. dodge by Spyrox. Spyrox. Oh, what? Goes for the finish. What a he got him before He got it before he got touched the wall. That That's was a beautiful KO. What an amazing play by Spyrox because Dude, that was so gonna, dangerous. He wait. used all his options to get that, to force that to happen. And now they've got a one stock lead They're on Spyrox. Their way. They're like actually on their way. We oh. didn't think it was possible. Okay, but, but they still have the it. damage lead. They still have the damage lead. Yeah, and Coco needs to not get gimped. Please get away from those hands. <laughs> <laughs> My man's got hands. Get away. Yeah, it's not, that's not the time. Not while he's this healthy on this with two stocks left. Yeah. Can't be going off stage. Too much risk of just losing your entire stock. Okay. Maybe they got to run down Godly here, get him completely out of the game, get the 2v1 power play on the simple. Okay, Ooh, wait. Now they can punish from Spyrox. <gasps> oh, oh what gosh. a finish! Yes, oh double God. KO. They're doing it. They're doing it, dude. This is the start. This game. This this set's going to game five, guaranteed. Ooh, whoa. Hey, hey dude, now. What? Okay, Coco, get out chill. of my combo, dude, Spyrox. Yeah, Spyrox. I'm working Spyrox here. Totally was totally there for the sickest follow up. And Coco was like, get out of I here. I love like, that. I'm dude. not done. Oh my gosh. I'm not done. This is a. He, the, he, yeah. Coco has something to say to this <laughs> team, and he made a statement there. Excellent that was work. so good. I want to see heck? that last Lance combo. I love that, up. dude. I love. That was so funny. The way Spyrox is like, yeah, we get him in a, okay, well, hey, hold on, you, can, you just take this one, I guess. <laughs> he, was, he was standing there like, like oh. there was so little chance that that combo would actually come back to him where he was. Oh, we're not going to get to see it. Oh. You got you to gotta watch on Monday. You got to watch the Dang, stream on Monday. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we go get over it. we'll go so slow on Monday. We'll oh slow mo it. We're going to so invent new slow. levels of slow mo, probably. <laughs> never seen a <laughs> slow mo so slow. All right. All right, here we go. 
They're in it, man. You did, we didn't. No, nobody thought Coco and Spyrox was gonna be able to get a game in on this one, but they yeah. got it. Now that and now that the seal's broken, anything can happen. Now yeah, we know just, what's possible. Just pushing this set to game four, I think they they beat my expectations based on the first they beat game the spread. we saw. Yeah, yeah, Vegas is going crazy right now. All right, and Godly, look, he's also primed and ready to lose this first stock before anyone else. And the change of scenery on Shipwreck. Ooh, wait a second. Oh, no. Spyrox, does he have enough to make it back? Oh. Yes, actually, barely. Somehow it goes over the top. Yeah, tricky, tricky recovery back to the stage there. A little bit of friendly fire. Spyrox looking for it on Godly. What? Oh, <laughs> oh Godly, man. that was so tricky. Dude. That was like the most pro recovery into the stage I've ever seen. He used the sweat as a fake out. Like he knew his internal dodge cooldown enough to not worry about the sweat even though it looked like oh how are you possibly gonna make it back from this oh nice pickup there spyrox clinches the ko now the game's tied up yet again two stocks all around oh almost believed in that ground pound Nice catch. Spyrox has some really good gauntlets, let's be honest. They're gilded for a reason. Oh, yeah. A man's got hands. He yeah, golden hands. Okay, wait Stocks a second. Are even. Oh, he dodged somehow. I've never dodged Rayman's third glove. The third glove. The third the glove legendary is so, third glove. so deadly. <laughs> the deadliest thing in the game is just the third glove. Believe in yourself, Spyrox. Oh <laughs> I believe in you, too. Fully charged down sig off so, the stage. That's so Wuxiang. That is oh, like the Spyrox? Most Wuxiang that's thing I've ever seen. Yeah. What? Why? Oh, that was no, the most dude. Wuxiang thing I've ever seen. He's feeding there. That was he's feeding. <laughs> okay, but everybody's deeply damaged on their second stock. This could go. Why what? did it work that time? You okay, see? The okay. first time was to set the expectation. The second time was where the, the, the trap spring actually triggers. And there we go, two stocks up. Dude, it's we're it's looking like a game five. A yoink? It's, Just it kidding? It seemed like there was no possible way we'd go to game five at the beginning of this, and now dude, it's looking more realistic I love, dude, than the ever. way Spyrox is fighting like left and right, back and forth. It was yeah. like Jackie Chan in like one of the Rush Hour movies. The same Just thing, like yeah. boom, 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 hitting everybody. He's absolutely going ham. Love to see it. Only person with two stocks still. Weapon throw. Dude, his target swaps are so good. That's one thing I appreciate. Like, more than anything from a good 2v2 player is, like, how effective they can target swap and deal damage to both opponents. Okay, but everybody's on their final stocks now. This is pretty scary for everybody. I'm not sure how this will shake out. Godly off on the edge. Wait, Spyrox. Oh, he turned around to favor the 1v2. Oh, what a nice follow-up. Spyrox gets that side air. Gives up on the rec Oh! Ooh. Uh, he was there for it. He was there for it. That would have been, man, that would have been victory, too. That was. That would have been, that would have sealed the deal, I think. Oh, wait, Spyrox, what are you going to do? Woo. You okay, have one Coco stock, makes remember. It around. Everybody's got one stock. It's coming down to the wire. Godly's out. Simple. <gasps> Ooh, man, wait, hold on. So close. Coco. Wait, Simple's popping off. He's going for the edge guard here, but can he get the no, edge guard does. without Coco taking him out? <gasps> uh oh. Okay, Coco. Uh -oh. There's two it's weapons. It's up to you. He's no. got the weapon. No. Bro. Whoa. Wait. <laughs> Dude, it's kill. either Simple moves on to top four. Oh, yes! We're going to game five! We're going to game five! Yes. Oh, my God! I Woo. didn't believe it. I mean, I believed it the whole time. What did I say? <laughs> I've been a believer. I have been a believer. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this is a game five. Woo, we were, man. We were, we were so, like, we were so... I mean, game one was insane. Let's I be honest. I want to say we believed. Yeah, I mean, come on. Those first two games really looked like. I love that. No Spyrox way. landing that goofy half jump gravity cancel down signature. The goofy plays are what are making the difference here. Game five. Well, I mean, Holy Spyrox has a. I love his play style. He is he is really doing a lot of work with this legend. And as someone who's played a lot of Wu Shang, I'm like, I'm pretending like I'm learning something. Oh yeah. my! Oh my gosh! Ooh. Wait, teach me that next time, Spyrox. Teach <laughs> yeah, me. Spyrox. All right, down air might be enough to do it. No, Godly makes it back. Oh, Godly swapped off Rayman onto Taros now, what? still with an axe, but now with the hammer. And Spyrox is on a mission to take these stocks. Throws a weapon at. Oh, but it takes enough options to set up for Coco to get that KO and another team kill. What? What, dude? They're what, uh, what, what, what the heck is this? They're, they're winning. They're, they're winning. <laughs> they're winning now. They're winning. They're not just playing. They're winning. They're, that was...
they went from getting smacked. Like, good thing we're new best of fives, right? Here's why yes. we do best of fives and not best of threes. Yeah, yeah. this is, yeah. Because, like, yeah, enough. best of three, you you would have thought, oh, this team, like, this is a joke. They'd stand no chance. They would have got 2-0'd, you're and then right. here you go with the hardest reverse 3-0 you've ever seen. Potentially, potentially, potentially. because this is now an and, even game yet now, again. Yeah, anything could happen here. But, but still, wow. I am so excited, dude. Spyrox had an amazing first stock, but it wasn't just him. Him and Coco were doing some amazing team plays back and nice. forth. And now we see some synergy from Godly and Simple. Coco's oh. so healthy. Nice follow-up from Coco. Dude, what? Spyrox? He, he plan He's a B. freak, dude. He split the plan B so fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's what... Oh, he picks it both up. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I love this. See, they, they both... They're so hard. They, and they're, yeah, they're attacking in unison. Is that yeah, what you're yeah, they, they, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, they always like to prefer to mob just one person. Uh, that's a good way to be. I mean, it's it can be tough, though. You can easily get in each other's way, but these guys are really good about it. Does Spyrox make it back from this? Oh, somehow slips under that recovery? Okay, well, it gets taken out anyways, okay. but not before okay. dealing Dude, enough Coco damage. Okay, Coco Spyrox, Coco as healthy as he is right now, puts them severely in the lead. Godly and simple, who honestly, I Whoa! Whoa! Wait a second. Wait. Honestly, uh -oh. what? Honestly, you're playing a Taros on Shipwreck, so, so you gotta res you there's something know. you gotta respect. Oh, blow, oh boy, boy. That's <laughs> oh, blow, oh, blow, blow, boy. Blow, blow. <laughs> don't I? Yeah. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Don't blow it. But oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Wow. No. No. Dude, no. I can't believe no. it. I can't believe it. Spyrox and Coco it was were such so a good close. start. Okay, Coco. It's not over. It's not Give him your energy, we folks. We have got he needs to believe. It. Oh boy. We're back in. Oh boy. That's good. That's good damage. Nice dodge. Gets around that neutral air, finds a way back to stage. Now he needs to find his way to a weapon drop. Is he going to be denied? Oh, okay. Kite them into each other. Get some team damage. That's <laughs> yeah, working yeah, for trick you. Him, trick him. Uh oh. Oh, man. I can't believe it's gone down like this. That oh, was... no. Oh, my. And it's just. GG. A... Simple oh. and Godly clutched it. Seriously, they clutched Dude. it so hard. But you and know what? They're moving on to top four. The, win the real winners are the fans of content, because that was quite a set, dude. That was Seriously. one for the ages. Hold what on. Maybe in the replay Woo! here, we can see that brief, that, that five-second moment where it all turned around. Oh, no. It's already gone. Okay. Nope. Got to watch on Monday. Oh. Yeah, Coco going for it that last It all turned around so in. fast, dude. I mean, when they, it was that neutral sig. It was the Taros neutral sig on Spyrox that changed the whole it game. It really man. did. It really did. He took that Godly stock early. He it so hard. Man. Woo. Okay. That was awesome. What's weird is like we were predicting that that was the way that it was going to turn out, but then. We oh, I, I, I flip flopped like six I, times. Yeah, I'm yeah. a flip flopper. Flip -flopped. I'll admit it, dude. I, I was like, I'm a fair weather fan. I was on whoever side was winning at the moment. And, 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 and it changed, it exchanged hands it was, a few times in that yeah, last I was, game. I was switching hats so fast, dude. It was like crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, like multiple shirts I got in hat, alternating dude. orders. So you can just take one off. I got, yeah, I've got heartburn. I've got hat burn. I've got all kinds of burns from this session so that far. That was such a good set, man. That's esports right there. That was awesome. Woo, man. Okay, uh, godly and simple, bravo. But Coco and Spyrox, like... That was anyone's game. I mean, yeah. you got to give them mad props for the insane reversal of the. They were down 2 0. And it yeah, seemed yeah. so. It was a nasty 2 0, too. It seemed so hopeless. And they brought it back in a stunning fashion. And then even in game five, they took the lead. More than once, they took the lead. Uh, and finally, at the end. Uh, a huge turnaround from Godly changed the game, but really, up until that moment, it was anyone's game. And, like, I, they turned believers into non-believers, and they turned non-believers into believers, too. Because it, it went it went every which direction in that one. And that was an awesome match. I'm yeah. stoked. I'm stoked on that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we are in top four. And that means we need to take a quick break and get some new casters in here. Thank you for having us. And stay tuned. We'll be right back.
hundreds of teams competing and it gets whittled down to the final four here for the European region. We've got two in the winner's side, two in the loser's side, and of course only one team will be crowned champions. Yeah, this is rarefied air, and you know what? Some of our predictions have not been going so well, but some of them are doing really well. Yeah, I think uh, you, Sparky, and I, the three who have been putting our predictions out there, have each had one team fall. So yeah. it's looking a little rough, but it's all still possible for us to go away with a uh, successful, you know, a, 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 a C. It's a passing grade, right? Oh, okay. You can get a okay. two thirds, everyone, but uh, we'll see who ends up being the most accurate because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing, right? We, we want to win. It's a competition. Surely, not the not the trophies, <laughs> no. not the prize money, the medals. None of that matters. They're it's all a conduit right. to prove ourselves right. Oh That's what it's all about. No, we've got four teams competing, and it's going to be interesting to see. We've got Acno and Blaze sitting in the top side. They're oh, currently yes. awaiting their opponents. Who else are they fighting? Who's their opponents and who's in the lower Fozy side? and Machete, okay. yeah. also in winner's side, also in my predictions. Yeah. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. But one of your predictions is still vying their way through that lower side. I'm talking about Simple and Godly. And they're actually going to be going up against Double Jeopardy, Heisen. <laughs> I I can't believe <laughs> I, was, dude, I, was, I like, can't believe you're so excited to say it. <laughs> no, it's Heisen and Sarma, but like I can't believe that we have them. I, it was such a big story, like all of last year, Heisen and Simple yeah. just constantly biting at the heels of Blaze and Akno, and they've bumped heads not once in this tournament, but now twice. It is kind of a, a, a weird a menagerie of events to happen that they would run into each other. It's mm -hmm. it was so mm -hmm. funny because like even coming into this, I forgot that Simple was teaming up with Godly, and I was like, I just um, reflex put in Simple and Heisen as my prediction, right. and then I had to like look at. I was like, wait, no, hold uh, on, we got to change that up. But at the end of the day, one of these teams is going to be going home with a fourth place finish. Yep, yep. But man, I got to tell you, like the past couple sets, like listening to Foda and Steven casting them. Sarma and Heisen have been doing absolutely crazy, but Simple and Godly on that last set? Holy moly. Some of these matches have been absolutely lights out. Some of yeah. the plays have been absolutely lights out. The one thing I'm loving specifically from Simple and Godly is those team combos. Those team combos oh have been gosh. absolutely insane. Some of them leading to, to knockouts. I don't know if Godly's listening right now. Look, the camera's not on me, but I'm going to like come over here. Godly, do a recovery after Simple does a recovery, okay? I need him to know this oh my because gosh. that's the finishing touch. That's the cherry on top that leads okay. to the KO. He okay. just If he does the axe recovery after, then it's going to work out. I need him to do that. That, that's it? That's the one request you have? That's the, I, that's just Grant, that, no other wishes. A little, that's the salt to the bay. It's the little bit of seasoning uh, okay. to get it over okay. so that he can get that KO. All right. I respect it. I respect it. Now, my, my question is, since we're going to be kicking this off, how do you expect these two sets that are already set up to go? Where Where is your bet line? Okay. I mean, uh, I think winner's bracket, it's going to be hard not to say Akno and Blaze. It's, it's so mm. difficult mm. just because, of again, they have such a winning record. But specifically today, they haven't been looking as dominant. They haven't okay. been 3 owing their way through everyone. On the other side, Majetti and Fozzi, they're playing the best they've ever played. So it's going to yeah. be a bit of a tough call. Like, it, it, that's kind of that, that little bit there. But I, I still lean towards Acno and Blaze because at the end of the day, they, they're gold medalists for a reason. That is true. I'm all right. I'm I'm so excited. I'm seeing Machete and Fozzy like locking in their legends, and it's just it's bringing me back through <laughs> the years to the glory days of Machete and Fozzy. They're here again. Of course, we've got lances for days. We got two lances on the side of Machete and Fozzy, and then oh, yes. we've also got Blaze bringing in a lance, and then it's going to be Akno, the odd man out, coming in with the Brin. All right. I mean, you know what? It, it shares the spear with the Black Knight, right? Yeah. So they've got a little bit of a mirror image thing going on between their teams. All right, here we go. Game number one of the winner's final. Winner of this goes into the grand finals, a guaranteed top two finish. Ooh. Wow, oh. Akno is just going uh -oh. against Machete unarmed, unafraid. The disrespect. Willing to challenge offstage with the unarmed Fozzy. Goes for the ground pound. No punish from Akno, and Akno is going to come back up onto the stage. Ooh, side light to punch the side light, gets the dodge read, not able to go into the final confirm, but the damage is still there. Fozzy bleeding into the red. 
A little bit of crosswires there. You saw Blaze going for the follow-up if Akno went for the downlight cider, but Akno opted to go for the target swap, went for the down six. Still damage being done. Ooh. Red team first gonna fall is Fozy. That one hurt. That was like the ideal pincer attack. You just sidestep out of the way of their signature and then bop bop with the teammate. All that coverage that gets provided from having two people fighting and that downlight from Blaze is gonna KO, giving a sizable lead to the blue team. Man, there had to have been a lot of damage built up for that downlight to knock out. You know, not not particularly Ooh. one of the strongest attacks. Yo, but that down signature from Fozy putting out quite a bit of damage and KOs. He's been finishing a lot of opponents with those down signatures. Yeah, to surprising effect. Not one that you see, you know, a ton of Orion or Black Knight players busting out on the regular. Usually they're looking for, you know, the big neutral signatures, occasionally the spear side signature. But that Lance down signature, a little more tough to place. Yeah, but it's really good because it's got that back step, got those lasers, Fozy using it to great effect. Oh. Akno in the off stage needs one more hit. Fozy goes for the turnaround and Akno is going to find the side air. Yeah, I, I feel like how much time they spent hanging out down off the stage, off the wall, near that bottom corner, somebody wasn't coming back. Yeah, I mean, even Blaze was going down there. He was like, I got to make sure that if things go awry, I'll at least trade it out. But things looking solid for the blue team. Oh, man, four stocks to two. But the damage is starting to rise. Oh, couldn't quite get the interrupt, and Akno with that hot target swap for the damage. He's got himself a little bit of a 2v1 to fight before oh, Blaze can get back in the fray. I love the side air there, giving the chase dodge up. Machete with the coverage on the weapon toss to make sure it wasn't completely safe, but still, Akno extending the stock, getting damage, Ooh. and Machete's gonna find the side light recover. Or, uh, yeah, recovery. Oh Ooh, my that's gosh, high. that's so, I, I, he almost got knocked out there. The interrupt before the second Ooh. hit, saving Machete's life. But the side air, good dodge, avoids the weapon toss. Blaze trying to finish the stocks off. Both red team members close. Oh, the Pogo beating out the end sick. Fozy trying to live, gets the wall touch, and he's going to be able to come back up. Oh, no. 2v1 territory now. So much damage built up onto Fozy. He has to play this stock flawlessly. Ooh, and the recovery from Blaze will deny the flawless victory. It's going to be game one, going the way of Akno and Blaze. And you know what? This is, this is kind of what you were talking about, right? It is tough to bet against them because they are so consistent. But that was down to final stock situation. We've seen a lot of sets where, you know, the underdog takes a little while to warm up. You know, game one, they usually get completely blown out. And then by the end of the set, they're bringing into last stock situations. Here, we're starting out on last stock situations. So uh, is it the pivot point? I don't know. I mean, there's definitely the possibility as we're seeing Machete and Fozzi go to their picks. It's going to be the the double knights, right? The Shovel Knight team oh, yes. of King Knight and Black Knight. This is what they used to close out some of the sets earlier in the day. So it's already a little bit warmed up. It's a proven strategy to work. And I, I'll let y'all in on a little secret here is that they do have a Swerf patented combo oh, yo, for go. this team. So we'll see if it ends up coming out. But at the same time, Acto and Blaze also have some combos of their own as Akno gets the downlight oh my ground gosh. He still gets up and Fozy there with the pressure relief just in case. Yeah, Akno was trying to snipe him out again. He did something similar in game one. Just because that Lance recovery, it takes a long time to charge it up and then it's that telegraphed line. So if you can intercept it, you can score that knockout just no holds barred. Oh my goodness. Akno just recovery, ground pound, recovery, ground pound. Helicopters all directions, but First one's gonna be fall. Uh, the first one to fall is gonna be Machete. Oh wow, oh, Fozy! Wow. Oh, Akno. Okay, Fozy actually spent all of his options down there. <laughs> Akno was so quick to just secure the knockout, but man, Fozy was uh, betting big. Yeah, he was hanging out there for quite a while to the point where he would have needed a uh, a touch to get that chase dodge. But Blaze is gonna fall on the right side, and Akno still holding it down for the team. Uh oh, Yo, better, oh, better oh. hold down. Everyone's way too close to the top of the screen. He's going to start needing to get some rope and nailing things down, but second stock. Oh, oh Blaze is in trouble. Gosh. Bless the Olgrim defense. That's <laughs> yes. all I've got to say. <laughs> the high ceiling of Miami plus the Olgrim defense. Oh, man. Akno, he's, he's about to take out Blaze. Like, he is hitting Blaze very hard. 
Yeah, I can't believe he's still surviving. You were talking about in the Miami Dome, that tall ceiling. Vertical knockouts are going to be so <laughs> difficult to get. Blaze is living for so long. Akno wanting to try to take one of the red team members out first, but he goes for the target swap ah. instead. Side Sig. Oh, and Akno is going to get the TK, but he at least takes out Machete for it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to make of that one. I'm going <laughs> to call it a net neutral. I mean, with, with the slight advantage that they had, I think it's kind of worth, but at the end of the day, it's uh, basically evened up at this point. And a good dodge, and Blaze takes down Fozy, but Machete oh takes gosh. out Akno. Yeah, trade for trade. We're just bouncing around down here. And it all evens out some uh, solid physics there, right? Oh, yeah, equal and opposite. Yes, yeah. that's how it's got to go. Oh, oh my Akno. gosh. Yeah, equal and opposite. Akno goes up with every pogo, and Fozy goes down. Yeah, uh, that's uh, definitely some solid physics right there. And Machete is not going to get away from that one. The GC and Sig and Akno and Blaze go up 2-0. Man, all right. So I was talking about like the underdog, you know, maybe warming up a little bit after game one. Uh, it seems like Akno and Blaze are the only ones warming up right now. Yeah, it, it really depends on what they're using for kindling, because um, some, you know, some fires burn hotter than others. We gotta say. What's your What's your prime choice of kindling? What would you recommend in this situation? Uh, you know, I follow the wise words of a young Smokey the Bear and say only you can prevent forest fires. So, not forests. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, don't use forests as your kindling, but maybe this switch over to the Rano, that Wu Shang, is enough to actually get some heat going here. Might not be spitting fire, but he's going to be spitting some acid if he starts getting those sigs out. But right now, Blaze swinging in all directions. Akno on the left side, looking for the offstage, but Machete gets back on it. Ooh, oh. Nice ground pounds. Double save spear, attempt. Pound. Yep, yep, Blaze going for the setup. Perfect save. And Akno going to convert it into damage onto Fozy. Fozy still gets the wall touch, and Akno oh, not going to be able to shy. touch. Man, oh man. So Akno, first one to fall, but damage was built pretty much equally across the board. So we're going to start seeing some dominoes fall in quick order. Now, lots of people damaged. But you're seeing the way the red team trying to collapse onto Akno, but the blue team takes advantage of it. They're going to take down Machete. Stocks evened up again, but the side air will give the blue team the advantage. Great chop. Blaze was holding down the airspace, and Akno was just like, don't even think about peeking over the edge. Keep your head down. Hide behind the desk. But for now, blue team pushing the advantage further and further. Blaze is in. He's not even worried about getting knocked out. He's the most damaged one on his first stock, and he's still swinging. Oh my gosh, Akno immediately out of hit sun going for the axe recovery. He's like, I hit one right before. <laughs> Why not one right after? Got to go for the double. Oh Left my side. Oh gosh. Spin to win. That's what Akno is all about. I don't know why people keep going off stage against Akno's axe. Oh, it no. never ends well. He just got the double. Blaze fell on the right side, but Akno took advantage, got the KO on Fozy, and while Machete was trying to make the rotate over, Akno was like, no, you're in here with me, and I'm going to get that stock. <laughs> He's uh, very terrifying. They've got to be thankful that he's now down onto his final stock. That's going to be probably the primary target for Machete and Fozy. If they can take out Akno, they get that 2v1, and then it's just a couple team combos away. Yeah, that 2v1 would be very valuable. But we've already seen that if they try to over-aggress onto Akno, blue oh. team takes full advantage, and you're seeing them already yeah. putting out damage onto this red team. Yeah, one of those moments where it was just a bait, and then you get punched in the face, and it hurts, and everybody cries. I mean, master anglers on this blue team. Little Sig, Blaze going to be joining everyone in the final stocks. Akno needs to survive here, and he will, Ooh. thanks to Fozy's recovery. Yeah, he managed to avoid the uh, checkmate scenario of that double ground pound, thread the needle between the two. Some good movement coming out from Akno. But he's still going in. Look at him unarmed, unafraid again of this red team. And the oh neutral sig. They take it. 3-0. Oh, Akno and Blaze marching into the grand finals. Yeah, I love their confidence. That seems to be the main thing that sticks out throughout their gameplay, is even when they're in dire straits, if they're back, you know, Akno being last stock red, he will still go in. He will force positions, force attacks, and... I mean, he gets the hits. He will claim stocks even if he's just hanging on by a thread.
You know, I think having a two-year win streak gives you a lot of confidence in the 2v2 stage. Yeah, that, that's very it true. <laughs> it's, it's like you hit those moments, you're like, oh, no, I'm last stock red. Oh, but wait, I'm the best there <laughs> ever was. But I'm uh, kind of godly at this game. Akno and Blaze now guaranteed a top two finish to Ooh. minimal surprise. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to talk physics, right? Mm -hmm. It's like object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. Right now, first place. They will remain in first place unless acted on by an outside force. Machete and Fozzi, not enough force in that winner's finals to get the job done. But there are still two other teams that might have a little bit different of a matchup. Yeah, I mean, uh, what better solution to a godly team than to bring the god himself. Godly in the loser's side is gonna try to make the run, although well, he has to get alongside Simple through their next opponents of Sarma and Heisen. I know, I, I, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I love these runbacks, I love the stories, I love the players that used to team now having to go up against their teammates. We see it happen time and again whenever there's like the big shakeups in the scene. And here today, we've got the treat of the double jeopardy. They, these two fought already before, and now they've got to do it again, except for the actual tournament knockout. I mean, we love the metaphor of the uh, the grocery store, right? Uh -huh. You go there and uh -huh. you got to show that your new partner is better than your previous one. Uh, but what happened today is that they go to the grocery store again. They forgot the milk, and they're still there. <laughs> they and swing like... back through. The dramatic <laughs> tension music yeah. rises. It focuses in. The eyes meet. It's just like, hmm. <laughs> and uh, ultimately, we get to decide which team did end up shaking out better because one of these teams is going to get knocked out. Again, one of these teams yep. is going to be going home with the fourth place because we're on the lower side of things. Oof. Is it going to be Sarme and Heisen? Is it going to be Simple and Godly? If you forced me to place a bet, I, I hate to say this, but history would dictate simple and godly, <laughs> right? I mean, they were, they were looking just so incredibly strong. I think even Sparky's tweet was saying that that seems to be uh, the half of the team split that made out better in the yeah. end. Because uh, he, was, he was offering some commentary on that of just like, oh, amidst all these team shakeups and jumbles, who made out better from whatever trades or swaps? And I, I hate to say it because I know Simple and Godly is in your predictions, but I feel like they've got the favor here. Now, I'm going to say I hope they don't because <laughs> I want you to be wrong, but okay. you're not often wrong. I, well, you know what? I, I did well yesterday. Uh, I don't have to do too great today. Okay. <laughs> you know okay. I, I got see. one day. I, you know, I hit my 100% my uh. run. And you know what? I'm good for the rest of the season. All right. But uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. I think uh, PR doesn't technically favor Simple and Godly, but I think there's a lot of like mm. just community emotional sentiment towards this team. Again, yep. bringing up something we talked about in uh, the uh, the pre-show is that this was, if it's not currently, the top EU ranked team. So they're definitely yes. grinding. They're putting in that time. We'll see how well it shakes out as we're about to get into the loser semifinal. Uh, with Heisen and Sarme versus Godly and Simple. Okay, map bands going. We've got Mammoth Fortress, Shipwreck Falls, and Apocalypse left open. Ah, okay. Stability of Mammoth Fortress. I was like, are we getting more? There was a lot of Shipwreck sets yeah. today. Definitely a lot of Shipwreck, but in particular with these teams, we're not seeing a lot of Lance favoritism, so there's not as much argument for it. Instead, uh, right now, we're seeing the double sides come out, and we're seeing Godly not on the terrace that he's been running, but he's over to the Rayman, which we saw in his last set. All right, so this, I know, I know, Steven and Foda are in the background just cheering for this double scythe comp. Yeah, oh I mean, god. they were losing their minds for it. I yeah. love scythe. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> they're so close to the microphones. How can we hear them? But man, that, that Mirage and Mordex just had such incredible synergy, such incredible offstage control that was just confirming stock after stock. The, the follow-ups were so cool. Oh, my okay. goodness. Okay. Thank Getting you, Lucky Stars. Getting a little spicy. Yeah. The heat is building, but Sarme, first one to fall. Over to the right side. Godly clashes out with Heisen, so Heisen's going to live for a moment. Can he get the wall touch? Another ground pound attempt. Godly gets past it. Lots of edge play. Sarme with the ground pound. Godly's going to oh. eat a second one, and Godly is down. All right. So a stock for a stock. The teams are sticking even. Balances all things should be, but Sarme ground pounds Heisen. 
And again, the threat on the right side in the offstage. Godly that Rayman. You know if that soft platform wasn't there, he'd be threatening some down oh, yeah. signatures with that axe. That down six so good. Oh, great weapon toss coming out from Heisen to finish off simple and give his team the uh, numeric lead. But man, look at their health. Yeah, it's uh, all hanging on a razor's edge. And that one just fell to one side. Is it going to fall to the other? Down air. Oh, trying to scoot around under the stage. Manages to get it, but simple threatening the edge guard. Yeah, the rotation, but Sarmai had to burn a lot there. Those exclamation points were coming out. We see Simple back off, up to go for the 2v1. Sarmai getting some damage built up. The side air is launching him, and they're trying to take advantage of those brief power plays every time uh, Sarmai gets launched. Oh, oh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Went for that wall combo. You know, the down air bounced him off the wall into the scythe ground pound. Ooh, a little early. There's a little bit of friendly fire spear ground pound there. Dangerous territory. The one unfortunate thing about that Spear Ground Pound is it does have a giant hitbox, which can also hit your teammate. But Godly hits the Ground Pound, and Red Team takes the lead. But again, they're both fairly damaged. It is tenuous. We've got some serious signature firepower, or just the Spear Recovery. The double knockout for Heiss and paying dividends. And talking about Razor's edges, that whole floor is made out of Razor's, apparently, because things are falling all directions. Wow, you better have some good boots. Well, it's kind of like those like needle beds, right? It's like you have so many that it, it doesn't even matter. Oh, okay. They're they're like close enough together yeah. that you're fine. But here we go. Final stocks in game number one. This game will give a lot of momentum to the winning team. It's so valuable. Okay. I see Heisen and Sarma really going for that, that wide sandwich play, but they haven't been able to get any sort oh. of team combo started. Quick little handoffs, that's going to build the damage that they need, but they still need just a touch more before we're looking oh. at any knockouts from them. The footsies from Godly just outside the, uh, the icicles, down light side air, the recovery. Oh. Simple, going to take one, and it's all down to Sarma. Ooh, sneaks his way back in, gets the weapon oh. completely untouched. But the neutral light, weapon toss, not going to connect. Going low, still gets the wall touch. Red team backs off, opts for the save play, the follow-up end light, not enough. Quick handoff, built the damage, so that way surely this next hit has to knock out, right? Right. My name's not Shirley, but that surely will kill as they take one over Heisen and Sarme. Oh man, this is where I was so incredibly worried. Yeah. Because anytime you're hanging that close to the top knockout line, it's like anything could knock out. We saw an Axe Neutral Air knockout earlier. I mean, they were definitely flying high, but only one person ended up coming back down to ground. Now we're seeing the slow-mo. Oh, this double knockout yeah. with the recovery. Two, one, you're talking about, yeah, the recovery and the ground pound on Spear, they've got a large hitbox, so you can worry about some friendly fire, but you can also worry about some double knockouts. Worry about hitting everything, but a nice start for the red team as they got both blue team members locked up for a brief moment, getting that extra damage added up. Double Scythe just dictating so oh, much snap. movement. Oh, snap. Yeah, taking them for a ride. Nair, Sair, Nair, Sair. <laughs> I, I mean, that's the thing, missed. right? The double scythe team comp, you do get to kind of play it like Jazz, you yeah. know? You can just keep that free flow going, and we're seeing uh, sparks of that at various moments, but Heisen. Oh, no, the dive kick. Does he have enough left? Oh, Sarmay's going to fall for it, so it's going to be a trade at the very least. All right. We just move the goal line a little bit closer, you know? Nobody has a uh, strict advantage in that way, but... The end of the game just is that closer yep. within reach. It's uh, like that elephant metaphor, right? It's all about getting those bites in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a callback. That, you know, Steven, such a, such a wise one. I know. A real philosopher, that one. But again, the goal line inches forward as now everybody's on those second stocks. But at the very least, it's staying even it just went from a three stock each game to a two stock each game oh man you see sarma and heisen really trying to position themselves to the outside of the red team that gives them the option because you know they don't need to 
be facing oh, left to hit somebody left. You've got active input, so that oh, way you can snap. keep. Oh my gosh! Can he save? Godly no! <laughs> All right. You know what? As the wise philosopher Stephen once said, I've got acid reflux. That was too <laughs> spicy. Too much heat on that one. The ice was hot and. Sarme able to get the signature and take both red team members down. They're going to need something big. And the side air swings hard, but they need to take Heisen out now. Oh, side air into side air. That's some serious hurting. You see the sweat drops coming out from Heisen. He's able to manage to get his back, way back up onto stage. But man, he is hanging on. I'm looking for when he gets knocked out. It's going to give that momentary power play of the 2v1 for the red team. Oh, and there's Here we go. that recovery. Sarme. To the outside, and you see Godly trying to take advantage of the power play. He was going deep for those ground pounds, but they weren't able to get the damage onto Sarme. All right, so it's that stable, but still last stock situation. We've kind of oh, just been- snap. Oh, no. Simple, so far out. Godly not able to give him the pressure relief. Options dwindling. Oh, no, he's running Gets out. bounced off. Down he's air gone. into down air. He's gone. Sarme he's looking for more Woo! blood. Another Woo! down air into the weapon toss. Sarme is insane. The scythe play from both Heisen and Sarme popping up, getting him those edge guards, getting them those juggles, getting him all this damage, showing why both of them are opting for the scythe, the mirage, and the mortis. Oh, yes. Oh, all the way. Double knockout, Sarme with that Mordex. And you saw the Keep idea, Keep Simple, he wanted to get the save, right? Like he was going down there, he's like, oh, I'm just gonna recover my teammate, don't worry about it. But Sarme just covering so much space with those icicles. I mean, it was off the back of Heisen's spear down air that Sarme just confirmed, saw that there was that connection and just said, this one's mine. Able to pick it up and now we're going into game three tied one apiece. Oh my gosh, stuffed recoveries left and right. Everybody's just swinging. Trying to get those wake ups, not quite working out, but Godly able to avoid taking a huge chunk of damage the way that he was in game number two. Nice follow up. Oh, Sarme scheming. I see him scheming off stage, you know, so many times just being around on the wall saying, please come into my playground. Oh my goodness, you can see the way that Godly is having none of this offstage, oh but Simple gosh. is eating it. Oh no, Heisen for the double, let's go. Oh man, Godly just able to squeak his way back up onto stage. He barely managed, but still the blue team got the stock off of Simple. They've got the lead, but Sarme going to trade one for one and that will clear Ooh. the board. Yeah, everybody's completely clean on these new stocks. After the grocery store, they decided to go to the cleaners. Was it, you know, dry cleaning? Yeah. They're trying to clean it without water? Can't get wet. You don't want to drown in pools. And just a little bit of sweat here, but we're seeing the damage again, staying even. This one's so close, but with the way that the last one went, that's going to go in favor of the blue team at, the ra at this rate. Oh, went for the big signature read. Not able to find purchase, but Heisen, you know he wants these knockouts. He's in trouble. The offstage, you see Simple rotating early this time, not yep. waiting for the panic, just in case he needs to give that reprieve. That's smart. That is a great adjustment, something that was a pain point in the previous match. And just, oh, that hit! The interception. That was some strict calculus right there. Those were borderline parallel, but the angle was just enough. And Heisen able to take Simple down to his final stock here in game number three. All right, Heisen and Sarma on opposite walls here. Simple and Godly, oh no! You can't look over the other way. You've got another edge guard to worry about. Keep your eyes on that prize. Godly hits the down air, stock count evened up. Heisen avoids the weapon toss. Godly staying around there, wants to find that fishing blow, but Heisen avoids all of it. Oh, oh the wake up break dance, ah! Almost into that team combo. But he's still good, Godly. Still holding on to the stock, and Sarme able to clean it up. Simple's the one that I'm worried about, though. Look at the damage that's being added up. Oh! Oh, yeah. Simple's in trouble. Sarme doesn't find the hit, though. Getting the damage. Yeah, Simple definitely uh, playing a bit more backline position. Uses it to great effect, that giant hammer swing. Scoring the knockout. 
Yeah, he's going to have to play that follow-up game. Going for the safer option with the sword. Some lighter attacks there will be quicker, a little bit safer. Meanwhile, Godly hunting Sarme a little bit on that right side, but he rotates back, knows that Heisen could potentially take out Simple. Ooh, Simple on his way back oh! to stage. Couldn't make it a little bit too far. You saw he went for the neutral air to try and get the hit onto Heisen for a chase dodge, but no dice. And now Godly has to make this work all by his lonesome. Yeah, that disco was scary. Godly finds the D-Light recovery. It's a 1v1. Ooh, a little tit for tat, just trading hits back and forth. Scythe in hand for Heisen. He's been getting the better of Godly in the raw 1v1s when it comes down to the Scythe versus Godly's gauntlets, but Godly with some movement. Oh. Getting the taps. Sets up the edge guard. Oh, oh my hit. gosh. One more hit. He's staying around. Heisen gets the wall touch. Godly pulled the trigger early on that down line. Oh, caught with the long oh. active frames and the long toss. Godly puts his team up two to one in the set. A good high lob from Godly there to read the jump out from Heisen, right? He was going for the straight tosses quite a bit. And then Heisen jumping to avoid it. This time went for the up toss and got the KO. Jeez, tangent to the curve. It just mm, swerve him down to the bottom. Got the right angle on that one. <laughs> Just read the rise up high. That lob, man. It was a solid read. Coming out from Godly. Going to put them up 2-1. They're one away from closing it out. And Simple is going to make the swap over to the Brin. A rare swap for Simple. All right, you were talking about there being less Lance in this matchup. And they wouldn't go to Shipwreck Falls because of it. <laughs> but here we find ourselves with barely any walls. Well, those wall, the, the lack of walls actually, I think, plays to the red team's favor, right? Godly coming in with the Rayman Gauntlet's great for the offstage, but Scythe also really good for the offstage. Nice Nair. We'll give him the jump, get him the wall touch. Yeah, Godly is definitely controlling a ton of airspace. He's dealt out way more damage than he's taken so far. But, man, Simple finds himself oh, unarmed, gosh. alone, okay. at the top, and gone. Save. And the, the coverage from Godly to make sure that he gets that KO. Follow up. Oh, jumped a little high. Oh, nice interruption. Up. Yeah, just in time. So quick to save your teammate. I mean, it's so crucial. Each of those stocks are so valuable Whoa. as Sarme hits the down sig. It's like Sarme was trying to threaten Godly and then uh, Simple just fastballed the teammate <laughs> yeah. in there. Like, ah, you can't grab if your hands are full. But at the end of it all, still even it up that uh, TKO, not too terrible, because they still cleaned up the stock on the Godly. And the handoff, the double there. Uh-oh, Simple's in trouble. Can he get the chase dodge? The Godly with the with save. The uppercut. Yeah, that was not a moment too soon. He needed that. Oh, the icicles again, and Godly's in trouble in the 1v2. Man, Sarma showing that that signature is an absolute oh. force of nature. Dominating. Sarma is dominating, taking three stocks on this second one. Here's the combo, Heisen. Oh, let's go. Love the fast fall recovery inside of that as well. Man, Sarma working his way back up to stage, gets under and around the weapon toss. Still unarmed, Ooh. manages to hop on over the scythe. Godly went to punish with the haymaker, but no, took a chunk of damage for his trouble. Sarme punishing the whip neutral stick again. The icicles. Godly will trade it out, but he's on his final stock, and there it is. Heisen and Sarme put it up to 2 2. We're going to game five. Oh man, the full distance, the ultimate grudge match, especially in double jeopardy. <laughs> They're going around the whole town. It's the, the, the most awkward double date ever. I mean, what a season for it, too. It's pretty <laughs> chilly out. I'm guessing these icicles get, like, I don't know, some kind of boost to their strength because it's the winter championship, right? It seems that way. It, I mean, it's definitely, he's hitting more side signatures than I think we've seen in quite a while. All these icicles. And it goes down to a game number five. Simple, likely making the swap off of the Brin. Not being able to put out too much damage. 206 was a little bit rough for him. Mm. Yeah, everybody else posting up just about the same. Simple, definitely the one falling short. 
Was that because he, he fell on shipwreck? Is that what, was that the joke? Fell on the short wall? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. You know what? Why not? We'll run with it. A little uh, double on, on Tirande. Nailed it. For some reason, halfway through that word, my brain said entourage, and I was <laughs> I like... I know you were playing crosswords this morning. <laughs> yeah. uh, how did those go for you? Hey, we finished the crossword. That's the important <laughs> part. We. <laughs> it, was, it was a group effort. Much <laughs> like these broadcasts, shout out to production. Uh, there's, that's your one for the day. But simple and godly, Sarme and Heisen, we're going to game number five. And game simple, five. making the swap over to the Koji. Ooh. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh. But that Mordex Mirage comp, that is rock solid. Can't change it now. It's gotten them this far. And here we go. Shipwreck again. Godly, okay. Fast falling underneath. Double Nair on the left side. Heisen getting the edge guard pressure. Ooh. Simple dodges through. Man, so much damage going out. Sarme already in the red, just like 25 seconds in. Almost going, Ooh. actually going off the top, Follow 30 up. seconds in, on a oh. high ceiling stage. Did he just DI up out of the downlight to save himself there? That was clutch. That was clutch. It was crucial. It kept him alive because you likely would have eaten another downlight side air. And now Heisen holding down the stock. Simple though, slightly less damage. But you see in blue team, unconcerned. They want to take out Godly. Uh-oh, Heisen falling. This is for all the marbles. This is lower bracket action near the top of the tournament. The last possible game in the set. Stocks, even across the board. There's, Ooh. oh, just shy of the full team combo. But surely that damage won't go unnoticed. I mean, pure improv. They still got a lot of damage out, like you said. And comes down to the KOs. Who's going to live, Sarme or Godly? I'm always so excited whenever I see them both Ooh. on the scythe because you get that active input. You know, whenever you hit any of those grapple type attacks, you get to choose which way you want to toss the opponent. So you get some like crazy directions and paths that you can take. Yeah, the handoffs can be so impressive. Heisen hits the down signature. Godly on his final stock here in game number five. This could be his tournament stock. They're battling for a medal. Manages to Ooh. run over. Get up onto that axe. Unfortunately, his enough. teammate, there it is, chopping away. Simple. Okay, he'll take one. Goes for the second. Heisen on the off stage. Godly trying to cover the main stage. Heisen threads all of that and gets back up and picks up a side. Oh, Godly's no. in trouble. Got Pluck the wall touch. Just managed to touch the wall. Thank your lucky stars for that one. And got the turnaround. Red team with the stock lead here. But still. Every single gasp, it's got to be running adrenaline into Godly. He's so stressed right now because he does not want to leave Simple in that 1v2. Oh, man, getting juggled up by Heisen. Simple quick to rotate over, tag him back for the trouble. Simple finding those hits, getting those neutralites. Godly getting some taps of his own. There's the recovery coming out from Simple. A little back and forth there from the red team. Yeah, you see Godly opting for this backline position, usually letting Simple go for the main shot, and then Godly will come in for the coverage on the back end. And you can see how far back he's playing. The icicles come out. Simple still got another stock. Godly needs to worry about himself right now. Oh, the down sig. It's oh all left to gosh. Simple, the 1v2. This is doable, though. Hassan and Sarme are damaged. I mean, that is an understatement. They are glowing red. All it takes is one strong hit. That down oh. signature, a little too much stage left to cover for that one to knock out. Okay, good dodge. Simple gets out of the team combo. Neutral air, not quite enough. Downlight recovery will yep. take one. Sarme versus Simple. Just earned himself the 1v1 with a massive damage lead. Good jumps coming out from Sarme, reading those downlight approaches. Simple. Get an opt for the weapon swap. There's the sword. Sarme with the punish on the pickup. Getting damage. He's getting damage. Sarme's definitely making this work. He doesn't have any like normal guaranteed combos. Oh. Uh oh. Weapon toss? No, man. One hit. To One stay hit. Under it. Okay, he backs up, goes for the safe option. There. Oh, no. He can only afford so many more hits. Weapon denial, simple. 
Oh, jeez. The There's the weapon light spawn. Might have done it. Downlight certainly will do oh. it. The bonk on the head. Sarmi working the his way back. He got the wall touch. Oh, they're He's fighting. all right. He's got the gauntlets. Simple now. Oh, the weapon denial. This is so close. This could go either direction. Simple. Don't take the bait on these weapon tosses. Okay. He burned to dodge the weapon tosses back and mm. forth. They're going for the safest thing they can, and Simple gets the recovery. It's going to be godly and Simple going into the top three. Man, oh, man. Setting themselves up onto the podium at the very least. I, I need to find a cosmetologist because that was a nail biter. I didn't, I didn't mean a meteorologist, if that's what you're giving me that look for. Is it? Co cosmetology I know, with, like, I wasn't sure and, which like, direction you were going to go for this. I mean, it's not Cosmos either, even though they sound very similar. I, yeah. Yeah. Why you bite your nails? You're just lying to people out there. Yeah, I don't bite my nails, but, like, it's a, I, it's a turn of phrase. The camera's not on us the whole it's, time. They actually do record us <laughs> in the background. So. Oh, it's there. So they can actually scrub through the footage yeah, and be could. like, you, you don't bite Literally your nails. Literally never touch You've your nails You've got better habits than that, yeah. Duke. Come on, man. I try don't to take yourself reasonable short. care of my nails. Uh, but <laughs> either way, <laughs> what a set. That was an intense one just to find out who's going to be going into the top three. Who's going to be fighting Machete and Fozzy? Ah, uh, yes. Now, here's where I've got a little bit of a problem, right? Okay. Uh, Machete and Fozzy, I put them as my third place pick. Uh huh. Simple and Godly, you put them as your third place pick. I don't want to say we're fighting <laughs> to see which of our picks loses, because we're not. Right, because but. you didn't have <laughs> Machete and Fozzy in anywhere no. of your picks. I didn't have Simple and Godly anywhere in my picks. Am I going to get like a nice little bonus point if like I had them in my top three and they did better than expected. I don't know. I, you know what? Uh, we know, you know Left Stick does keep track of it. I don't you know better. how he does the you, stats. You better. But uh, All right. who, who knows? Maybe we get bonus points if our team outperforms, or maybe we get less points because we're less accurate. You know, it's the precision versus accuracy debate, right? That is the question. But, like, you know, whenever your stocks overperform, you feel real good about it, right? True. You can't be upset that one of your picks did better. Yeah, you're like, oh, I had this guy in fantasy football. I thought he'd be good for two touchdowns, yeah. but he got seven. Like, huh, how Gosh. dare he? What a fool. <laughs> He's holding me back. I was an idiot for picking him. I can't believe it. I can't believe uh. it. But it, it's going to be an intense one. And all this to bat this battle determines who goes into the grand finals. Who goes up against Oof. Akno and Blaze? Man, so we've we've already seen how the Machete Fozzi plays out against Akno and Blaze. Yeah. Well, Simple and Godly, do you, do you think they'll have a different kind of matchup? Well, it's a tough one, right? Because both of them are down here because of Akno and Blaze. So we yeah. didn't get to see how they play against each other. We have no idea how this is going to shake out. But Ooh. technically, numbers-wise, it goes in favor of Machete and Fozzi. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I mean, my own personal opinion, <laughs> I picked them. Okay. So I'm I'm just, you know, I've said it all throughout the day. I'm going to say it again. I'm just really happy that they're back together. You know, you said it's that, that <laughs> Rachel Ross dynamic, yeah. right? It's like yeah. they finally get back together, and it's just working out so spectacularly. Yeah, I mean, it, it's always great to see when a team gets back together and they're performing so incredibly well. So, of course, we love to see how well Fozzy Machete do. I'm going to play the nice guy here, and I'm going to say I'm also rooting for Fozzy Machete, maybe just for my accuracy, but also because I, I just uh -huh. I want to see them uh -huh. do well. Yeah. It's, it's a I, team that's that, been doing I well, you. and that's I want to see them continue to do well. Makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. I'm definitely not just, uh, you know, <laughs> playing my cards. You know what? Like, if I root for Fozzy and Machete, either way, I'm happy, right? Because either my team You're does well. Happy, Duke. You're just yeah, a happy Duke. I'm guy. just happy to be here. <laughs> I'm glad I get invited. I'm surprised sometimes. Oh, my I've gosh. I've heard the things I say after the fact <laughs> when I rewatch the VOD. But we're getting into it. Game number one of the Losers Final. Loser goes home with a bronze medal. Winner goes on to the grand finals to challenge Akno and Blaze. All right. Godly and Simple versus Machete and Fozzy. One will fall on Shipwreck Falls. Here we go. Game number one. We're seeing Simple and Godly. They're like, okay, no more fussing about with the character picks. We're going to start off with the Koji Taros, see how well it works out. On the other side, with Jete and Fozzi, they're going to start off with the Old Grim alongside the Orion and maybe make the swap to the Roland, depending on how things go. You know, either way you slice it, it's just lances all around. 
I do like seeing it for, for such a long time. We didn't see such a Lance focus in the double space. It was always viewed as like this weapon that's kind of difficult to team with. You have to play your neutral very differently. But here we're seeing even double Lance compositions. Yeah, it's it's still like a, uh, a common mentality is that Lance is hard to play alongside in 2v2s because you don't have the standardized follow-ups. You don't have just like that neutral right. light that directly leads into a thing, but instead you have so much space coverage, so much follow-up potential if you get the side air into side air, and they've got so much of a lead as the blue team look at Fozzie's health bar. Oh yeah, I mean, he has been playing phenomenally all throughout today, and it shows even here. Barely touched. Unfortunately, Machete get knocked out there, but they're still holding on to the lead, and Fozzie is still piling out attacks. Yeah, he is he's playing lights out, man. He's playing like he wants that gold medal, and he's trying to earn it right now, getting into the red, but still the only one still on that first stock. You're seeing the red team try to go for Machete, and Godly opts for the fast fall into the recovery, gets the weapon toss. Fozzie with the save, Godly oh, yeah. hits a recovery. Machete's one more opportunity, but Simple's gonna uh -oh. fall with him. Uh-oh, that was a phenomenal offstage gambit play from the red team. I mean, they were able to bring Machete down to his final stock. It seems reminiscent of previous matches we saw where Machete and Fozzie, the, the answer seemed to be focus down Machete, leave Fozzie to his own devices, force him to kind of collapse into the fray because that back position, he's just too good at it. Yeah, it's definitely a common theme against the teams that play against this blue team. But at the same time, Simple fell alongside him. So it's not enough to bring them back into it. The lead is still in favor of the blue team. The red team needs to take out Machete. Otherwise, this is looking like a blue team victory. See Fozzie just trying to clear the stage. Lances are out in full. They're both uh -oh. swinging. Godly. There's one off the stage. The double spear ground pound. Oh. And Godly's gone, just like that. Yeah, you saw him burn that recovery. He was burning a lot of movement there. Almost got the wall touch, but the Nile from the blue team gives him the victory. And Simple, oh, the stage spike doesn't oh even matter. Gosh. And Simple's going to fall. Fozzie and Machete take game number one. It's crazy. You know, I, I was seeing like a hammer scoop into that shipwreck wedge earlier today. And I'm like, technically, it's a stage spike. But you're sending them upward, which actually sends them straight horizontal. Is that still a stage spike? Uh, it's still a spike. Even if it's not straight down, it's spiking in a direction, right? D sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, side air, my favorite spike <laughs> on spear. My favorite spiking move. <laughs> hey, spe spear is it, it's entirely a spike. You're right. You're absolutely right. So is Lance. We got a lot of spikes. This is why you every all move the from Lance right? is a spiking move. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> not the down light. <laughs> It's still from a spike. Uh, okay, sure, we'll take it. <laughs> Game number two, Godly and Simple. They're gonna make the swap back to the classic, the Bodvar Brin to go up against Machete and Fozzi. All right, Simple taking Fozzi up to the air. Tons of unanswered damage. Oh. I like the play from Godly there, using the weapon toss to keep the combo going, going for the unarmed as well. Definitely some, some sparks of brilliance coming out from this red team. Yeah, they've been doing a phenomenal job in the opening here, particularly simple against Fozzy. Just oh. kept winning exchange after exchange. Godly with a great read onto Fozzy. This is the most damaged start we've seen onto Fozzy in a while, oh. and the recovery connects. Simple with the punish, but high ceiling, high defense. Machete's living. Oh, the handoff. Just managed to grab with that sword side air, but, you know, there was a lot of stage left. Now, this is that pitfall of Shipwreck. It's one of the reasons why, again, high defense Lance Legends love this map. And Godly going to fall. Even up that stock count, Machete almost takes out Simple. And Fozzie's going for the edge guard. The down sig. Simple, did he get the ground touch? Yes. Oh, manages to sneak right by the recovery. But the side air finding purchase. A little bit of a stock lead for the red team. And still holding on. Yeah, Simple. I mean, he's been living. But he's also been getting pinballed, right? He hasn't really been able to play as much as he's just been mm. around. Uh, for what it's worth, the blue team has been focusing him, so it's just been 1v1s. And finally, Machete finds a big enough hit to take him out. That'll even it up. Ooh, tons of damage. And Godly poised to get knocked out once again. If they can keep those 2v1s rolling, Machete and Fozzie are going to be sitting pretty. 
Your light connects. Godly's in trouble, though. Simple cannot afford that team damage onto Godly. Just outside the recovery, the side air connects. Godly's going down. Final stock here in game number two for Godly. Down Zig. Oh my gosh. Simple. Got He's him. such a magician with that move. You know, it just comes out of nowhere and you're always mystified. Bunny meat hat. Simple. Able to honestly stuff the bunny back down into the hat <laughs> with that one. Get in there. Ah, not yet. Man, Simple having to spend so much time just getting back towards his teammate. That's the danger when you get start sent into the red, but not enough for the knockout. I mean, it's still a power play. Oh, Respawning yeah. Respawning or running back. It is a power play Just for the other team. out of engagement. Machete, only one still on that second talk stock. The side air almost takes out Godly. You see how far he got launched. Godly's got to be careful. He's going to play that back line, utilizing those weapon tosses to try to help out Simple. Okay, everyone's on final stocks. Down Godly. to Oh, Ooh. where's the weapon toss? Where's the weapon toss? Waiting for it. Simple, oh, it's right it. into Simple. Are oh! you kidding? What? What? No! That was such a scramble. He tried to help and all he did was hurt. I feel like we can have a nice little quiz show of like, we stop that on any given frame <laughs> yeah. and we go, what happens next? Oh. And everybody's wrong. Godly and simple going up on the board one to one. Oh my gosh, rising above the chaos. And heartbroken Machete falls to the wayside. Games tied up and simple you gotta give him credit you know sparky's in the background he's clapping his head off because simple's hitting those down sigs oh, he yes. loves that move and it works so well god bonk into the weapon toss simple Stage got spike. away machete spiked down fozy after the save it jeez oh <laughs> just never Been touched there. ground yeah the chase dodge and you go a little too far and you're like oh okay <laughs> Game number three now. No more shipwreck in favor of the blue team. What's it going to be? Okay, well, there was a lot of chaos around those short walls right at the tail end of that game. So I think everybody's probably a little bit happy yeah. for this stability. Uh, much longer walls here on the Mammoth. We'll see how well, who that uh, ends up favoring, really. Oh, man, quick handoffs. This is interesting that, uh, you know, Fozy's over on the King Knight, where that was usually like Machete's off pick. Yeah, that's what I was I was noticing. I was like, okay, wait, they brought out the Roland, but it's not the one we expected. And they still find, the, or Godly still finds that recovery. Nice follow up on Fozy. He's keeping the Ooh. pressure going. Didn't hit the down light, though. Oh, going for the setup. Has the hands off stage. Machete getting away with his life. Oh my gosh, how does Godly survive through all that? Yo, he's just, he's that Godly. Recovery from Fozy though, will even up the stock count. Left side, Godly doesn't even need to do it. Fozy gonna fall, advantage to the red team. Oh, Godly getting in team there, combo? turning it into a uh, team combo. Ah, just a little bit more damage was needed to send him that distance. Fozy, definitely thankful to get out of that one. Uh, not too bad. Not too worse for wear. Simple, unfortunately, going to take out his teammate. He went for the uh, worth it play. Of course, you do more force to the opponent, but still, Godly was quite damaged. They take out Machete. Machete's on his final stock here. Oh, Godly so quick to rotate up and over, trying to get that power play, a little bit of a team combo handoff onto Machete. But Fozy also identified he's getting into the mix. Gotta stay present. Damage being done to Simple, but Machete is the one that we're worried about. He's the one on his final stock. Fozy gets launched from the recovery. Oh my god. Ground pound from Godly. They're hunting Machete. Yeah, he has taken a ton of damage in such a short amount of time. I mean, he found himself between like an axe recovery and a sword ground pound. That's just so much. Yeah, just so much rocks and hard places. But Godly able to touch on the right side. Simple did fall in the meanwhile. So opportunity here, but Godly hits another recovery. If Fozy lives long enough, there is that potential. The blue team ends up pushing this to a 1v2. Oh, man. Both red teammates so far off the yeah. side. Godly falling to his doom. Gets right in. Ah, oh, Fozy sneaking out that weapon grab, denying it from Godly. 
But Godly comes back, has the unarmed. Posey goes for the deep ground pound, wants to take out Simple. Down light, down air, went for the optimal. Godly with the down air to help. Oh, here we go, sending Fozy wide. They've got the chance on the Machete edge guard. No, he's turning it around. Ooh, but a big recovery. Machete is going to fall. Fozy's going to fall. 1v2, but Simple's quite damaged. There's always that potential for Fozy. Yeah, he just needs one solid hit. A little bit of handoff damage, but you know what? Oh, no. Call oh, the team oh, combo oh. if they can clean this up. What did I say, Godly? Remember? Recovery. When he does recovery, do another recovery. Always recovery, all the recovery. Yeah. I think I think that's the uh, that's the mnemonic, right? Recovery, recovery. But side air <laughs> from Godly, Fozy still gets the wall touch. He needs to take out Simple, but Godly's doing such a good job being this front line. Oh man, cut short just after the dive kick. Manages to get the wall touch, but Godly's there to intercept. Two to one now in the set. Machete and Fozy are in the hot seat. Yeah, things looking good for Godly and Simple. And what's the play? Both the last game and this one seemed like the red team was hunting one of the blue team members. Machete popped ah. off in the last one. Fozy was the last one living in this one. And now the blue team going to make the final adjustment? No, it's it's sticking with it with the uh, King Knight and Olgrim. Okay, maybe it's the stage that they wanted to switch. We're over okay. onto Miami Dome now. Significantly different. There is that scaffolding right underneath in the middle. It prevents you from going completely under the stage from one side to the other. And, you know, those two soft platforms up in the air do give you somewhere that you can land and set up kind of like a double stack kind of play. I think almost more valuable than uh, all of those things that you just described, which are all still very accurate and valuable, is that the walls are close. The KO boxes are close on the sides, and you can ah. see those horizontal KOs, but Simple oh with the edge guard. Machete tries to trade it. Fozy does get the touch, but Simple with the punish on the ground pound, and Red Team takes the first stock. Man, he just seems to get so many intercepts. We've seen it in the previous setups, the previous oh, matches. Deep. Yeah, he will go down there for those unarmed ground pounds. Man, stocks are flying fast. This is uh, quite the volatile map. Godly not able to get the wall Jeez. touch, and suddenly blue team with the lead. Machete took next to no damage while red team was pressuring Fozy. Oh man, Machete really just trying to get this work done on Godly, threatening the side. Able oh, and aware enough to turn around for the target swap onto Simple, get a little bit of team damage. Some great target swaps, some big damage being put out, lots of control from this blue team. Jump side air, Machete gets launched, red team staying around, looking at Fozy. Big Nair. Oh my gosh. The high ceiling saving Machete again. Yeah, I guess that's another thing, right? There's a lot of uh, hammer attacks that will knock out vertically. A lot of the sword, you've got that down light into recovery. You're looking at vertical knockouts. So the high ceiling probably serves Machete and Fozy a little bit better since they're always going for horizontal knockouts. Yeah, definitely a, a very horizontal weapon with that lance. And you're seeing it's working to their favor. Godly now on to his final stock here in game number four. Simple gonna oh. join him. Is this a five? Is this a game five potential? I mean, right now it's looking real good. They've got such an amazing chance, especially if they can prevent Machete from taking too much damage because he's been so healthy throughout this entire game that it's let him sit in center stage and dictate the pace. Ooh, but a nice oh, team no. combo. And Machete gonna be going down to his final stock, right side. Godly looking for the edge guard. Fozy went unarmed because he threw the lance, but it's a recovery from Godly and everybody's on their final stocks. All bets are off. This could go any direction. Uh, team combo uh -oh, again, team Fozy's gotta, gotta break it up. it up. Excellent, perfect interruption from Fozy. Even got the, the chase dodge in for the neutral signature, a little bit extra spice. Yeah, just had to get in there, make sure that they couldn't convert into a KO on the Machete. Fozy, they get the knockout. Godly, a simple oh with the gosh. down six. Side six from Fozy, it's a 1v1. All right, Fozy, he has the damage advantage, but for how long? I don't know. Now he's unarmed. Godly's got the stage. This is so dangerous. Dimes on the floor because it's turning on him, but Fozy. 
Oh, that recovery oh, almost ceiling. did it. High defense. Fozy still oh, living. Oh, and Godly's gonna get it. Simple and Godly are going to the grand finals. Oh, man. So it just seems like Sim Simple just gets into grand finals, right? Yeah. That's just his his hallmark for the past how many years? He just he simply gets into the grand finals. Man. And look at this. With a clutch teammate like Godly, how could you not? Absolutely unbelievable. The Again, I was talking before about the confidence of Akno and Blaze. I see that same kind of confidence in Simple and Godly's play. Even when they're incredibly damaged, they're not afraid to go in and keep the pressure up. Yeah, they definitely understand maintaining pressure regardless of the game state. They're just trying to keep that pressure on, not let the opponents think. And they're doing a great job at it, and they're getting the victories because of it. But now, another double jeopardy. Simple and Godly were knocked Ooh. down into the loser side by Akno and Blaze. They're yep. going to have to try to challenge them in the grand finals. All right. So, this is, this is extra tough, right? Because they're coming from the lower side. This being a double elimination tournament, that means you've got to lose two sets to get knocked out. Your reward for going into grand finals from the winner's side, you haven't lost a set yet. You, you're, you're able to lose one, lose a best three out of five set, we just go right on to the next one. You're still hanging around. Whereas, you know, Akno and Blaze, they just need to win the one. And that's it. And Tournament's over. They're the champions. They're the champions. They get to be, uh, they get to continue their win streak. It'll be a big oh question gosh. mark. If, if Godly and Simple can do it, it would be momentous, especially, I mean, like, just Huge. think of the storyline, right? Godly not playing for a year, Simple picks him up now that he's finally available to play. Oh. And to come in in the first tournament of 2022 against a team that's been win streaking for so long, if they get the W, that would be massive. Are you selling the movie rights to that one? Can we, can we talk to Simple and Godly? How about that? Uh, well, maybe. Can we, like, you think, how much do you think it costs to get that to happen? I don't know. That's the question. <laughs> Especially since they're going to already be fine with so much prize money yeah. after how much is on, on the line in this tournament. I mean, at the very least, right, again, uh, going from a completely unpr'd player to uh, now at least bare minimum a second place victory, that's going to be huge. They're, they're going up. And, of course, uh, how can you expect otherwise when you've got someone like Simple on your team who's just been doing it's so crazy. incredibly well year after year? That's actually crazy. All right, we, we need like a counter in the top of the screen now for like how many sword down signatures is Simple <laughs> gonna land? It's been just way too many throughout this entire tournament. It, it's way too many, yet just enough. Just uh, the right uh, amount to get in there and get those victories. Those down signatures have been pivotal in so many situations where it looked like things were going bad, where it looked like they were gonna take the L he hits that one down signature mm -hmm. that gives them the W. And so uh, it'll be interesting to see how well they can work it out as they're getting into game number one of the grand finals. Simple and Godly Ooh. versus Akno and Blaze. All right. I see Godly on that Rayman. I absolutely love it. You know, those those boxing gloves, they're always so <laughs> threatening. I, I love the follow-ups that he's got, right? Again, uh, Gauntlet's a great follow-up tool in the 2v2 space. But in particular, yep. we're seeing him get those follow-ups with, like, the charged-up side signature, which reaches oh, yeah. so far, and it hits pretty hard, especially with that extra charge. So I love seeing that kind of stuff. And then the down six for the edge coverage. Yep, yep, yep. Akno and Blaze locking in that Bryn and Olgrim, the classic. Here we go. Game number one of Grand Finals. It's all on the line. We'll see if Akno and Blaze can continue it as they're starting off pretty solid. Akno taking a decent amount of damage, but Blaze putting out some damage of his own. Nice weapon toss from Akno to break up Godly. Oh, Godly hits a ground pound. Akno covering himself with the up toss. Blaze trying to break things up on the right side, and Akno and Godly get back up onto stage. Man, Godly was just trying to play so much catch up to save Simple, but the damage was done. The knockout is secured. And now Godly trying to fight his way back. Great interruption from Simple. Just respond in time to save Godly from what would have been Ooh. certain doom. And it leads to a knockout as well as Godly gets to survive, get that damage onto Akno. Stocks were even for a moment, but Blaze is the only one still on that first stock. This is interesting. You know, I know Olgrim's got like a decent chunk of defense on him, but I, I would have thought a little bit more counterplay coming out from Simple Godly, given that they just took on double Lance to great effect. But it seems like Blaze's Lance has a little something different. 
Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think it was specifically like weapon dependent for what worked out for Simple and Godly. It was uh, strategizing, right? They were going yes. for a single opponent and taking him out. And that seems to be the idea, but Godly's going to oh, fall oh, on the oh. right side. Simple's in trouble. He hits the ground pound. Yeah, that was absolutely huge. Cutting Blaze short. So that way they get this momentary power play against Akno. Unfortunately, couldn't get any knockouts. And now Simple falls to his final stock. It's four stocks to two. Big lead for the blue team. Even if Akno falls here, he's got another stock behind this red team. Gonna have to find those follow-ups, those extra bits of damage to bring themselves back into this. Ooh, nice. interruptions all around, and the handoff ends team with combo, the of Akno. Oh, it goes for the down light, but Blaze bounces just over it. Still good damage, but they need this KO. Oh, juggling up, trying to get the damage. They're trying to get the sandwich for the handoffs. Blaze works for wear off the side of the stage. Godly looking for the knockout, but Blaze managed to okay. just squeak his way through Ooh. everything. And the weapon toss to keep Akno in it. Recovery from Godly. Akno on the left side. If the red team takes him out, there's the potential. But Akno with the weapon tosses keeps himself alive. Oh, man. Oh! Jeez, Blaze just hunting down, and Akno so quick to swap over. Here's the handoff and a game one victory. Akno Blaze up on the board 1 0. Confident and convincing. Akno and Blaze, they just continue marching forward. Jeez, not enough to save Akno there, but. Man, towards the end of the game, Akno was just target swapping back and forth. No one could seem to stop him. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a hallmark of the Blaze and Akno play style is just those great follow-ups. There's that weapon toss that you saw Simple was looking for the side signature there, but a good recovery follow-up from Godly. All right, here we go. Game number two, and Godly's making the swap to the Taros. A little bit of a trading a la Norm Neutralite. Your teammate, you do it to mine. Everything's equal in the end. Yeah. Equal and opposite. <laughs> Physics is constant, at least. <laughs> Can't deny physics. But on the right side, Akno going to deny the edge guard. Simple was looking for that recovery opportunity. A nice down light, down air. Or, sorry, down air, down light from Godly. Getting some good damage. Added up. Goes for the recovery. Akno dodges through. Man, I'm just looking at everybody getting sent into the red except for Simple. And. Oh, I, no, I Godly. Like, uh oh. Uh -oh. Godly. Still gets the touch. We're okay. Everybody's okay. Calm down. Take a breath. Man, he plays so close to the sun, and one of these days those wings are going to melt. But Blaze on the right side gets back up. Godly again in the offstage gets the wall <laughs> touch. The save from Akno. Nobody's fallen just yet, but Akno can't touch, and it's okay. Blaze will join him on that second stock. Jeez. I mean, at least their knockouts are synchronized, yeah. right? Twinsies. <laughs> Side sig from the teammate. Godly's going to fall simple. Still has some health to play with. I just don't know how he does it seemingly every game where everybody gets knocked into the red or loses their first stock, and Simple's still just, like, sitting there, smiling on <laughs> stage, menacingly. He's just vibing, man. Left side, though. How simple. many dive kicks does he need to get back to stage? <laughs> that He had to have gone right to the edge of the knockout zone. Yeah, that gas tank was starting to get empty, but there it is. Blaze finally finds the side air. Meanwhile, Godly did take quite a bit of damage. Both Blaze and Akno were the first two to fall, but it looks like they're going to put Godly into the final stock here in just a little bit. They just need some solid Ooh. swing. The signature not going the way for Godly. Godly's in trouble. Still gets the touch. Oh, yeah. They were going for maximum coverage. You, you get the push off golem, I'll get the wall, ground pound away. But that side air from Blaze could spell trouble for Akno, but he does such a good job of being a wall, protecting Blaze, letting him get that wall touch. Man, every time Akno is so unafraid to fight unarmed, there will be weapons on the field. He will completely forego nice. them to just stay in the mix. It's all about being present and in the moment, much like yoga. But Simple, only one holding down that second stock again. Izeron Godly, though, he's the most damaged on that final stock. If he gets taken out, Ooh. confidence that Akno and Blaze can get that 1v2. 
Splitting for separate edge guards, but they all are able to meet in the middle. Godly surely not okay, long for interrupt. this world. The Lance neutral, I almost taking his final stock. Still gets the touch. Simple now going down to the final stock here. Godly going to get a punish. Acno with a ground pound. Godly's got to live. He gets the wall touch again. Man, hanging on, getting hit and run. Just oh. any bit of damage that he could get, unfortunately, no longer, as now Simple is alone in a 2v1. Doesn't want to get sandwiched by Akno and Blaze. You see him hanging around the corner, but still getting tagged. What a brilliant target swap from Akno to baited Simple, right? He saw that Godly mm. was going for all those saves, so he hits Simple and then immediate chase dodge forward, turn around side signature, and takes out Godly. It's all up to Simple. He's trying to play this as safe as he can, not go into the sandwich. See them trying to be very cautious. They don't want to give up any easy stocks to Simple. They know they've got the stock advantage, and they just want to press that for all it's worth. I mean, they've got to be at least a little bit worried about the potential 1v1. This is the person who took silver at the World Championship in 1v1s. He's got oh. the opportunity. He needs to take out Blaze, the Nair, the recovery. Oh! Man. Oh! That one packed a punch. Yeah, that one seemed to hit harder than the average Lance recovery. Had all the anger behind yeah. it, you know? There's really a lot of emotion in that one. And just like that, Akno and Blaze are up 2-0 over in Simple and Godly. The, the potential. bait. The bait right there. You were talking about it earlier. The, that hot target swap, the chase dodge into the side signature to take Godly out of the equation. So smart, and Akno knows that they needed that. Because, I mean, Godly was doing a really good job, and I think against another team, Godly would have been able to extend a lot longer. But ah. just doing, being really smart about it and being like, okay, I recognize the way that you're playing this final stock. You're doing this hit-and-run strategy, but specifically yep. when we hit simple. So I'm going to bait you in. I'm going to hit simple, and then I'm going to get you for it. Yeah, that's that timing pattern that they just kind of caught on to. And here's the danger, right? If they're able to adapt that quickly, and they're now up 2-0 in the set, do you have enough time to adapt against them before they catch on and win one more game? I don't know. It's going to be tough. There, there could be. There's that potential that they adapt in one game, but can they adapt again and keep outpacing Jeez. the Simple adaptation? Simple and Godly have to reverse 3-0 here, and then they have another set yet to fight. Should that be the case? Whereas Acto and Blaze, they're ready to take this tournament. That is the uh, Kilimanjaro of tall tasks and uh, we'll see if they can make that climb as they're getting ready to get into game number three. Can they at least deny the 3-0 victory in grand finals? Or uh, will Acton and Blaze just be crowned uh, another one? Will they just get another gold medal? You know, I, I thought Simple and Godly had such a lead going for them at certain points throughout that game number two, but it just, Acno and Blaze, they're so sticky, you know? <laughs> Anytime you feel like you can push them off a cliff, they just have like a toe hanging on the edge somewhere that you didn't see. They, they super glued their whole body to that mountain. Oh my gosh. So here All it right. is, game number three. Acno and Blaze are on tournament point. Godly high in the sky. Okay, we've got the double boat bar coming out from this team. We'll see how well it works out as Acno gets in, gets a, whoa, what a oh swap to the gosh. ground pound. Simple's in trouble. Godly with the reprieve. Punish. Man, Akno swinging away. You know he's looking for these knockouts. Almost gets the down light off the top. And that's saying something because Great Hall has a pretty oh. high ceiling. Oh my goodness. Godly was looking for the charge follow up. He does hit the ground pound though. Okay, first stock goes the way of the red team, but they need to maintain this lead. They're quite damaged. Another recovery. Weapon toss. Blaze gets the wall touch. Godly just getting some damage out. Nobody going to fall between the three most damaged people just yet. Ooh. Oh my gosh, some pinball wizard action there, and Simple's gone. Okay, that'll just even up the stock count. Nice falling there. Gives the advantage, Godly. Whoa, okay. You went a little farther than <laughs> I really uh, expected on that one. That was, you know, uh, some palpitations yeah. right there, getting a little worried. It's like a, it's a camera play, right? Draw, draw the camera down, maybe make the blue team uh, look the other way real quick. He's playing 4D chess. Absolutely 200 IQ galaxy brain. 
He's, he's playing Amogus on his free time, but we see the recovery come out. Godly going to finally lose that first stock. But meanwhile, look at Simple's health. He took so much damage. Oh, snap. Man, it's crazy how often they've been carrying people up way to the top of the screen and nobody's gotten knocked out there in any of those exchanges. Dude, it's these Olgrims and high ceilings. They've lived for so long, so many times, but a nice oh. ground pound. Yeah, that was absolutely oh. huge. Woo. They just stole the stock lead. Godly sitting on two, everybody else on one. Red team's got a real shot here. Definitely an opportunity to at least put one on the board, but uh, again, the concern is simple. He's the one on that final stock. Godly again with the juggles oh on the blaze, but it's not enough. There it is, oh. chunk it off. Whoa, from downtown. He thought he was safe. He was like already starting to just recover and chill, but that weapon toss came swinging. Everybody on their final stocks. Damage starting to even up a little bit. I know Akno is the most damaged one on the field, but Simple's quickly catching up. The blue team's managed to tag him time and again. This is getting tense here. Oh, Akno and Blaze. Oh my God! What? Oh. what? Oh my gosh! That was just shy of being the double knockout ah. to seal the deal. The worth it play coming out from Akno, taking out Godly, the side air. Simple can't avoid it all, and Akno and Blaze are going to be crowned the winter champions. What a winning streak. I mean, this has been several years yeah. and more just continuing on through. And it, it's crazy. In such a competitive region, you see all these team swaps, you see all this insanity. Somehow they still manage to stay above the rest. They're just that good it's that confidence in play you know you were saying you can afford to be confident because you are the best and it's been proven for an extensive amount of time but man it shows up in their play and it makes them so incredibly difficult to take down yeah i mean like it, it's one of those things where it's just it's 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 building up a goliath situation where at the very least of course they have all this confidence but anyone running into them has got to be nervous right they're like oh, yeah they haven't lost yet. So anyone running into them, even if they have a stock lead, they're like, well, even if we take this game, what about the next one? They're just going to make an adaptation. That's right. You, you get the, the jitters, you know, the adrenaline really just starts coursing through the veins. Yeah, it will lead to some mistakes. But there you see in the final stats for that final game, so much damage put out from Akno on all the weapons. Of course, Blaze still bringing out the damage as well, 259 and 213. Oof. Significant. Man, oh man, another trophy on their wall. We were yep. wondering, you know, when will that collapse? When are all these trophies and medals too much weight to post up? But the answer is at least one more. At swap. least one more. It's, it's, uh, you just add a uh, plus plus, right? You just, yeah, you keep just adding. keep incrementing. It, it just keeps it. iterating, yes. yeah. I plus plus. But it, it's, it's just getting harder and harder. Acno and Blaze. They're continuing oh. the win streak. They're continuing their domination. They are going to be going home with a gold medal. In second place, the new team of Simple and Godly. So you got to give them a lot of props for that one. That's huge. Absolutely huge. In third place, you know, one of my personal <laughs> favorites, Machete and Fozy back together again, back on the podium together. Love to see it. Yeah, and uh, I think that gives you the accuracy victory at the very least. Oh, is yeah. Is that is that how that works? Let, let, yo, we gotta, stick, we'll, we'll us, have to get word. Let from us know. We'll talk to you yeah. after. <laughs> figure out who's more right. Yeah, I mean it's, it's definitely a contentious one, but either way, we've still got more Brawlhalla action. Of course, we've got uh -huh. one more day of doubles winner championship action, finishing it off with North America tomorrow. But then we still have even more after that. We've got one v ones the following weekend. That's right. That's right. So we're gonna run it back. Once again, all five regions with their singles tournaments next weekend. Tomorrow, though, that North American doubles. That's going to be crazy. You don't want to miss it. Go to brahalla.com slash schedule. Just that way you can find all the stream start times. If you're competing in the tournament, go to that smash.gg slash brahalla page to keep an eye on that for what your tournament start time is. I know we'll be here rooting for our favorites. Any parting words, Duke? Well, thank you all for watching. We'll catch y'all tomorrow for more Brawlhalla eSports action. Have a great night, y'all.